We are live. Hello. What, Deb's going to be reading the comments off of her phone because uh, there's no way we're going to see them here on the screen. How's the second picture, guys? Hopefully a good one. We just went on now. Yeah, it says we're live. Yeah, you got the indication that we're live. Ah. Uh, Ohio Turnpike. Turnpike. Who's all in, Deb? Do you have any? You have just any, Ben. Uh, just Ben? Ben is the only one here. No, no, bigger. Bigger wisely. Am I saying that right? I don't know. I can't. Uh, bigger. Good morning. Let me see. Good morning. Let me see. Bigger Wesley. Wesley, okay. Yeah, there you go. John Pierce, good morning. Good morning, John. Now we say good morning. I don't know where, what time it is where you guys are, but I'm guessing most of you are in the States, if not all of you so far. I know Ben, you're in the States. And John, you're in the States. Uh, ben, Bigger Wesley, I'm not sure yeah, where you're yeah. coming from. Maybe you're... I know this is probably a good time to catch some people over in... Uh, maybe over across the pond yet. Lots of good mornings. What's it say? Michigan. He's from Michigan. Yay, a long live, John. And Ben's from I, we, Unless we lose signal, we're going for the record, brother. So, <laughs> you know anybody who wants to be part of the record, <laughs> at least in the Woodhound community, um, send them on over. 15 people in, four thumbs up, guys. Thank you. And your support is always appreciated. We got Ginger. Hello, Ginger. She's from Ginger, Florida. Ginger's from Florida. Yeah. I, I have a cousin named Ginger. Yep, you do. I have a cousin named Ginger lives in uh, Western Maryland. Bill's here. The man before. Bill, I promise you, <laughs> I'm going to get back to you on some gear, some merch. I promise you, okay? Please don't uh, don't be sending nasty emails. Not that you have. I know you did. So. Fuel, uh, fuel house. Uh, he's 7.13 a.m. in, in Cal. California, California. yeah. Good morning. Who's that? Full House? Full House. F-U-L-L? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I've seen him. F-U-E-L. Fuel? Fuel, yeah. Fuel House? Yep. Okay. Fuel uh, House. John Pierce is on here for a long run. Oh, cool, John. John, we're going to need people to keep us company because I know we're going to have people coming in and going out. Chris Foles. Hello. I actually can see you on there. <laughs> Believe um, me, my focus is on the road, guys. So. I just tuned in where... Where are we heading? We're heading home. to. We're heading home. Uh, we, well, if you were following our other live streams earlier, well, actually, not our live streams. Um, if you followed Joe's uh, Firewood videos and Joe's Firewood videos too, we went live there in Michigan. Um, I was up there for other things, and I was like, you know what? We're this close to Joe. We're going. We're going to go see Joe. So. Oh. Hello, Saul Surgeon. Hey, Ted, how are you? We're Zach? Home. What's going on, Zach? Hi, Zach. Zach, it was cool hanging out with you guys up there at Joe's. I don't know if we'll we'd be able to do that again at Joe's, but uh, maybe you guys can make Bunyan. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be nice. Bunyan wouldn't be too bad of a drive for you guys. I don't know how long it takes uh, to get down here from here, but... Yeah, we let out this morning. And our, our drive up here was 12 hours. Yes. The drive home, now we left about 7.30. 7 yeah, 7.23. So let's so, say so 7.30, it's now 10.15. So we've already been on the road uh, almost three hours. Uh, I know we're going to have some fuel stops and some food stops, but we will keep the live stream rolling. Um, yeah. Oh, good. Guys, we, we locked down some serious merch more yes. than merch for the live stream yeah for 30k and my oh by the way am i yelling Good i don't merch. know how well you can hear me I, I feel like i'm yelling if i'm too loud tell me to quiet down a little bit no zach's ready to head to work zach's have going good, to work yeah have a good day are you working are you not working with joe are you if you're working with joe tell him we said hi yeah, if you're not working with joe have a safe day zach We'll have a safe day either way. I'm looking forward to Boonville. I can't wait to meet you guys. Thank you, John. John, John Pierce. Pierce. Can't wait to meet you. 
can't wait to meet everybody. Yeah, we're going to make a, a, a real, I think our, our concentrated effort this year, well, our, this time at Boonville is going to be, one, we're going to want to see stuff. And yeah, two, he's a builder. We're going to meet, a builder. Oh, Zach's a builder, cool. Yeah, yeah construction's I running. I guess the weather cleared up if you're outside. Uh, the weather cleared up enough today up there, I'm sure. Yes. But, um, yeah, when we get out there, it's going to be meet, meet and greets for, you know, as many people as we can find that recognize us and we recognize them. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be meeting up, so. And Chris said he's looking forward to, he said that would be awesome, 12-hour live stream. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, we're already three hours in, so we're down to nine hours. Yeah. Um, who knows? It might take longer. That looked like Ohio State Police. We're actually on the, uh, the Ohio Turnpike right now, so check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. <Awesome. laughs> Number three bus wow. hanging out alongside the road. Yeah, it's a Dale Earnhardt bus. Yeah. Keep following the chat because I can't. Uh, so if anybody's got questions, comments, complaints. Joseph Gilbert. Good hey. morning from Maryland. Hi. Welcome back, Joseph. I, I remember seeing you on the live stream the other night. We appreciate you coming back. Um, this was sort of planned for the way home, sort of, kind of. Yeah. Um, our former record of nearly four-hour live stream was taken down by Brad. <laughs> our plan today is to beat get that, back. <laughs> get that record back, okay? So we know we were going to talk to folks that started out eating breakfast when they when they started watching us, and they're probably be eating dinner when, it's, when the live stream. Good morning, Dick. How are you? No, that's not. No. Yeah. Back no, that's old guy now. firewood. Sorry, I'm mixing up channels now. Travel safe, safe peeps. Our our biggest concern is buffering the microphone. Buffering? Yeah. Be buffering already. My phone is, but that one looks alright. Okay. Uh, Ben said, Deb with the Red Bull. She will be awake for days. Yeah. <laughs> We share it, Ben. We, yeah, we share one. I don't want to chug it down or anything like that, go crazy. I just already got bad signal. We're on flat ground in Ohio. Chris Folk's going okay. to uh, Bunyan, too. Is he? Yeah. Cool, Chris. It's going to be good to meet you guys. I don't know if anybody's got anything set up or they're going to have a booth or for meet and greets or whatever. Maybe we'll just all get in a group and hang out and, and uh, meet whoever we can meet. So, sorry we had a connection problem there. I know yes. we buffered for a little bit. Just a little. We're back. Here it is in the we have a 3010G and a 68402OD. That's all surgeons talking about. Okay. Hello, we're back. Okay, guys. If we lose the signal, we'll be back on. And it cuts the live stream completely, we're coming back on. Because we want the record back. Okay, so far we're only nine minutes in, so we got a long ways to go, but hanging out with you guys, chatting with you guys, going to keep this uh, ride home fast. from Bunyan was awesome. You guys helped us uh, stay focused and stay awake and gave us something to do. Probably by the time we're done with this, I'm going to be hoarse and have a sore throat from it from talking so much. So. Can if you want to. Okay. Uh, truck's the truck wants to come over. Okay. Keep buffering. I, guys, if you've never traveled where we're traveling, it's f and it's open and we lose signal. Apparently, there's bad cell service out here. That's a microwave tower. It's an old microwave tower. There's no, oh, cell, there's no cell paddles on there. Okay. Until the cell towers, they'll have the big white paddles. All right. So. Oh, guys. Uh, are we sharing what we're going to have? We're talking about that. Okay. So, good? Yeah. Or did everybody else lose connection too? I have three. You have three. Have we dropped that many people already? Guys, we're not going anywhere. Tim Stout. Good morning. Good morning, Tim Stout. Five coming back on. Are we um Oh, he's splitting black birch. Who's that? Tim. Tim? Yeah. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Are you are you losing your back black birch trees around you as well? Because apparently there is a fungus that gets under the bark on the black birch and kills it. And we have five dead ones on the property right yep. now. And we want to get down before they rot. Because they do, if they're exposed to the weather, they rot fairly quickly. But they are an excellent fire. Zach's leaving. 
Zach, have a good day. Have a good day, Zach. We'll talk to you later on, brother. There we see now. We got a cell tower right there. So we should have a good cell signal. Maybe we're going to get out. Boy, the number dropped. Guys, we didn't disconnect. Hopefully you didn't. I know. I got seven. Live stream will just buffer a lot. That's right. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. It's Friday. A, it is a Friday, so it's going to be low attend uh, low attendance till we get to late till the afternoon. Yeah. So we'll share it with you guys. So you're going to be if there's five people, well four if you count Deb, or if you don't count Deb, because she's watching on her phone. Basically, we're going to have um, I I don't know exactly the merch we're going to have. I know we'll have our shirts and stickers, we'll probably give stuff away like that. We might do something like, um, I don't know, maybe some woodworking project I have if we have anything left. I don't even know what we have. Well, he said, Tim said, yes, we just, we cut down 10 yesterday. Yeah. Has not affected all the birch yet. Wow. Yeah, it quickly went through our property. And that might be because we brought something home with us. Thank you, Zach. Uh, yes, definitely. Hit the thumbs up. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you, John. Oh, anyway, probably our own personal merch, maybe some items we made in the wood shop. Um, and also, I'm not exactly sure what kind of merch, but we're going to have. Um, Thank you, John. From Steel. We're going to have Steel merch. Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly that's going to be. If it's going to be hats, shirts, um, gloves, so I don't know. I don't know what we're being sent. But we made a connection with a, uh, a dealership in Ohio, believe it or not. And they have a rental place for heavy equipment. And they also added on the, uh, the, the uh, rentals for steel equipment as well. Or Good the morning. dealership for steel equipment Shive as well. Just, Good morning, Shive. You just came oh, that's you. right. You got Friday off, Shive, or you have Monday off? And he said, just got done stacking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, well, get it done and get it done. Get out of the way, brother. That's that's a lot of stacking you had to do. Hey, Shive, how long does it take you to to uh, stack? I know I actually take breaks, but it takes me a while before I get mine done. Well, it all depends on how much you have to stack. But that was a good sized trailer. Every Let, Friday. Every Friday. Every so time. you have every Friday off. Um, the the two big items we're gonna have are a, a brand. These are brand new. A steel. 251 that comes with a bar and chain and a new, brand new steel 261 pro saw with the bar and chain we couldn't work the 500i for the right price so that one that one's now you're gonna have to find your own 500i but those two saws are also going to be given away when we get to that live stream okay so hopefully that uh, brings some folks out, but not all the all the wrong folks. We don't. Want <laughs> Chris, Chris has a question. He goes, "Will you have husky merch?" Husky merch? Mm, I don't know where to find that. Do you know where to find any of that? That's like in Husky Land. I don't. I don't know where to find any of that. I mean, I could, but what happens when you do that is the husky guy, the husky dealer doesn't want the steel dealer stuff in there, and the steel dealer doesn't want the husky stealer. Uh, stuff in there. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Shy. Answer. He was not sure about the hours. And I know we got a lot of fans in in Ohio, and this this stuff is actually coming out of Ohio. So you're definitely going to want to visit this store, and and uh, thank Deanna. Oh, um, Glenn came on. Hello, Chuck and Dave. Deb, you all have a safe coming uh, coming home. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, yeah, thank you, Glenn. Appreciate Keith. that. What's up, Chuck and Deb? Safe travels. Thank Keith, you, Keith. Keith Long? Yep. Uh, what's going on, Chief? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a drive oh, home. Long drive. About nine hours from here, roughly. Maybe a little longer if we're uh, stopping. Oh, I know we're going to stop. We have to stop for fuel and rest stops and probably some food. How nice to have souls to give away. The 261 is a very nice piece. Yeah. I figure. 251 maybe a good limbing saw for somebody to get through the trees with limbing it. 
and we've had a 250 we've had the 250 model of that for a long time and it's it's been a real dependable saw for us thank you john he's john said if his name gets pulled for a saw yeah he said he'd be happy with it. that's another thing we are giving away shirts shirts t-shirts we have yeah. no hats right now well, if Bill's watching us still, yeah. Bill's going to be mad you're telling we don't have hats. Well, it's our fault right now. Well, what we can do is give them away. Yes. We'll show up. Bill's sending them right now. They want hats. At least this style hat, if not beanies as well. I like beanies. <laughs> or as, as the folks north of us say, toques. you got to have yeah. a toque. Uh, okay, should I? Yeah. On a 261... Um, the, the 251 was donated, the 261 we got for a discount, um, but we did have to pay for that one. We just locked that down this morning when we left, yep. so there's a couple of nice ones to go out the door. And we're getting merch with it. So. And we're getting some other steel merch with it, we're not 100% sure what. Sure. And we were just like, if you could add some merch to that, please do so. And we may be able to add some merch on top of that, uh, more steel stuff, or we'll if you want some husky stuff. Maybe we could work some husky stuff. I gotta find a husk part dealer around here. I don't know if we have one around here. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, so I don't think Bortz does that. It's a nice drive though. I drive if we pick up. Uh, you need to. You need yeah. to. I can't hear you. Uh, Keith said that's a nice drive though. I like driving. We pick up the uh, ambulance in Van West, Ohio. Yeah. Van Nuys, Ohio? No. Spell it. It's Van W-E-R-T. It's not West. W-E-R-T. Yeah. It's Ohio. Van Word. It's not yeah. Van West. Yeah, that's what I said. The best is W-E-S-T. Yeah, I know. Uh, Soul Surgeon said, indeed, we bought a couple of MS-250s that I bought as disposables. Just haven't had to They, uh, they last a long time. Ours is still running. Yeah. Uh, we had that one before we learned to only run, only run um, non-ethanol fuels. We replaced the carb on it, but that was uh, that was our mistake. But I know plenty of people with a 250 or 251. It just keeps on going. So. Harry said, "Where are you going? Why are you in that hand basket?" Hand basket. Basket? Yeah. We are, we are going home. We're heading home. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe he meant to type something else and did autocorrect it. I'm not sure. Mary. Mary who? Mary. Mary. Oh, Mary's back on. I didn't know Mary was back on. Mary, this trip is a bound trip. They yes. are on their way home. That was John's daughter. Yeah, we're, we were on our way home from Michigan. Should have bought a husk if you wanted disposable balls. <laughs> That's a good one, Tim. I don't know if we're gonna have any husky merch. Not that I don't like husky, but we run steel. Yeah. So. Well. We should be able to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll try to look for some husky merch. We have a dealer around. Well, I mean, we don't normally, we don't regular a husky dealer and buy husky items. So, um, you know, to have some donated to the live stream. Probably won't happen as a donation. We'll have to buy it outright. But I mean, we could mention their their uh, business on the okay. channel as well. So, all surgeon wants to know. She said, "Deb, how far from home is Mount Pleasant Mills?" Mount Pleasant Mills, of Pennsylvania. Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Do a Google search for Mount Pleasant Mills and uh, yeah. Bartow, Pennsylvania. B A R T O. I have to enter the station for the giveaway. We have some trimming to do and trees to cut down. Who's that? Keith. Keith. If you're on during our live stream when we do the uh, the celebration, a 30k celebration, uh, that'll that's when we're going to give that away. But if you want to put if you want to put you in for it or whatever. Oh, you want it? You want to win a free tree trimming and uh, <laughs> dead tree removal? I don't know. Bring the dump trailer down. We'll grab uh, 
grab a couple saws, start start uh, knocking off those dead trees. Or I mean, we got plenty of stuff for pruning and plenty of uh, equipment for uh, hedge trimming and stuff like that. If that's what we need to do. Just got to pick a day on the weekend and get it done. Probably get to maybe soon. It's like I just hook the dump trailer up to the truck, throw it all in the dump trailer. If we get rid of those hedgerows along the edge of the parking lot, we got to put parking stops in there, don't we? Or not going to bother? We'll make plans for that. located at I forget sorry I'm content I'm contending with a not so nice driver in front of me so if you see me making faces it's because of that can't help you out with the uh, install surgeon with that search from from where we live to where you're at or where you're visiting. Uh, Keith said that works, yes. it on past there and not have to worry about the parking blocks. Right, here we go. Knox Woodworking. Good morning, Chuck and Deb. First time on the chat. Thank you. Knox Woodworking. I've seen you around on the on uh, different channels and that. Appreciate your support stopping in here. Thank you very much. That tip said looks very foggy. It's raining. Uh, we got a, a light mist. Continue for 545 miles. Oh, Soul Surgeon <laughs> said it's south of Allentown. Thank you. What is south of Allentown? The dealer. Oh, okay. Okay. We can do that. Good morning, Rachel. That's probably in our area. We'll look it up. That makes sense because there's there's a, the stall families in that area. Uh, where are you picking up your giveaways? There. There. Where are we picking them up? We're not. We're not. They're coming to us. They're shipping them. There is a there is a client we've had before with uh, with um, some sawmill work. 
It turns out his mom owns the dealership. Oh. And, uh, Keep yeah, his mom owns the dealership, so I think a family member is going to be traveling out this way. They're going to bring it out with them. They sell Husky. Yeah. Oh, well, cool. check it out. Thanks, Keith. Is that still, does Ben still own that, Ben Frito? Maybe we can get some support from him around us. Yeah. Uh, Western yeah. Auto is, it's a lot of those have just closed down. The franchise just closed down, but they have a lot of local support down there. And they have a nice uh, lawnmower inventory yeah. and, uh, and uh, lawn care uh, equipment down there. But I forgot they were a Husky dealer. Uh, Chris said, question, sorry I opened a can of worms about the, the husky. husky. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Hey, we, we like to cover it's everybody. Not... Of course, we still we all like to bust on each other, too. So yeah. as long as it's all in good fun, that's all that matters. Yeah, what else? I, I think those are the biggest things we're going to have there. And uh, like I said, with that much stuff to give away, the live stream is going to run long. Um, it won't be as long as this one, but it's going to run long. It's going to be probably a minimum of two hours because you just get to talking and, and there's going to be so many people. We're going to try to keep up with the chat and try to answer everybody's questions and it's going to be a while. So to get everything fit in there and not cut people off and not cut off the, you know, just the general chat, it's going to be a while. So. Might, it may not be chain anymore. They might just have the Western. Is it? Is the Western Auto Science still out in out front? I think so. Okay. And did Keith answer if that was? Um, no, he did not. Was that, yeah, because Ben Ferrito used to own that. Is he still own? It? That's what. I, that's what I was uh, asking. Oh. oh you guys, slow down. Road construction. Bring it down. Bring it down. Machine like, uh, how fast were you going? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not gonna say how fast it was going. <laughs> well, we just came out of a 70 mile an hour zone, we're into the construction zone. We slowed down. He goes, Yes, I believe that's who still owns it. Thank you. Cool. I think the sign's still out. I haven't been down that way too much. Yeah. Well, well I don't know if the sign's still out near the road, but I think it's still in the front of the building. It's front of the building. I wasn't pushing a brand, just letting you know about, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Okay. We're no, not no that problem. brand loyal. I mean, I'll, I'll run stuff. It doesn't matter. I just happen to buy steel because that's what I yeah. typically buy. You ran a Husky, though. I ran a couple of Huskies, yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're good souls. I Jane. think they have more, I mean, in my, in my book, they have more starting issues, but I'll tell you what, we've had problems with our steel. Yeah, though. we did. Um, Carburetor issues. Mostly right? carb issues. Well, I mean, you think about it, how old are they? I mean, the, the, the 250 is, old. is older, and that's already had two carbs on it. I think yeah. it was that one. And the 361, or 362, it? has, it just got a carb rebuild. Because the carburetor, it has one new carburetor because we're running freaking ethanol fuel in it. And that one had a history of their early electronics were bad. So the, elect the, uh, the ignition went on it. So we replaced the ignition. And what else went bad? And then we just rebuilt the car. Keith is letting us know it's, uh, by the way, sunny here when you get home. Keith, we won't see it. We <laughs> probably won't see it. We probably won't get we won't home at about it. seven or eight o'clock at night. You're gonna, so you're thank gonna be you on. For the information. You're going to be on here for breakfast, and you're going to be on here for lunch, and we're going to be on here for dinner. So, dinner. this is a whole, this is the whole thing. We're, we're looking to reclaim our, our record long live stream, which was four hours coming, approximately four hours coming home from Bunyan. And now we look to get a, we can just surpass that. I'm fine with that, but if we can chat all the way back, I don't care. 
You know, we're gonna have people stopping in that couldn't make the live streams early. People, and then from, I think we're gonna have a few people from uh, from overseas commenting as well. So just for fun, we only got nine people in here, man. I, well, it's a more Friday morning. Everybody's off at work. So. Twenty thumbs up. That's nice. At least the ones that are stopping in are giving the thumbs up. Okay, I uh, brought um, <coughs> Josh on and answered you. Josh, what? Josh. For what? What answer? Four, they went four by fours. Oh, okay. Sure, four by fours. Yeah. Right? Okay. And right. he can Brian can drop them logs tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday. Tomorrow afternoon's and, fine. As of Just, just message us when they're coming over. So, sorry guys, we're setting up a job here. <laughs> we're getting some logs uh, delivered. Uh, we got to cut some dunnage 4 by 4s for dimension 4 by 4s Dunnage is basically just, if they're not going to be they're going to be uh, just to stick between layers of pipe. Need a bunch of them in a hurry. Let's we'll see how that goes. I can't see the screen. Sorry about that. Sorry about what? going out to, um, I forget what the name of that place was. He <laughs> said I'd figure I'd rub it in. What's that? Keith? Uh, you know, we were going out to Boyer's, Boyer's Junction to get the, uh, the non-ethanol, but it's just, it's a lot more convenient where it is down at Wawa. Although, I like supporting the local businesses like that. Anthony, what's going on up there in uh, CA? Have a safe trip. <laughs> That's funny, Mary. Yeah, we had to. Uh, we had one gentleman who was a bit irate at us because we were we were all in the fast lane. It was me and two other cars trying to get around a truck. We come rocketing from way behind us, pulled up next to us. He realized he wasn't going to get back into the fast lane to pass everybody. He kind of hung up, got hung up behind the truck. So we got, we eventually, he, we let, he was in front of us, in front of us. He kept slowing down in front of us then, and, and then this and that, and the other, and then slowing down in front of us. And then, okay, you're going to keep doing that. Every time I switch lanes, he switch lanes. You know, he's doing the old road rage thing. So then I finally went to pass him, and he kept accelerating faster and faster and faster. Oh, well. John Hale. Hello from Warrensburg, Missouri. Good Missouri. morning. How's the weather in Missouri? I, I bet you guys are uh, a bit warmer than we up here. We are up here, hopefully drier. At least where I'm at right now, it's uh, 
cloudy and miserable. Keith Long said, we missed you at the board meeting. Your raise was approved. Awesome. Appreciate that. That was what, like a, that was a 10 percenter, wasn't it? <laughs> what raise? <laughs> it's, that's the point. That's the funny part of it. John said, cold and sunny. I don't know. Cold is relative for, for Missouri. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Missouri. <laughs> there is someone here I don't understand. There's someone here I don't understand. No, it's all kind of Japanese and Chinese. It's, 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 it's probably, I don't know. Are they speaking the same language? Let me see. Yeah, okay. it's, yeah it's Arabic. Okay. Sorry, don't do the Arabic, dude. Sorry. If you're, if you're if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. I know I have some folks from that region that uh, watch the channel. James, good afternoon. Are we at the afternoon? Well, where, Most where, of it. where's it coming from? 1049. Where do you live, James? Where do you live from? Oh, okay. He said, I need morning. Okay, no problem. No, <laughs> no problem. I was going to say, if it's afternoon, you're probably somewhere in England or further. It's 30 here in Hartsburg, Missouri. Oh, wow, 30. That wow. is, I think we're warmer here. How warm are we? We're 36. Sorry, the... Uh, Toronto. With the thermometers behind the, uh, James behind the camera. James is in Toronto. Okay. okay. Uh, Daniel. Daniel who? Where are you going? I am in Ohio, buddy. We're headed home from Ohio. Well, we're <laughs> headed home from Michigan. We're going through Ohio yes. right now. Oh, um, we're up on 80. I keep on thinking right here. Ontario Firewood Resources. That's Anthony. Okay. Okay, he's talking to somebody else. Oh, okay. Making cheaps here. Good hey, morning. John. How's it going? John, I think where you're in uh, Maryland or Virginia? John, we're headed home. West Virginia? Somewhere down here. Maybe you're in Pennsylvania. Maybe you could be. I don't know. Oh, John. John Dale said, heat wave where you are. Yeah, heat wave where we are, yeah. That was the amazing thing. All the people in Michigan are like, we can't believe how warm it is up here right now and how little snow we've got. Because to them, it's, it's, they're piled up in snow by now, and it's a lot colder. But we showed up from Pennsylvania, brought some warm weather with us. It was cold when we first went up there. We were single digit temperatures most of the way up. And when we got there, it was single digits and windy. Man, was it windy. Yes, it was. But it did warm up. We got up into close to like low 40s. Yeah. And it luckily, nice. it's warm enough. It's raining now. It's been raining since yesterday, at least in Michigan. And I think we're chasing that rain and catching up to it. Because it's actually getting worse as we go along here. Okay, James said this is not a normal winter. Way too warm. Yeah. I'm actually surprised we didn't get snow. We've already got snow this year. Well, it's either going to be an easy winter as far as temperatures. Oh, we're going to get snow. But I think we're going to get, I don't know, I think we're going to pay for this. I think we're going to get a March storm, yeah. Mr. Keith keeps on bragging how warm it is down there. Yeah. 53. 53. Same. It's 53 right now. It's actually snowing right now. Is it? Yeah, it's snowing. It's a wet snow mixed with rain. Oh, yeah, it is snowing. But it's snowing. Let's get back over here. Left lanes for passing, people. Um, we live in, well, how can you explain? You always explain. Southeastern Pennsylvania. That's where we're headed. Small town, USA, Pennsylvania. Next, uh, James said, next seven days in forecasting, mud in Tor 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 Torrental rain? Yeah. yeah. Toronto. Mud in Toronto? Yeah. Just be said mud. Okay. So, without the freeze, this time of year, it's, it's tough to get anything done if you got to get into the woods. Uh, we have milling jobs we're trying to get lined up, but we yeah. can't. Can't get into there in the locations because it's too wet and muddy. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on? Yeah, I mean we could probably work uh, in our own location at our house. I know at the mill. We could work at the mill. That's not a problem. Just as long as it's not raining. Oh, good morning, Larry and 
Robin. Hey, how's it going, Larry Robin? Thank you. Been enjoying the videos, that's for sure. He said have a safe, safe travels. Well, just to let you know, Larry and Robin, I don't know if you were in for Brad's uh, record-breaking live stream of over four hours. They, they beat our record. Well, we're, we're going to get that record back right now. So hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can maintain a connection. We don't run into a bad area because it's not official. If you lose connection and uh, the timer starts over again, you don't get you don't get the record, so we got to keep that going. And Daniel said, "Is that where outside where Shive was?" No. Oh, Shive's about two hours, hour and a half, two hours east of us. Yes. biggest part. And that usually lasts uh, March and April. Windy. And then rainy in, in April. Very rainy in April. Foggy. Very foggy right now. Right now? Yeah, it's uh, yes. a, little bit of, a little bit of haze. A little bit of frozen precip along with some rain. I mean, the roads are wet. We don't have to worry about wow. ice. Ice starting to knock bad. So. 71 degrees. Where at? Larry and Robin. What, next month? Here, yesterday. 71? 71 yesterday? Oh my god. Hey, wait a minute. You guys are in Virginia, right? 71, wow. Or are you a little further south than that? I, it's, it's tough to keep track of where people are, where yeah. everybody's located at. So if you just joined us, we're up to 17 people now. Deb and I were talking about uh, what all is going to be at the live stream. We're going to have our own personal merch, t-shirts, stickers. Yep. Hope to have some hats and uh, some beanie or some beanies and some uh, ball cap hats. Larry Robert, Westchester. Westchester, yeah. okay. Westchester, PA. PA. Yeah, I was going to say. That's Virginia. Good day. We'll see you out here on the next one, okay? And uh, stay safe out there in the wood yard or whatever you got going on, okay? But for the live stream, like I was saying, we got our own merch, t-shirts, stickers, maybe some stuff from the shop, some woodworking, usually turnings, or some other wood crafting we've done. Uh, steel merch. Not 100% sure what the steel merch is going to be. We're Assuming at this point we didn't get clarification of uh, gloves, hats, shirts, something along those lines. And then um, the two nicest things we've got going on is we got a steel brand new in the box, a steel MS251, and a steel MS261. Brand new in the box. They're going to be shipped dry, guys, but I'm going to test fire them, okay? But uh, we're supposed to pick those up in the next few weeks. Once we get those, I don't know. If it's going to take too long, we might push the live stream out, and then we'll, you know, once they arrive, we'll worry about shipping them out. Or if they get here soon enough, that's when we'll run the live stream. So. What's that? He said stop in at Walmart on the way back. Yeah, you were Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, there's no Wawa's out here, so we've been missing the Wawa food. And uh, I could use a Sizzly as well. How do you say his name? P-E-C-O-S. Pickles. 
Hello. Hello. Pecos is here. How's it going, brother? Good to have you here on the live stream. Uh, I'm trying to get wow. out from behind some trucks here. Both of them. Okay, I think we'll just switch back to all rain. The weather's changing as we drive down the road. I'd rather drive out of this mess. It looks a little brighter in front of us. Hopefully we're heading for some better weather. I hope so. A little bit drier weather would be nice. I was following two tractor trailers. The overspray coming off of them is nasty. Right, I'm turn the light down again. Looking good. We're uh There's the exit for Toledo and Dayton, so we're that's far out how far out we are yet, guys. Route 75, Toledo, Dayton. Hey Keith, it's been kind of uh I don't want to use the Q word, but not active in the area. At least uh, my active 911 is still working, so that's a good thing. Everybody's staying healthy. Yep, so if, you, if you're interested in the uh, seals, they will be on our live stream. We'll, we'll do a bigger bigger, blow, uh, bigger announcement as to when exactly it's going to be. We'll schedule it. Uh, we're going to be running our new software with that as well, so make it a little bit more interesting. Might bring on some guests. Uh, it all depends on what we can set up between now and then. What do we got? Okay. Um, okay. Can I say that? There We've been oh wondering where God. the hell you were. I have been worried about you. Deb has been worried. She's like, can you get a hold of him? I said, I, am so I mean, we could message him, but that's about it. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to do much of anything with that. I'm so glad you're on. So your old phone died. Okay. I am getting some weird wind off of this. I got a car carrier here next to me, guys. And it's making the truck go all back kinds of wonky back and forth here. Uh, Get that pressure like waves off. Yeah, he's wobbling around too. I don't think we're in a lot of wind right here. It doesn't look like it. This guy's a little, this guy's a little Barry wonky. Barry just said, here. I'm always watching. Yeah, you're always watching, but you you, are, you haven't been coming, and I've been really worried about yeah, you. Yes, definitely worried about you. Just talking to Chuck. Because Barry, you were one that was on all the time. Yes. You pop in right away into the comment sections and stuff like that. And uh, when you stopped and Thai Man was dump, jumping in all the time first, we uh, we're very concerned. We're, we got real concerned. Uh, Chris said, happy safe. Chris G said, happy safe. Have a safe place. Okay. Thank you, Chris. G. Is that Chris Gerwitz or yes. Chris? Yeah. Are you just saying Chris would be? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roughly eight hours and just yeah. <laughs> so that's the whole idea. If we can break the four-hour mark, and I, actually, I'd like to bury that four-hour mark. Okay. And I, I think somebody would have to do a heck of a thing to try to catch that. So. Uh, Mary said, "Should get a new phone and be back soon." Awesome, yes, dude. please, Barry. We miss the ones that have been, that have been on yeah, there's long. There's the regular ones that are on yes. all the time and, and, and they are. commenting all the time, and then all of a sudden they disappear. disappear we get and they get a little concerned. bit worried about them. Thank you, Chris. See, we are genuinely concerned yes. about you guys out there. So if you if you're normally commenting, keep yeah. commenting because we know you're all right. Yeah. Because this whole this whole wood community is the weirdest thing, but it's not weird like who. No, it's weird like. You don't normally hear about this kind of stuff happening. This whole community, whether it's the wood, uh, the firewood community or the sawmill community, we're all out there to support each other. We're there for everybody's channels, kind of looking out for each other. And the thing is, when when you watch somebody on their live streams, or you watch, you, you talk to enough people on here, that when you meet them, it's like walking up to an old friend. Yes. 
shaking her head. In Jeff's case, giving out lots of hugs. Uh, Keith said, no, it's been very uneventful in the area. That's... We are 50 some calls behind already from last year. And more BLS, BLS calls from calls than ALS. Yeah. And Mary said, it's visible that the truck behind you has its lights on. Oh yeah, we well we always run with our lights on anyway. Visibility was bad back there. Um, we got through that rain shower, snow shower, pretty good. It's just a light drizzle right now. Um, we seem to be okay here. And the roads aren't like soaking wet, puddling up or anything like that. We've been in a lot worse, like uh, summertime storms, things like that. So I just I but I don't want to get too busy chatting on here and not watch my tool gauge. Because uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for our next uh, next stop. Trust me, though, we're gonna keep it going. If we're gonna, we'll, uh, if I have to step out to fill the fill a tank or, or whatever, uh, uh, Deb has to jump out and maybe grab some food or whatever. John, but we will keep the live stream going. Someone will be in front of the camera. John said. John Pierce said, and most of the area up here in the northeast where I live and where Deb and Chuck live is the long to have your lights. Oh yeah. Your wipers are on. Yes. Wipers are on. The lights are on. Yep. We know that. A lot of people I know, they're driving in this mess, um, especially in Pennsylvania. They're like, I can see. Yeah. A foggy day. You got your wipers on, clean your windshield off, but you don't have your headlights on. Okay. Or, or whatever. It's like, turn your headlights on, guys. Larry Ford just came in. Good morning, and he said, just got here. Had to run and get some things to eat. And then to store. Ah, okay. Yeah, we need a thing to eat too. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up on uh, lunchtime in about an hour. Yep. I'm keeping an eye on the on the uh, on the exits here where we can get fuel and food. Uh, Miss Deb here will only eat at Arby's when we're on the road, so no, it's not that bad. And we have a bunch of food with us if we need it. Snack food mostly, but I'd like to get us something solid in there, not McDonald's. There's a McDonald's at every exit here, and not my thing. Nope, no McDonald's for me. Yeah, I want to make it home without a bathroom break. And you can't see that going to McDonald's. McDonald's. Right there. What's that? There's one. A what? A McDonald's. Yeah, I'm not stopping here. Nope. Not no doing McDonald's. It. You gotta keep them interested. Don't bore them to death. They're gonna want to leave. Let's get by these guys. Well, they might be chatting. Simply, when Josh asked um, about, do you drive a fire truck for your fire department? No. Oh, that's it. That's the thing, guys. Most, a lot of areas are fire and EMS together. Um, in our area, fire is separate from EMS or the ambulance squad, however you want to look at it. But we run a whole, a whole separate ambulance company. Um, please don't call us ambulance drivers. <laughs> um, for the guys I work with and the girls I work with, they are highly skilled people uh, with, uh, with a lot of life-saving skills, which I've seen in action. And uh, yeah, so... EMTs and paramedics, please. <laughs> no, I'm more than a driver as well. I'm a Pennsylvania certified EMT. So, something I worked long and hard to get and do not want to lose that. Don't want to give that up. At least not yet. I know there'll be a point in time when I'll have to uh, say, you know, I have to say goodbye to, this, to uh, running, you know, being on the streets and maybe just relegate just to the board position that I'm at now. But as I'm going right now, I'll stay on the truck as long as I can. As long as I'm, uh, as long as I'm usable on the truck, let's put it that way. Yeah, it is foggy, Mary. Yeah, the, well, the back window is probably salt covered too, so yeah, it, it looks is. worse than it is. It is foggy. I'm 
looking anywhere but the road in front of me, so this is headlights. not for everybody and for I think we're away for security. Is it still running? It, it's going in. It does and that. It does. Is there... put it on a certain speed. It's not continuous? I have uh, Josh. There we go. I think it's all Josh. Josh said I have been in AMT and a driver, nothing worse than trying to drive an ambulance or a rescue truck in the fog and rain. That's for sure. Mary was a cop for a bit over a year. Mary was. Ma Mary. Mary was. Thank you, Mary. That's another one. It's uh. He was also Larry. Uh, Larry was also a uh, police. Larry was yeah. police as well. Cool. So a lot of people I know, they've kind of bounced around in emergency services a bit with, with fire, EMS, and uh, whatnot. Fire, EMS, police. Springfield exit on 70 for Orbeans. Oh, thank you. Springfield exit on 70. You know, but there's a rest stop and stuff there. Oh, that's great. There it goes. <laughs> that's not an Arby's. There's not an Arby's there. That's just a rest stop. So on Route 70 when we get there, because we're on 80 now. We're 80 heading uh, east. Now we said, yeah, exit on 70. Arby's. Exit on 70? Yes, exit on 70. Uh, I don't know. Do we okay. have to be on 70 or is exit for 70? I don't know, but we'll find one. We'll find something. Yeah, give us an exit number for an Arby's <laughs> on Route 80. Or was that what you were talking about? Springfield exit 174. Springfield exit. I think they think we're further along. We're in Ohio now. And we're on 80. Oh, cool. She was a. Mary was a comeback. How do you say that? In the Navy, too. STEV. 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 That's a. I don't know. I can't. I can't keep up with your spelling. Yeah, S T E V A D O R. Cool. I don't know. I can't see Thank it. Thank you. I can't see it in my head. So. <laughs> Sudden, it'll just start getting warmer. Nobody ties them. So, how many folks are going to down? A, is that 17 or 12? It's a bad time to have a live stream, guys. It's uh, in the middle of the day, or it's the middle of the morning. I got so. 11. You got 11. Okay. Loaded cargo. Oh, cool. She loaded cargo. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, thank you for your service yes, as well. Thank you for your I mean, service. that's I, that's the common, that's the generic answer or the generic response that everybody gives. We get the same thing as well. Um, we get the same thing as well. Sorry, I'm just watching the uh, Ohio State Trooper. Okay, no lights. We're good. I was close enough to the speed limit. I got slowed down at James Lane's. We're safe. A bunch of cat track loaders just went by. I'm jealous. I need one of those. That'd be nice. What? Well, it's not a track loader. It's a it's a, a, a compact track loader. Compact. CTL. Compact track loader. I still have my back away from me. Put it back. I put it back. Okay. I figured out the controller. So did somebody say they could find an Arby's for us? Did somebody post that yet? Keith's the only one 
said so, On Route 70, but we're not on 70, and we're, we won't be going on 70 as far as I know. Or were you saying exit 70? Or the exit for Route 70? Larry Ford, CDEMA, since 1974. Thank you, Larry. EMA or EMS? EMA. Okay. Where are we passing? Okay. We're still not quite to Cleveland yet. We've got a ways to go. Do we? Yeah. Let's see. Checking the map quick. Oh, what are you oh my goodness. We have 446 yet to go. Until we get off of 80. 446 oh miles. Well, that's, we're already 100 miles in from when we got on here, so I'm going to get out of the fast lane. Just right. attracting attention over here. It's three lanes wide, and I don't want to attract attention by hanging out in the fast lane, especially if I don't need to be here. And it's just drizzling right now, just almost like a mist. But <clears throat> I think we got a while yet. A while for what? Stop. Yeah, well, we have to take a fuel stop soon. Well, hopefully we hit something. No, not hit something. We don't want to hit something. No, I meant hit a rest stop. Hit a rest stop or hit a fuel station. Fuel, fuel station. stop, at least. We're going to have to get off of here. Nobody's talking? Everybody went off? We're down to nine people. you got to keep this what interesting, route girl. Are you, what route are you on? We are, we're on Route 80 slash 90. They kind of combined where we're at now, but 80 east. Okay, Keith, we'll see you when you come back. All right, Keith, take it easy, brother. John Pierce, I was a volunteer fireman for many years until a car accident ended my career. Oh, was yeah. A New York State peace officer. Thank you. Nice. Near what town are we on? We're, oh. oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know yet. We're still, I mean, this road will take us to Cleveland. I know that. What town are we near? Our exit number? Um, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm looking. I'd ask my navigator, but I don't know if that'll work out real well. We see farmland, as far as I can see right now. <laughs> Coming up, where we're located. Yeah, I think we, we just pa passed it at Sandusky County, so we're not far from Sandusky, Ohio, I assume. Yeah, we're going to Cleveland. I wish I could get you an exit number. Okay. I bet you it was an old farmhouse in there. It's going down. Yeah. Which is weird to have a clump of trees like that that looks almost clear down. Probably got an old farmhouse. Oh, Cedar Point traffic info. Oh, that's just for Cedar Point. So, Cedar Point, Ohio, maybe? Uh, Keys wants to know, where are you on 80 currently? Uh, let me see if I can catch a mile marker number. 85.6. I'll catch you all later. Got a company. In. Okay, Chris. Oh, Chris Say, Foles. Yeah. Foles. Chris Foles? No, okay. G. Chris G. Gerwitz. Yes. Have a blessed Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks for stopping in. And you know what? If you get a chance later on, check in. We'll probably still be here. Unless YouTube kicks us off. Which I don't think they will. I'm not sure why this guy just went in front of me. Unless he's trying to slow me down because there's a speed trap ahead. I don't know.
Yeah, it's kind of coming in from our, our left. I, I bumped around a bit out here, so. Who has questions, guys? Anything to a point. <laughs> Any kind of questions. How about like, what you'd like to see us doing on the, either the mill, with the splitter, or with something on the channel? We're taking suggestions. I, I want to get some good ideas for what people are going to like to see. We have our Saturday video. Um, we'll probably be another live stream. Um, because we're being away, um, don't have any uh, editing software I can use. So, And I don't edit with my phone. I have one set of software I edit with. And um, that's the way I know how to do it. I could have... I could have posted a bunch of shorts, I guess, but it probably would have been mostly non-firewood or, or sawmill related, so it would have been more about our trip. Are you near Young's, Youngstown? Youngstown. I'm not sure, Mary. Well, you have the, app, uh, the ability to look at a map. I don't. No, you just had it up. No. Bring it up. Yes. Here's yeah. a stop right See now. We're near uh, uh, Fremont and Port Clinton. That's where we're at right now. Uh, highway is number 53. Ohio 53. Yeah, Fremont's a good sized town. What lake is that? Oh. Yeah, we're just passing. Yeah, we're down below the tip of Lake Erie. way we're going to be in Pennsylvania soon. No way. Maybe we are because we're going to go across the entire state of Ohio. That's the 500 and some miles, I think. Okay, we got, that's attractions. We're not looking for a vacation spot. We're looking for gas. <laughs> well, you think if we go in one of the towns, there's So here, here, here's what I, I would hope would happen if we ran out of gas. If there'd be a wood hound or somebody lives nearby, they'd be able to come out and dump five gallons in a tank and get us to the gas station. that John it's uh it is a lot of fun and we like sharing it with everybody and and for the folks who who do firewood and the folks who run a sawmill or thinking about a sawmill we like uh I don't even want to say the name of that right? <laughs> yeah. um yeah it's uh if we can share information with people and make their job a little easier and help them through some stuff uh, we definitely like doing that uh, Mary said for Arby's all north of Columbus. They're all north of Columbus, okay. Yeah, because once we got up into Michigan, the uh, Arby's were big again, but through this section here, we didn't see anything. There was one we went to, maybe we can still hit it on the way back. Bernard, Bernard, you have a long way to go to Young, Youngstown, I guess. Yeah, we're, I think we're quite a ways north of Youngstown. Yep. We're just crossing over the Sandusky River. And it's still farmlands. <laughs> farmlands, small communities, some lakes. You can flip the camera around so you don't have to stare at our ugly mugs and show them where we're at. Just don't hit that X up there and close the channel. Yeah. Want to try it? Don't touch the screen. There you go, Deb. I can get this off there. Don't touch the screen. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay. You touch the screen, we're going to get shut off. It's I think all. I can turn them off. There we go. It's just flat. Just flat farmland, guys. Nothing nothing spectacular to look at. No no nice views or anything like that. So. This is what we've been looking at. <laughs> we didn't see this on the way out here because it was dark. Yeah. We drove straight hours. Straight, not straight hours. 12 hours straight to get out here, almost to the minute to get out here, and we probably are going to be doing that on the way back. Unless I keep doing this speed, we better slow down a little bit. 
get a little too uh, a little too comfortable, and next thing you know, you got the bright lights and sirens behind you. And you don't want that. So just flip them back around. You ready? Yep. All right. And we're back to our ugly mugs. There you go. Pardon my camera operator. Just, here, point them at the ceiling. When we pass a big load of glass. I wonder what that was in the machine. The machine? The machine is just the forklift that's on the back of the, well, the, back of the truck. It's a machine. The forklift comes out and it rides along in there and it jumps out. It's a moffin. It's called a moffin. Yes, we have a truck behind us. We we'll see him. Yeah, you got to keep up with the chat. You gotta, are you getting a headache from reading it? About three hours. Three hours to what? The next Youngstown. Arby's? Youngstown. Or Youngstown. Oh, Youngstown. Oh, three does. hours north, too. Wow, that's not good. That's, yeah, we're not going south. Mary said you were up near the lakes. No yep. wonder you were having so much rain. Yeah. Get the lake effect weather up here. I can actually see some brighter skies way up in the distance. That's probably that sunshine you're having in Pennsylvania. Right John, now. John Pierce said vertical pad comes on the right driver like you stole it. Vertical pad on the right driver. <laughs> well, I'm kind of at that point now. I'm real comfortable at this speed right now, and it's not, I don't want to be comfortable at this speed. It's a little too fast. Thank you, fix. Okay, great. Yeah, this, this truck handles well. The problem, biggest problem we have now is the wind uh, coming in from the right. Every it, second uh, south. It's not a real high-profile vehicle, but it is. it does have a, a good uh, bit of resistance to it when the wind hits it. So we don't want to, don't want to get bopped around by the wind yeah. too bad. That. You get out in these open field areas and you can wind just kind of rocking the truck back and forth a bit. So we're going to keep it under control. It still feels like it's rocking back and forth. It is. The wind keeps hitting us. Catching up to it. It's kind of coming from the rear right a little bit. So. And of course, we run in these road work areas where you have to slow down. So. Uh, Kate just said the 71 exit. Oh, the 71 exit. I'll bet you that's the one we're on the floor. I'll bet you any money that's the one we were on before. Left lane closed ahead. Yeah, we're coming up on a construction site, so got to back out of the throttle here a bit. This is a new bridge. And it looks like they built a lot of new bridges up over the interstate here. Yeah, that's all new. Uh, the rock is new. Nice area. It's a nice area. It's kind of boring. It's flat. And once you leave Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, it pretty much flattens out. <laughs> Mary, Mary said, please come south. I have driven up there. That is terrible. The rain is like driving through walls of water. Yeah. Do you want to get off from this exit? I don't Well, maybe this exit may not be open. It's not an exit. This is a rest stop. You need a rest stop. Or do you want to just keep going until we get to the arch? No, arcs? I need a rest stop. You need a rest stop? Yes, I do. How far away from are we from uh, from seventy? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is that seventy? That's seventy-six. I don't know where we are, Kevin. We're here, Tremont. I don't. I don't see where seventy is here. You watch that. I can't be. I can't be looking at that. No, we can't. Oh, it's seventy-one, not seventy. Sorry, Look for seventy-one. We're so crosses right over the there. blue line. Well, where are we in, in conjunction well, it's with that? Over here. Zoom back. Wow. Go down a little bit more. How far are we from 71? Right there with the blue arrow. Yeah, I know. Where's 71 at? 71's over that way. It's not even in the blue. No, we cross, it crosses over. Oh, okay. Well, There's that... an exit for 71. I mean, we're above the quarter tank. And we've been hitting a lot of uh, rest areas or service plazas, stuff like that. This one's saying 30 mi 39 minutes slower. That's just a different route. Hey, can anybody give us a distance where the heck we are? As my navigator here is, is, has issues reading the map. Oh, well, that might have been the rest stop we're at too. They all look the same. In Ohio, they're exactly the same everywhere. Every rest stop, they're shaped exactly the same. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, we just said we, we just crossed over 53 from Fremont. So we're near Fremont, Ohio, on 80 east. How far to get to the 71 exit? I'm trying to figure out where you are with a smile on your face. That's cute. <laughs> I gotta have uh, some some training sessions on Google Maps with my navigator over here. You got in, okay, you got on at exit 71, Ohio Turnpike. Question mark. That's Mary. Mary. No, we're looking for for Route 71, uh, where it enters the Ohio Turnpike, because that's where uh, the Arby's is. So if we're not too far away, we'll just push to that point, and as long as our fuel's good. John Pierce said, I can tell you right where you are, you are, you are in your truck. <laughs> That's a good one, John. I like that one. Yeah. I should set this, I should set this cruise control to my foot of brake. Okay. There we go. And then also that'll keep me from kind of laying, letting my foot relax. The next thing you know, I'm above where I should be. Yeah, we don't want that. Well, we're going under Mug Road, if anybody knows where that is. Just went under the uh, Mug Road underpass. Or overpass. Yeah, Mug Road is an overpass. Let me get back to the map, I guess. Uh, where are we? Good job. Oh, I can't. I don't think we're too far away from 74. You can yeah. Google search it, but then you have to shut off. No, yeah, we're getting up to 90. Route 9? Yeah. Oh, it's where 90 splits off again. I know we, we did find an Arby's somewhere down here before we went to the rest stop. Deb had to have her Arby's. So what we can do is we'll just relieve each other in the truck. We'll just, uh, I'll go in first or you can go in first. It depends on who's in the most distress for the bathroom. Happy. And, uh, that way somebody's always here with everybody because we're not taking you into the restaurant with us. We're not because, you know. Six hours and 53 minutes. Six hours? Six and hours and 53 minutes before we're home. Before we're home? Yep. All right. This thing is 624. Does that sound right? 624 six, six, what? PM. Yeah. That's probably about right. Huh. Oh, I mean, when we came up here, we were, we were kind of, I don't know if we were dealing more traffic or not. I did that wrong. What'd you do? Shut off the feet. We're still live. Good. Oh, somebody just answered the question, I think. Okay, go back in. If it does that. Don't get Deb. it. Deb, Deb jumped out of the. Uh, I'm getting back on. There we <laughs> Deb's am. monitoring the live stream on her phone so we can catch the chat and everything. She definitely don't want to miss any questions anybody has. Bernard so. uh, said Exit 71 was. Electronics issues. Yes, I do. So. Um, okay. What do you got? John Pierce can't really blame her. Arby's has some really good food. Yes, yeah. they do. I, as far as fast food goes, that's probably one of the only places I'll eat as far as fast food goes. Uh, all right. Unless you want to count Wawa as fast food, I like their stuff. Seventy-one is just another expressway. Nothing there. Yep, yeah. As we see. Nothing here at all. Well, we, no, he's talking about the, the, the 71 Express, but we're not, we're not on 71, oh. we're on 80. He's okay. saying the exit for 71 is right. just another expressway. There's nothing there. Okay. Don't lose a track. I think she needed more sleep last night. No, I think I need to You need to be focused? Yeah. Hard focusing right now? Come on, we gotta, we gotta push through. It's that bad, we'll pull up another another rest stop. I don't care. Uh, but I, I don't want to get rest stop food. I'll get rest no. stop facilities, but I don't want to rest stop food. No, 
I don't either. We don't have a fire oh, a wawa, what up here? A wawa up here. No. Probably a sheets or a speedway or what's the other? Uh, quality. Quality is another one I've seen up here in at least the Michigan area. Sheets is big north and south of us, although Sheets is starting to get in closer and closer. Yes. And then, of course, there's always the Wawa. Yeah. Are you watching the chat? Yes, I am. Okay. Didn't know if anybody was commenting. It's just John Pierce last. So we've got, we've got what? Only five, only nine people in. We got to, we got to keep people in here, guys. Yeah, we're crossing Route Four, Sandusky, Bellevue. So that gives you an idea of where we are. Oh, uh, what? Oh, somebody's messaging me. Oh, who was that? Somebody went live. No. Somebody posted something. No, it's one of the building. Okay. No, okay. Uh, John Pierce, we don't. We do have a a the speedways up here. We took over the Hess. All the Hess stations. Oh, wow, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a blast in the past. I haven't seen a Hess station in. Joseph said, go to, well, gotta to go, have a safe trip, see you on the next one, thank you. Alright, you take care, thank you for stopping in, anybody who comes in and wants to hang out for a live stream, there's not a whole lot of action, we're just driving and talking and, and wanting to hear from you guys, and uh, that's why we're here for now. Tim, okay. Tim Stout said, 80 and Route 4, I know where you are, what are you looking for? Looking for Arby's. Deb wants an Arby's, and we're going to need fuel because we're about, we're about a quarter tank now. And there's plenty of places to pull off, but we'd rather combine the food and the the, uh, the fuel stop at once. So we're going to 90 east now. We need going to 90 east. No, so we're 80, all, we, 80 to 90. We are on 80 90. We've been yeah. on 80 90 since we got. Oh God. <laughs> My navigator has issues. Tilt this down a little bit. No, can't do that. Sorry, guys. Block the whole camera down. Check the signs that will tell you of food at the each exit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. We have been looking. We're passing a truckload of boats. <laughs> and set a new live chat record. Yes, John. We're working on it, John. That, that's our whole intention. We want that record back. And if anybody's going to go for it, it's going to take them a They're going to have to plan it out to, to uh, yeah. Not that we're not that we're challenging anybody, but we just want to make it uh, want to own something on this uh, on this old Woodhound adventure. So, um, connect. Does anybody know how long they've been watching the channel? I don't know how. I just, it's not like like Barry West if he's still here. Um, Barry's been watching the channel for an awful long time. John's been watching the channel for a real long time as well. Um, well, there's a sign you're getting close to Pennsylvania. Yingling. Y go. If you're not sure what Yingling is, it's a brewery in uh, Pennsylvania. So it's the oldest brewery, brewery in the U.S. And Yingling's is a beer. And I like the Yingling, Yingling lager. I just have trouble saying it. I don't want to get nervous here and, and end up running out of gas. That's, now, now I'm starting to be concerned about that. Um, I don't know if we're going to make this Route 70. John Pierce said, of course, that's why I'm here. I'll stay right to the very end. Thank you, John. So we have somebody who guarantees as long as we're connected, they'll be connected. And that's an oh. official live stream. My concern is when we get into Pennsylvania and some of those hills, uh, we may drop, the live stream may drop. And, and as long as we're over that record mark, I'll take it. Mary said, when you get to exit 71, you will have your choice restaurants. Good. That's good. Anybody know how far we are from there? I, you could Google search it if you want to shut off your... You'd have to shut off the map at least. Or just go back out to the death. Oh, no, you'd have to shut off the uh, live stream. We'll still be live. I just won't be able to see it on there. That's all. So what am I looking for, Chuck? How 
far to exit 70 work, or how far to route 70 work, something like that. we're moving so I don't know if the, the, the GPS is going to work right with that. No, it's not. Yeah, Where is the closest to Arby's? Asking that. <laughs> Where is the closest Arby's to me? Of course your GPS says to know where you're at right now. Uh, we got North Walk, Ohio, 7.1 miles. That's Six the point. Two in Sandusky. In Sandusky. Six. I don't think that thing knows where we're at. Because <laughs> if you ask it what's my current location, it won't know. It'll it'll pick up where you were last with a stable GPS, you know, sitting still signal. I've seen that happen before. Because when we came out here, I asked my phone where the closest something was, and it gave me directions from my house. So that's not really working out. thing I can suggest guys is if you ever get a chance uh, visit Holland Michigan uh, great little town lots of cool things to do it, well we were there in the winter so it's, it's a little bit subdued in the winter time but if you like like the beaches of Lake Michigan and you want to get into you want to be close enough to Holland we'll good. get you there That's the exit we're getting off of at the end of 412 miles. Right. Just crossing route, it's a 250, 250. It's another Sandusky exit. Let's see if it makes one and yet. Here's some signs for food. I don't know what we're no, getting No, this off. is attractions. So it's an exit 118. Exit 71? Man, we got a lot of exits to go if we wait till 71, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. No. If you have to, if you need to take a rest stop, we'll take a rest stop. Yeah, I do. Okay. There's 118. Yeah, but it's not you'd have to try how many miles you have to drive to these no. rest stops. I don't know. I don't see anything around for even a fuel station. Oh, there's a factory there. I don't know what they do with the factory, but anyway. Usually there's a... I don't know. I don't know, Deb. You have to talk to everybody. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What's coming up on the channel? How about that? I know we've got a... I know we've got a Black Walnut Slab video coming up. We had one cut on the off-site mill. Uh, we got some video of the off-site mill. Unfortunately, still no video of that big mill running, but we've got some uh, video of us slab room, um, loading up our slabs, and then, of course getting them home and doing the, the, the ever popular water pop. Everybody likes a good water pop, especially the Black Walnut Garage. Tim said uh, we have a long way to 71 from our location. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pick another fuel exit. Mary here. said, at the exit 118, there are gas stations and restaurants. Oh uh, well, we already passed that one. <laughs> uh, hello, Chuck and Deb. Who's this? New new visitor to the room. Outdoor outdoors in the 608. There we hello. go. Now I can't remember who outdoors in the 608 is. Give me a reminder, buddy. I like to put a name with the uh, the channel name. Well, there's I know that there's outside in the 906 or life life in the 906. That's the is easy uh, from the upper upper peninsula uh, upper peninsula of Michigan, also known as a Uper. I don't know if that's an insult or if that's uh, Jeremiah. I don't know, Jeremiah. Okay, yeah, yeah, he was on the other night. Yeah. Just past the 250 exit. That's Tim Snow. Yeah. Well, now we're looking for the next one. I think it, it, 
didn't I didn't see any signs for fuel there. But I'm sure I mean, every exit's got a gas station. Right? Be a perfect place for a gas station. All right, coming up in a work zone. Got to throttle back, guys. Yeah, if you're out on the highway, guys, and you're going through a work zone, uh, drop your speeds, okay? These guys got families at home. They want them. They want to go home, see their families, hang out with their kids, play with their grandkids, whatever the situation is. So if you're out on the highways, you know, uh, please use your head in areas around the construction zones. You know, those guys are working there. Something may happen. They get to, they they move into the way of traffic, and bad things happen after that. So. Jeremiah, we are going home. Yes, yeah, we are. We are heading home. We were in Michigan in uh, Holland, Michigan, not far from JPF, Joe's Brewing Firewood. He has two channels up, Joe's Firewood videos and Joe's Firewood videos too. So if you want to check out his live stream of when we were there, um, he actually has two of them from when we were there. One, we were working at his place. We were, what were we doing? We dropped a few trees, yep. we split some, oh, we split a, uh, what he calls a Joe cord of hickory, yep. loaded his truck and uh, we dropped a few a few dead oaks in the woods, or Mike did, his buddy Mike did. Um, then the next live stream is when we're delivering and stacking the, the, uh, the hickory for the customer. At, and the customer was uh, City Barbecue up in, in Grand Rapids. From there, we're like, you know what? Lunchtime, we all went to uh, City Barbecue at a, at a brisket sandwich, right? Yep, very good. Very, very good, good there. So if you're in that area, you get a chance to stop in a city barbecue. I suggest well, you do it. It's well good. Worth it. Well worth it. Yeah, we had a couple of barbecue places. What was the other one? It's called the Paisley Pig. Yep. If you're if you're in Holland, you got to go in at the Paisley Pig. Great food. Um, I probably had more beer on this trip than yes. I had in the last three years. Yep. Of my life. Yes, um, did. You know how many beers that was? Three. That's how many beers I had. And I, all in three different sittings. So usually it was one beer and that was it. So. Mary said Subway's exit 110. Exit 110 Subway. That's okay. Subway. That's an option. You want a Subway? We can do a Subway. All I know is you can, I, know, I know what you care about is the bathroom right now. Yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah, so if you're in Holland, that's another place you can eat. What, right on 8th Street in Holland, what was the other place? Hops. It's called Hops. Hops is good. They have a lot of they have a lot of beers, different beers in there, and a lot of great food. Uh, excellent menu there. What were some of the other places? Oh, uh, Jackie's place for breakfast. Yes. I think they do breakfast and lunch there. Jackie's place. We had breakfast there once. It was very good. What was the other windmill? Windmill, windmill restaurant. Yeah, that's right. Right there on 8th Street, yep. in, right in town. Walking distance from our hotel we stayed at there. We were at the, uh, the Marriott Courtyard. That's where they put us up. We didn't choose that when they put us there. Wasn't that Joe's Cherry customer? Yes. It's Cherry customer. My ticket no. booked in, no? No. Oh, okay. No, that was, a, that was Joe's Hickory customer. We okay. took a load of Shagbark Hickory to the barbecue joint. That's where we ate. They insist on having uh, Shagbark Hickory. And we split almost all that he had, and I know he was looking for more, so. That's another thing we've noticed coming out here, guys. Um, we don't see, we've only seen, I used to see car haulers all the time out on the highway, fully loaded with cars. Now out here, we've seen one. Most of them we see are smaller uh, trucks with just a small car carrier thing on the back and a couple of vehicles, one or two, and that's it. Uh, he said, um, the pig restaurant. Paisley Pig. That, well, the cherry, yeah, probably went there, I'm guessing. The cherry went there? I'm guessing that's, oh, where, okay. the cherry, I'm guessing that's where the cherry goes. Yeah, Joe does deliver uh, wood to yeah. both of those places, and uh, either both of them are good. Well, yeah, both of them are good. We didn't deliver uh, any wood to the Paisley Pig. Just. We delivered, uh, well, we delivered ourselves there and ate some sandwiches, so. Yeah. Okay, Deb, you take over. I'm going to be quiet for a while. Who wants to hear Deb talk more on the videos? 
Try to get Deb to talk more on the videos, right? Do we need to get Deb to talk more, or do we need Chuck to just to be quiet so Deb can talk more? What do you think? I'm fine. I know where that's going. Deb's giving me directions to pass everybody. She's telling me to hurry up. I think she wants to get home. No, you want to get to the rest stop, right? I thought so. I'm well, speaking of the devil. There's an actual car carrier. Yep. I think the second one. There's a Dodge on It's not a Hellcat, though. No. Are you past exit 110? Not yet. We, we've been going past 18, 118, so we got a little ways to go yet to get to 110. Now, let's say skip exit numbers. I'm looking for signs for the next exit and what they have there. and uh, Going off anyways. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as we can get to a rest stop for Miss Debbie over here. Don't worry, Deb. I'm picking up the pace best I can. seven people watching, but who else has been out in this area? Now, we, we never expected to see Joe. We yeah. never thought it would be, I mean, we kind of joked around a little bit. What if we just showed up for one of his live streams? Um, just kind of like popped in out of the blue. Let's just go up there. We'll grab a hotel room, hang out, and go to Joe's house. And of course, that never materialized. Then my work is like, okay, we need you, uh, we want you to come up to to uh, Michigan, visit us here, meet a bunch of people here, see how things are run here, and um, yeah, just come out and, and do that business, and then do my job there because they have they have a lab there that I can work in. So, and we ran into a, a lot of great people there for sure. At um, at work, the place of work. I'm not going to mention where I work. Okay. Um, Got to keep something secret up here, you know? There, uh, let me see. Jeremiah said, I have only been in the UP of Michigan. Oh, you've uh, always been in the UP. Okay. Uh, Mary just said, I just tiptoed over the PA line into Ohio once and came back. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think as far as uh, driving, this is the furthest we've been from where we've lived since. Well, I mean, in Pennsylvania, I've been in I've been in Pennsylvania since 1970. Deb was born in Pennsylvania, Reading, Pennsylvania, correct? Reading or Pottstown? Pottstown. Pottstown. Okay. What is that? Ventures Industries. I don't know what it is. No Miriam yet? I figured Miriam would be popping in here already. Yeah, it's too early. Too early? She didn't get up yet, huh? She should be on soon. Okay. Long I'm surprised time. Joe didn't pop in. I wonder what Joe's doing. Or is he, have, is he going to the doctor today? sitting in here with her winter coat on in the truck. Oh, here we go. Something's what? ahead of us. We are stopping. Uh, I don't this care. This is a service plaza, so we're going to stop at the service plaza. We need gas uh, anyways. We're not eating at Burger King. Nope. nope. I'd rather eat our pretzels out of the bag in the back. So how far was that service plaza? I don't know. Yeah. Right. Like Usually they start putting the signs up about two miles out, so. 
expect to see another one for uh, one mile away. She'll be more chatty when she comes back from the ladies' room. That's my guess. Exit 135, what's off at 135? Is it fuel? Is there Arby's? Is there something? Because the other one was the service plaza. Exit 9 skips from 118 to 210. They probably only 8 miles. Okay. 8 miles BTWN town. BTWN. Yeah. Okay, so we're not, uh, we're not too far away from at least the service plaza. If there's an exit, didn't mention any fuel. No, we know at the service plaza there is a Sunoco, so we're gonna stop in there for some fuel because we are down the quarter tank. Here. Actually, a little bit below. This is in the service plaza, though. Service plaza further up the road. Keep looking for your service plaza side because we just get off like the Vermilion exit. You may not be able to re enter. Some have exits, but you can't re-enter. Re so you have to watch that as well. And then you have the... Uh, uh, then, you have, then you have the service plaza. It's a exit separate exit. 135, isn't that... 135, 135. No. What's that? Exit 30, 135, isn't that behind you? No. Nope, it's in front of us. services this exit. What do you mean no services? I don't know what that meant. Oh, this this is an exit. This isn't the rest plaza. This is an exit. Okay. And there's no services, no gas, no nothing here. So. Except only. Exit only, oh, only and you can't re-enter. Well, that's great. Service plaza is right up here, though, I'm pretty sure. We'll get you there, Miss Debbie. chat. I see things popping up, but I can't see them on the screen. The exit numbers are going up. Yeah. We're heading east. So, <laughs> oh, there was an Arby's at one at 71? I don't know. I think the exit they're talking about, 71, is actually the, the exit for Route 71. It's a site. It says slow down. See a blue service plaza sign coming up. Yeah, it's not that it's here, but it's going to tell you how far away it is. Don't see it yet. Valeria, Lorraine, and Cleveland. Is that a blue sign? Yeah. No, that's Ohio Turnpike Emergency Dial pound 677. I hope we had something soon. Why? Is it gas? Oh, here's a sign. That's two miles? Yeah, two miles away from the surf plaza. Tim Stout, you're not far from Old Turnpike Plaza. The plaza is listed and there are lots of restaurants at Yeah, we gotta get off here because the next plaza is 33 miles. Yeah, we get off here. <laughs> Deb's not gonna last another 33 miles. That's why Deb stopped talking so much. She's got a visit the ladies room while she does that I'll sit and chat with you guys oh, you I don't think gas. I don't think Deb wants to um, <laughs> take you to the ladies room with her. you gotta fill so. up gas huh? well if I can't I can't fill gas because no. then I'm gonna leave these folks alone oh. okay. that'll be boring for them to just sit here and stare out the back of the car <laughs> oh thank goodness uh, regular fuel is 343 I don't care. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we just go through this on the way home from Bunyan? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Miss Debbie had to hold it again. <laughs> this is longer. It's a longer overall trip. I'll give it that much. Who's th who thinks we should eat here too? I don't. I'm not gonna eat here. No. 
I'll pull off again to get better food. But I don't know where that Arby's is. Guys, we're on we're on 80 East. We're eastbound. So if there's an Arby's along 80 East, give us a give us a heads up to where it is. If it's at 71, great. I think we are. I think we've got that one straightened out. Uh, service Plaza Road. Yeah, let's not miss that. There we go. Deb smiling. Trucks, buses, RVs, carts, string. Mm. Right I think I'm gonna take off my camera. See, they all look the same. This looks like the one we saw. Yeah, it is. Coming out it here. does look like it. All right. Let's see where we gotta go I think here. I'm gonna take off my coat. Just park. Just park. Park. Well, it's gotta be just at the right. Place. I don't care where you park. <laughs> I got. It. I know. I know. So it's just gonna be me solo, guys. Here's the Deb's chat. running in. Deb's running into the ladies' room. He thinks I'm running into the ladies' room. There we go. She's not running anywhere, is what she tells me. So, so it's just me for a while, guys. Good I don't know. Stretch. Anybody else on the Ohio Turnpike who's in who wants to chat? <laughs> Thirty-six thumbs up. Ten people watching. We are an hour and forty-eight minutes in, guys. I'll tell you what. You guys make the time pass so well and so quickly, and uh, we really appreciate you coming on. And supporting the live stream and keeping us, uh, keeping our eyes open, keeping us uh, rubber side down. <laughs> Let me check out. Uh, didn't we just? Yeah. Okay. What are crumbs all over my lap here? Sorry, guys. I'm looking at the chat. Let me bring this up here. Amherst, Ohio. Yep. Well, at least it looks like the weather chillier. It did clear up a lot. I'm hoping we keep out running this rain. I don't want to. I don't want to drive in the rain like that. It's a mess. 140 exit has lots of businesses. Cool. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, we got this. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm stretching. I'm going to need to stretch my legs as soon as Deb gets back. So and then you'll have to chat with Deb. You guys would already be on on the road seven minutes when I joined. So I've been here a while. Lucky for me, my bathroom stops at least six feet away. <laughs> I just take you with me. As long as we don't have any sound to that, we're fine. Or picture. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, where were we? We were talking about all kinds of stuff. I think, uh, nope, let me close. Deb's got the cooler sticking open back here. There we go. Who minds if I eat something? <laughs> I need a little something in my stomach here, so... But it's always a pleasure riding with you guys. I mean, I know there's only a few people here, a few people chatting, but uh, that's okay. That's all right with us. Um, connecting with you guys is always fun. Um, if we've met you before out at Bunyan, thank you. If we're going to meet you in Boonville, thank you. Or at Bunyan again this year. Uh, we really appreciate it. We plan on pictures and pictures and name lists of names so we can really make sure that we are thanking everybody bill klein hello thank you for stopping in yes it's another live stream and we're happy you're able to join us it's an odd one maybe you're on your lunch break or not but we are on our way home from uh, holland michigan and we are going for a record live stream we don't know how long it's going to last Hopefully more than uh, four hours. Hopefully a lot more than four hours. Um, the only issue we could see running into is losing connection. We lose connection and, and we drop the live stream. We have to start from zero all over again. It doesn't count. We got to start from zero again and get that record back. Nobody go right ahead and sure. Let's see. <laughs> Why were you guys in Michigan? Uh, work. My work asked me to uh, visit Michigan and go to the facility there and work with the folks there, uh, which I did. We had a great time. The, the area we were in in Holland, Michigan was a beautiful area. A lot of great people. And they talk to you like they're long lost friends. And while we were in Michigan, we got to visit Joe over at 
Joe's Firewood videos, the Joe's Firewood videos too. So if you're watching his, uh, if you're watching his, if you ever watch his channel, check out his live streams. And uh, he did two live streams with us there. We did some splitting and stacking, and uh, we delivered a what he calls a Joe cord, which is a, a heaped up uh, pickup load of wood thrown in uh, to the local barbecue joint, and we had lunch there as well. Did we enjoy Michigan? Absolutely, Bill. Where we were, it's a beautiful part of the state. We got to go out to see Lake Michigan. We saw a lot of Holland, Michigan. Some of Grand Rapids. Um, not sure where else we went. A lot of great restaurants, big and small there. Um, I think our favorite, and we asked that earlier, they asked earlier is Hops on uh, 8th Street in the middle of Holland. That's like their main road right through the middle of Holland. At least for us it was. That seems to be their main street, what we would call Main Street in Pennsylvania. And they built that up really nice in that area. A lot of great restaurants. So, so uh, if you ever get a chance to visit them, do so. The only time you probably don't want to go is in uh, the spring when they have the Tulip Festival. Holland Tulip Bulbs, of course, big in that area. And it's a madhouse. <laughs> of flower lovers there so oh you guys are a little further north. how far north are you bill so i know hard work and man and, and rachel are up that far about i think they're about eight hours from holland they were a lot more further north Or are you talking about the UP? Do you want us to go up over to the end of the UP? We got folks coming and going in here. Just know that if you were here for this live stream and we make, make it long enough, we will be um, setting a record, at least in the Woodhound community, for longest live stream. So, Dick, old guy Firewood, how the heck are you? I'm just on my way out to deliver a load of firewood and saw you were live. Just wanted to say hello. Drive safely. You do the same, Dick. Good luck on that delivery. I know I don't know if it was a dump and run or if you're going to be stacking it or, or what the situation is, but uh, do so safely, okay? And uh, maybe you can tune in later on. I don't think we're going to be on during Shifty's live stream tonight over at Back 40. But um, we will. I don't think we will. I don't think we'll be uh, be uh, overrunning into his live stream. We should be home before then. If not, that means we ran into some traffic somewhere. It's holding, holding us up. So Deb is back. She should be all chipper and happy by now. What do you think? Better? Yes. You want your coat on? Yeah. Okay. Deb wants your coat on. Much Finally better. got one of these too. Two of Much these actually. Better. Easton made toque. Been waiting for these. We got that from uh, Brad's. From, from when we're down at Brad's house. So. Oh, what did we leave? Bill says we needed to come a little further north to visit him. Okay. Dick oh. stopped in, saw we were live. He's uh, heading out to deliver a load of firewood. Dick, if you're still here, stop back in. We're going to be on here for a while, okay? Oh. All right, man, John. All right, guys, my turn. Deb's <laughs> going to have to lean into the picture here. I will hand the chat monitor back over to her, <sighs> and I'm going to head in. So yeah, we're not we're not going to eat. Not here, no. I want my Arby's. Oh God, you're spoiled. Arby's, it is. It's high, Dick, if you're still here. William? I miss William coming in. <sighs> you're funny, Barry. Uh, Walter. Oh. 
We went to see Joe, and Chuck has had something to do f for work. It was nice. Nice there, William. Very. Okay, that's what Chuck was talking about up north. Okay. Oh, cool. Two places. That That's nice. Okay. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Just trying to get a little bit... It's not that cold out here. But I took my coat to... I took my coat off to go in. So I'm trying to warm up. That was a long trip for me. So Barry, how you doing? Okay. Okay, John. Thank you. It's good. This is gonna be a very, very long trip. I'm, lo I'm lo really looking forward to eating lunch. We do have stuff to eat in the car. I think Chuck told you: crackers, chips, pretzels. I get the party pack. Oh, yes. And we do have one piece of fudge and some candy, but I'm going to try to stay out of that. That's hard for me to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to keep my phone here so I see who's uh, popping in. So, I don't want to do the live stream until we get the prizes in, so we have them to go out. That's what I want to do. I want to wait until we get stuff in. Hello, Kevin, and how are you? Our lunch break. Well, thanks for stopping in, Kevin. How are your boys? Alex and Andrew, if I'm right. I'm trying to memorize their names. Oh, William, okay. I drove down state and back up. Ten hours. Okay. Kevin's here. Kevin. The one that we met. At Brad's. Oh. He's here because he's doing lunch break. Said, be safe returning home. Absolutely, Kevin. Okay. If you say Kevin, you have to say who, because okay. there's lots of Kevins. Yeah. <laughs> I've talked to lots of Kevins on here before. Hold on. Let's yeah. get that out of the way. All right. Well, at least you have to put up with the sun blinding us this morning. Oh, cool. Well, What's that's that? nice. What's that? I asked him how this boys were doing. Oh, that's good. That's good. How the, are they doing? You didn't answer. He said they're doing well. Oh, okay. Give me them. I need something to eat. Okay. Please. Oh, don't eat too much peanut butter crackers. Why? Because you want to stop at Arby's? Oh, uh, no. I'm stopping at Arby's. You need to stop at Arby's. Yes, I'm, I'm ready for lunch. See how but spoiled she is, guys? But I can wait. I just had to get that out of the way. <laughs> that, could not, that could not wait. Oh, I better get gas. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> just about drive out without gas yet. I don't want to do that. No. We'll definitely be pushing the car. I know, mean, just, no, we're not pushing it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to shut it off. You should maintain the stream, I guess. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look, it's just, it's just plugged in so it keeps charging. We only 
only got one piece, like like a piece of bread. That's how it's shaped. Um, I'm trying to figure out what we got. I have to ask Chuck when he he comes in. We actually stayed out of the fudge when we bought it. And uh, William, we are stopping at Arby's. That's where we're gonna stop to eat. It's been a while since I had fudge. I'm gonna ask Chuck what kind we got. Because I forget what it is. One, okay, route one. Uh, where you at? I hear a knock. Oh, <laughs> If everybody's seen him, he was waving from the back window. That would have been awful just uh, going through here and not getting gas because Chuck said we were just about close to being empty. That wouldn't have been no fun getting stranded on the highway. We were both worried about, I guess, about our bladders. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Kevin. He was waving from the back. It was funny. As soon as he gets in here, I'll ask him what kind of fudge we got. Something chocolate. Look up. You have a stalker in your back. <laughs> that's that's funny, John. Here he comes on the side. No, he's not coming in yet. Now what's he planning on doing? I think it's going to be a little bit before we hit at Arby's. Sorry, I have to. Sorry about this. I have to look down at my phone to answer questions. Barry, are you still in here? I appreciate you uh, stopping in, Kevin. It was nice to meet you down at Brad's. Okay, both Orbeez are on. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mary. Appreciate that. Have we seen any snow? Well, up in Ohio, they had very little bit. And I found out that the roads up there at our motel room on 8th Street um, are heated. So they don't have to worry about plowing and sidewalks, which was news to me. But Chuck said he already told me that, which I forgot. <laughs> Okay, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, the people that were up in Ohio, they told us that uh, they were surprised how warm the weather has been for the past couple days. I know the one morning I got up and went out to the out to the car to get something, and it was warm, very warm. Yes, Mary, I am comfortable. That was a long wait to go to the bathroom. Here we go. Chuck, what kind of fudge do we have in the back? Uh, chocolate something. There's chocolate fudge, and what then there was one, it was uh... I'm trying to complete blank. Like a turtle almost. Oh, that's right, it was a turtle fudge. Yeah. Because Kevin said his boy, his boy wants some fudge. <laughs> I said it's only one piece. Well, it's a big chunk. Oh, Deb won't share that with anybody, because she's really, you know... <laughs> I'm really bad with my chocolate. Yeah. Even the girls at work said you don't want to touch the chocolate. Put it this way, I occasionally find hidden stashes of chocolate in the house that, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have some of this. And then she's like, oh, I didn't know that was there. Sure, he didn't know it was there. That's me. Mm -hmm. Got to hide my candy from Chuck. Uh, so how much was gas there? 
How much was it a gallon? Three eighty-nine. Three eighty-nine. Wow, that's up a bit. When we were like three, three sixty-nine in Ohio or Michigan, where we filled up okay, when we I'll left. That. All right. That was seventy dollars a gas. What? Seventy. Wow. They kept squeezing it in there. I heard. Yeah. Like, well, it stopped at like 63, and I'm like, why is it stopping so soon? Whoops. And I just kept squeezing it in there. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is what we got to follow out onto the highway. Oh, no. It's a huge truck. What is it? It's a cement pumper truck. That really? thing looks, that's so big, that pumps it up like four stories. <laughs> oh, my God. It's got a big boom on it and everything else, guys. He's not going to build speed real fast. No. Let me see. Uh, we got some opening here. Oh, that's a big wide opening. I'm just going to go head out. Brian said, were you, where were you in Michigan? In Holland, Michigan. We're on the west coast, over near uh, Lake Michigan. And yes, I got to touch the waters of Lake Michigan again. Well, not again, but that's two, two lakes now. Lake Erie and Lake Michigan I've been to. Would be nice to get to all of them. All five of them. So, the exit for 71 is still coming up and that's supposedly where you can get a RV. Huh? All right. Are y'all settled in now? You ready to chat with everybody? Mary asked me if I was comfortable now. Yes. <laughs> kids in there taking care of service and uh, did very, we put like, my hat what happened yeah where did it go don't lose it i waited nope that's yours i waited too long for that hat yeah i know it's all part of the fun no it's not yeah we wasted we uh we put in a request to andrew for the for the easton made beanies or what uh the folks north of us call toots so if you ask him for a hat, he thought you meant this. If you ask him for a toque, he means the, like the knit beanie. So. Okay, John Pierce said actually those concrete bumpers, pumpers can pump concrete up to six floors. I've seen it done. That's that one nice. might have been that tall. It, it had a great big actually, boom on it. Actually really fast. Wow. Yeah, when well you've got the multi-story buildings, you got to pump it. Got to get it pumped up there. Mary said, you have been driving through the waters of Lake Michigan. Driving through it? No, it's true. Driving through Yeah, that, that weather was coming off of the lake. Yeah, but I do actually have video of being out on the ice of Lake Michigan, getting getting a splash from, uh, from the lake itself. Yeah. Um, apparently not the best thing to do. I think I talked about that in one live stream. It was week. bad. I didn't know. I know now, so I won't be doing that. All his mind was set on is he went to touch the water. That's it. That's all he thought about. That's it. Do you remember the route number we have to exit on? For your Arby's? What was he, 70? Route 70. 71? No, 71. No, she just told us another one. Yeah, she did tell us another one. <clears throat> the rain. It stopped raining. Yeah, it's catching up to us again, though. I think by the time we get this rain, this clouds are going to follow us pretty much all the way home. So we had heard that it's windy at home, though. We're, they were gusting to 30. Um, one of my tree buddies. Who's that guy? Yeah, he's got to move back over to the center lane. Just where I was going to go. Yeah. Yeah, he's being a jerk. He's passing on the right. He's not supposed to. Fast lane shouldn't be there. Somebody else who wants to drag race down the highway. Brian said, I have been on the ice under the. They have the 
some ice caves there too that are really cold. The Mackinac Bridge with my snowmobile. The Mackinac, the Mac, all yeah, the Mackinac Bridge over there. That's in the UP, yeah. Cool. Sounds like fun. All right. What's the plan here, Deb? Eat. Eat. Eat snacks. I can wait. I can wait to do that. No, you can let you can live on what we got in the truck. That's yes. Stopping in, Kevin. Definitely appreciate it. And I know I say that I, I say that all the time, but it, it's 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 meant. Yes. Uh, if I say something, I mean it. Okay. Uh, just this, like I always say, this channel wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Definitely. Youngstown, Ohio, 85 miles. Illinois. Illinois. Oh, cool. I mean yeah. Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. I got I-L-L-N-O-I-S. Barry's on here. He must have went out for a little bit. Yeah, he occasionally was, was chiming in on some stuff. What's up? Nothing yet. Okay. I see your screen going, but I don't see anything yet. Okay. I think well, it that takes screen a while. is probably a little bit behind. There oh, it okay. is. Oh, I'll pop it up on your screen. I call one of the Arby's. <laughs> I call bag fries. That's all I call. Well, uh, awesome means you're part of breaking the record. If you watch us for all this time, I mean, you you set a record there. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, if you if you stop in, just say hi, whatever it is. When you when you close the live chat, um, hit that hit that thumbs up button. It gives a, it gives a, a big support for the channel. If, if you guys want to support the channel the most, um, watch the whole videos. Even if you're like, okay, I, I, I got I can't watch the whole video. I'm going to, you know, I got some stuff to do. Let the video run. Let it run in the background, whatever. And uh, but watching the whole video is what supports the channel the most. That that and giving the thumbs up, leaving comments. Um, yeah, it's not even about all the subscribers. No, it's not. Although. If you're here, you subscribe. You're watching. You're watching the videos. That's super important. Uh, Mary said uh, she said the exit for Strongsville. The two armies are on Route 42 Pearl Road. Pearl Road. Exit 161 is Strongsville. Exit 161. Mary, thank you for being navigator today. <laughs> <laughs> we well, have quite a few navigators in here. That's true. People letting us know, letting us know where we are and what's coming up. Yes, so the exit for 42, the exit for 42. Well, that's exit 151. She said 144, 148. What was it? Uh, 42 and exit 161. 161. So we're going up an exit. This is 151. So we got 10 more exits to go, and it doesn't mean there's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It might just skip numbers. Probably does skip numbers. So we're just passing exit 151. Wow. Bunch of, I don't know, something, something going on there. It looks like yeah, some logging log. adventures or something going on there. We got some bunched up logs or stacked up logs, a bunch logging. of wood chips and stuff like that. Sort of an odd looking area back in there, but it looks like it's a well maintained forest area, is what it looks like. I let the plumber in and he replaced it my faucet while we were talking. Cool. <laughs> Who's that? Harry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Who do you call to fix your Who do you call to replace your faucet? I call Chuck. <laughs> Who do you call when you break your car? I call Chuck. You know? Who do you call when you want some electrical stuff wired in? I call Chuck. You know? Who do you call when you want new doors? Windows, siding. Roof, uh, drywall work. The handyman here. One of the few things I did. Oh, you built your bathroom too. Yeah, and you got 
want my new bathroom from Chuck. Who do you call for a new cabinet Me. <laughs> but, but I haven't built those yet. They're still on hold. Got a few client things we got to work out first. You passed it. No. Passed what? You just said you passed it. We passed what? Your exit numbers. A drive-in movie theater? Get no, the heck out. Really? Yeah. I don't see no. I don't. Well, think you it's... don't. You don't go off the microphone things anymore, hanging on the window. No. No, you tune it in on your car. Oh, right okay. Well, I like the old style better. What, hanging that thing off the window? Yeah. I like tuning it in the car radio. It sounds better. Your exit numbers are getting bigger. Yeah. So 161 is where we're getting off. Yeah. Already past 152. Or we're coming up on 152. 151 we passed. Yep, there it is. Strongsville, 12 miles. Uh, we're in Cayuga County. Just entering Cuyahoga County. Mary just said, uh, if you see the exit route 42, take it. You could go either way on that route to get to an Arby's. Okay, how, thank you. How far? Do we have to go like miles? <laughs> miles and miles, or is it right off the exit? It double drive it. It should be. It should be um, fairly close. I would think. I mean, if you're going to do good business. You want to get near an, uh, an interstate exit, an on ramp, off ramp. That's where, that's where you do your best business. Stone net. I don't know what that is. That's just advertisement. That's advertisement. Yeah, on the side of that trailer. Okay. Come on, Deb, chat it up. You're sitting there. I'm, I, know. I can only talk so much. I know. And we got, we got a ways to go. We got to keep people interested. Who wants to see Deb do her own video? No, why not? Well, I have that. I, I do not chat as much as he does. I have that. I have that footage of you doing the splitting. Yeah. Where you put the camera out, recording yourself. So I'll have to add that into. Yes, a video I did somewhere. that in one time. Yeah, that was a couple weeks ago. That was like no, that was more than a couple weeks ago. I think so. It was like eight months ago. Right? No, it was an eight months. Maybe maybe a month ago. Maybe two months back. It's not that great. I think we're making decent time, but that's not my that's not my goal. My goal is not to just go fast. No. Um, that's yes, I'd like to get home. Yes, I'd like to not be driving anymore. It's a long drive. It's just it's a long drive, but I'm not gonna go, you know, pedal to the floor and keep going. It's uh. It's not too bad out here. No, the traffic's good. You're on a three lane interstate. Yeah, but still, it's not. Uh, it'll get worse when you get to Pennsylvania. We all know it gets worse in Pennsylvania. Yes. I don't care if you're from Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania. It does the get drivers worse. stink in Pennsylvania. They don't know how to drive. They all want to sit in the fast lane, not pass anybody, and just and just screw up every, all the traffic matters and cause traffic jams. Yeah. So. Definitely. It seems like the further west you go out of Pennsylvania, the better off you are. Um, Ohio was good. Still good. Um, Michigan was excellent. I don't, I don't think they've ever experienced a traffic jam. At least not where we were. No. <laughs> uh, maybe over in Detroit, which the, the route we took, uh, the, the GPS wanted to take us over towards Detroit more, yeah, and then down, it. then then down south. I'm like, I don't even want to get near Detroit. I mean, if you're in Michigan and you like Detroit, I apologize, but I, I am not a big city person for anything. I don't like being in any big cities. Uh, neither does Deb. We're, we're country folk. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put it that way? Country through through. all the way. We're just, you know, Holland was a, a, a beautiful city. I expected it to be more city than it was. It wasn't. It was like a, it was a small town with bigger buildings. That's all it was. Beautiful. Mary said the one to the north appears closer. Okay. The, oh, that's the other neat thing about Holland. They have a gas-fired power plant there. And it's gas-fired. It's, it's steam turbines, I guess. Yes. And one of the things they do with the, with the hot water from the plant, it's in, I believe it's in a closed-loop design, 
they circulate the hot water out under the streets and the sidewalks. When you go through Holland in a blizzard, there's no snow on the ground. All the snow's melted, runs off in the drainage system. The, road is, the roads are clear, the sidewalks are clear. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how big of an area that covers, but um, it's it was cool. There was all the snow they had over the, over the Christmas time and everything else. There was no snow there. It was all gone. So it's a really cool fact. Here. JPF, sporting the JPF hat, buddy. Uh, Thank you said, much. He said just got home from my MRI. It went well. Cool. I finally felt better today than the day before. Well, oh, that's, that's good. Really, that's good. That's really good, Joe. I noticed you've been. I don't know. If if it's because you're moving more or moving less or what's going on or you found the right combination of or you just got a you got a good day's rest. Whatever it was, Joe, I'm glad to feel yes. you're feeling a little bit better. So I, I, I wanted to do some stuff when we were out there, but I'm like, nah, Joe's setting the pace, I'm good with that. So That's although fun. I keep seeing that busted off red oak tree out there and I was like, I should have dropped that when I was there. I didn't even pick up a saw. Okay, <laughs> I didn't think it was up. I was like, nope, I'm just here. I'm here for labor. And Mike knows how to run the saw. I'll let him cut the stuff down. But it would have been cool to get that red oak finally laid out on the ground and get uh, yeah, maybe some of it bucked up. Mary, Mary wants to know if we're taking Route 80 all the way down. Uh, well, pretty close to home, yes. We'll go 80 and then I think it's 81 and then to 309. And then for the most part, we're home. 309 is not a not a bigger highway, but it's a it's a way to get home. And that's where we'll probably lose. I think we're going to lose signal somewhere in Pennsylvania on 80 at some point. Hopefully, the signal comes back before it drops the live feed. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll keep going as long as we can. And it would be nice to just blow that freaking four-hour time mark away. Joe just said, yes, Holland has heated streets. Yeah, I just was talking about that. Yeah, that's, and I uh, had a great night rest, which probably helped. Oh, well, yeah. That's good, Joe. I'll tell you what, Joe, and a lot of people don't look at it that way, but just a good night's sleep yeah. makes a huge difference. Yes, it does. Um, your body needs that time to recuperate. I'm, I'm finding that out all the time. I've been finding that out more lately. This is 161. Is that where we're getting off? For 71? Because if it is, we just missed it. I don't think it was 161. Yeah, it was 161. Yeah, it was. We just missed it. We just missed the exit. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't see an Arby sign up there, though. It's probably, it's probably go out someplace for it. Yeah, you might. I know we, fought, we found an Arby's, and it wasn't there. We'll find it. We'll find it. Sorry, Mary. All that work you did to find us at Arby's, and we missed the exit because we were chatting. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I wasn't going to go diving over there. I'd have to drive across another lane of traffic and and uh, go flying up the off ramp. So. Mike is coming here Sunday morning to live stream with me Sunday. Cool. That's good, Joe. Watch Hopefully. Sunday. Hey, Steve, you can talk Mike into dropping that, that red oak stub that's over there. Well, it's more than a stub, but. Clean the end of it all first. Get rid of all that energy, that built up energy out there and that. Uh, get some felling wedges. Get a good notch and push that thing over sideways. That's what we were talking Tim about. Said, look back in the chat. I listed the exit for the Okay, I'll do that. The road, okay, I rode uh, a, okay, Mary rode a 100, 150cc motor scooter from Williamsburg, PA. Wow. <laughs> what was that like? A, oh, what's the name of those? Was that a Vespa scooter? Because Vespas were, uh, there's some Vespa collectors or Vespa club out there for collectors. And I think they had a 150cc. I think we're going to get a few, quite a few people dropping in here at lunchtime. Oh, I don't know if she's still here. Pamela, if, if you're here still, um, we are on our way home from Michigan. And like we did for Bunyan, 
let's let's uh, get the camera fired up and let's chat with some folks and see how they're doing and uh, get some ideas for the live stream and get some ideas for the channel for, for maybe some videos. Um, let them know what's going on. Let them know what's coming up. Because I know we have we have the Black Walnut uh, video we got coming up. We've got... Um, she said a Honda Elite. Honda Elite. Deluxe. 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 Um, we got the, yeah, we got the Black Walnut video coming up. We've got, um, the continuation of the English Walnut Bar Top. We've got, well, just ongoing videos. We're, we don't have a bunch of videos made ahead of time, guys. We are right on with the videos. So. Tim said if you're going 80 to 81 south, you will be about 30 minutes from me. Oh, okay. Cool. That's the plan. That's how we did it last time once we got out here. Wow. I didn't know you were allowed to walk up here. What the heck? Oh, he's setting out flares. Uh-oh. We've got a disabled vehicle here. Just gotta watch yourself. So they got the uh, traffic guys out there to help them out. Just be careful, guys. Uh, be flat careful. tire. Yeah, it was probably a triple A. Flat tire. out to help them out, yeah. Sorry, I'm popping my ears, guys. We're starting to head into the mountains of uh, this area and into Pennsylvania mountains. So we are not quite into Pennsylvania. How many miles do we have? Does it say? Uh, got emergency vehicles out there. You know, the other thing we did not hear in Holland, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not. 361 miles. We did not hear a single siren. Whether it was police, fire, EMS, nothing. We didn't even see an emergency vehicle. I don't think we even see a police car. Uh, I didn't see anything. But they had a hospital nearby. That's the other weird thing. They have a hospital nearby, but no, no ambulance is running people in the hospital lights and sirens. Maybe they run it differently through, through uh, Michigan. I don't know. But we did not hear a single siren. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're going into some bills here because my ears are starting to pop. Back to rain again. Can you see that? Ah, no, that's not better. We're that's back a to better. rain. Now we can see death better. Oh, no. Me, I'm just trying to pop my ears. My left ear is plugging up. I got a local delivery to do. Here, Joe. Good. No yawning. You're not allowed to yawn. We got a long drive ahead of us. Delivery to do tomorrow. And my other Grand Rapids Smoker restaurant just ordered. Joe the, Ford, the, are um, they regular, regular hickory for regular Thursday. Hickory. Okay. I'm going to try to do them myself. Okay. Just be careful out there, Joe. Yeah, get that good night's sleep, Joe. Yes. Um, don't stare at your phone a lot if you're watching YouTube on your phone. That blue light coming out of your phone keeps you awake, all right? Oh, Mary's uh, Miriam? Hi. I thought I just saw Miriam pop she in is. there. Hello, Miriam. And some of the trucks we passed through. Over at Linda's having coffee. Hi, Linda. How's it going? Yes, hi, Linda. We're on the road. Yeah. We're still, I don't know, we're about halfway through Ohio, maybe. Oh, there's a sign. Is there an Arby's on that sign? I can't see. No. Yeah. No Arby's. That was more of a trucker truck stop there. Yeah. Oh, guys. Oh, my ears are plugging up on me like crazy. Mine's not yet. I don't know yes. why mine suddenly did it. Oh yeah, that's where the service plaza. It looks exactly like every other service plaza in all right. Yeah. <laughs> they all look the same. Worrying. <laughs> Joe, do you know if that's some kind of thing up there where they don't they don't have the sirens going on emergency vehicles? Because that was the weirdest thing. And believe me, I'm I, I'm ultra aware of sirens and stuff because of, you know my background. Well, that's good, Larry. Larry had a nap. <laughs> did we bore you to sleep, Larry? Yeah, probably did. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most exciting thing just staring at our ugly mugs. We don't even have a nice sunrise to show you or a sunset to no. show you like we did. We had a sun sunset to show you guys on the way home from Bunyan. And uh, also trying to catch up with Shy out there. That was funny. Yeah, that was, that was a trip. You know, it's, uh, it's about 8 o'clock now. How much chat? 
I have 14 people. Don't are forget all, the thumbs are we all, up. Are we all caught up on chat? On questions, yeah. comments, complaints? Larry said long night. Yeah, it's going to be Larry, Larry and Robin? Larry Ford. Oh, Larry Ford, okay. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a long, I mean, I'll tell you what, on the way out here, Deb and I chatted and we watched some, well, we, I didn't watch any videos, but we had, I could hear it in the background, just different stuff on the phone, keep ourselves entertained a little bit, but the 12-hour drive out was not bad at all. Yeah. Um, I was actually surprised how good I felt when we got home or when we got to the hotel, but actually when we got there and I, I I think we brought some of the bags up to the room, Deb took the cart back down to the lobby, and by the time she came up, I think I was pretty much unconscious. <laughs> I laid on that bed and all of a sudden my body went numb. <laughs> my body was like, okay, that's it, we're done, we're going to sleep for a while, and I think within, uh, I think I slept four hours and woke up. I just fell asleep right there and uh, woke up, so. Larry said he was up early. Oh, okay. And my intention was to wake up around four o'clock, which is my normal waking work or working wake up time, and uh, get things packed up and get out by maybe six. I think we got out by what seven thirty, right? Just close to seven thirty. Yeah. And that well, yeah, that was when we left the. Uh, that's when we left the gas station. We stopped at. I'm going to yell to Linda, say hi to her. Hi, Linda. Hey, Linda. Hi, Linda. <laughs> I hope that's loud enough for you. Hopefully Mary. we didn't hurt anybody's ears doing that. Apologize. And, well, you guys all know Aunt Mary, and that's Deb's Aunt Mary. Let me get out of this lane. I'm in the fast lane. I'm passing people, but it looks like some folks behind me want to go even faster. Good luck. You have fun with that. Yeah, I think us stopping had the rain catch up to us. Yeah, I know. We're in the rain again. See, so, yeah, there goes that key. Did you see me in the back window when I was out for gas? Yeah. They are cracking up. Maybe there's a stranger banging on your rear window. Oh, yeah. We, we keep forgetting we've got another surprise coming up on the channel as well. And I'm not telling you because it's a surprise. I keep turning it down because it gets too warm and cozy in here. I start dozing off. I'm well, trying to freeze it. Put a coat on. I can't. I, <laughs> what Come am on. I supposed to do to stay awake? There. I'll oh, put the temperature up on my coat. Deb's bed. Yeah, turn your coat on. You got a heated coat. Yeah, I'll turn it on. That's the other thing we're going to add into one of our videos, guys. We we got approached by a company, Aurora, that um, has heated apparel, heated gloves, heated socks. Uh, Heated, heated uh, vests and heated jackets. And they said, hey, you know, we watched your channel. We think you'd be a good fit for our product. Nice. So we got, got the jacket. That's for myself. I've got the jacket. Streets are about to, um, out to Lake Michigan, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And it was great. They were... They were the ticket, man. They kept you warm, that's for sure. And they've got adjustable settings, high, medium, low settings on them, so you're not just doing your overheating. And you can you walk into an establishment, you press the button, hold it, shut it off, so you don't have to go in and get overheated. And uh, you come back out, you turn it back on, and you're ready to go. But it's a great product, and uh, we're going to do some detailed things on those in the video. Uh, or the unboxing and everything else. So hopefully you guys can see those. Hopefully you like the product. But there, it's it's good. Aurora. O R O R O. So easy enough to spell. Keeps <laughs> nice and warm. Oh yeah. She, this is where we can't get to an agreement where she wants it warm in a truck. I want it cooler so I can stay awake. So she can turn her jacket on and uh, stay warm. Okay. Uh, just... Oh my gosh. There's a mountain. We're we're in the mountains. Wow. We've been Joe, looking at nothing but flat ground for, for a long time. Joe so. said, uh, I was like number 42, pretty good for only 14 watching now. Yeah. How People, long have you been live? How long have we been live? Right there at the counter at the upper left. Two hours and 38, 38 minutes. minutes. 
So as long as we don't leak, we should be good. We're started into the hills here in uh, eastern Ohio. So hopefully we maintain signal and don't. If it if it goes in and out, that's fine. But if it drops and kicks us off the live stream, that's when I'm going to have a problem. Uh, Mary wants to know what exit we're in here. 180. Um, for Highway 8 to, Ak to Akron. Miriam, uh, we're still in Ohio, and we left here at 7:23. I have it written yeah. down in the morning. Yeah. We were sitting seven. Uh, we got to the gas station. Um, we left the hotel, went to the gas station, and the gas receipt reads 7:23. So we just rounded to about 7:30 and uh, go from there. But we'll check it a little closer when we get home. Uh, Joseph, the signal is starting to break up slightly, but not too bad. All right, I hope we good. don't lose signal. We, like I said, we just got into the hills, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of uh, activity out here at all. Um, I mean, there's some we've got some cool looking bridges in front of it and stuff. Yeah. And there's a there's a pipeline going over the highway. <laughs> That's unusual. I don't know what that pipeline's for. Maybe something having to do with Akron. But. Uh, Let's maintain the signal, stay on the air, and uh, keep the live stream going, guys. Two and a half hours in, over two and a half hours in, we're looking to go beyond four hours and hoping to smash that record. If we can get that thing, just bury that record and not have to worry about it again. Let's we'll see how it goes, though. 187 exit has lots of businesses. Lots of businesses, okay. I, we'll keep looking for that, because uh, I know on the way out here, we stopped at an Arby's, so I know might there's have been one. This, it might have been the Seven One. I think it might be further down this way, because it took a while before we had we ran low on gas, and we stopped for uh, stopped for gas again. We stopped for food, got gas, left out again, and we had to stop for gas again, and we stopped at one of the restaurants. And that was one right there. So, what is that? In practice, and e tactics. <laughs> Never heard of that place. It's just weird businesses popping up along the interstate here. What's that one? Where? I don't even know. DN, whatever DN is. Uh, dive old something. Anyway. Let's entertain here. And what do we got? Anything in the chat? Nope. It's tough to get a lot of chat rolling with 11 people in here, but we definitely appreciate you guys staying here and keeping the live stream going. I don't know if YouTube decides to kick you off after a while. They didn't kick us off after four hours on the last one, so hopefully they don't kick us off now. I hope not. We are having a good time driving home, chatting with you guys, keeping us awake, keeping us engaged, giving us ideas, and uh, certainly keeping us company. We definitely appreciate every one of you guys. So what are we, what are we up to? I think we're at 31. The last I, I looked, might have been yesterday or the day before. It was 31, well, 31,400 subscribers. So we better hurry up and get this uh, 30K celebration kicked off. Or we're going to have to do a 30K and 35K right away. So what's up? Miriam. Oh, Miriam. Oh, she okay. said, I got, I got a ways to, you got a ways to go. I yeah. said prayers for you this morning when I went to sleep. This morning. Six thirty did an all nighter. Miriam, you and your all nighters. Yeah, gotta go to sleep sometime and you wake up with the normal people during well not normal people, but you wake up at a normal time, regular time. Uh John Pierce said I don't think they kick you off unless you get down to zero people watching. Okay, okay thanks. Okay, well hopefully we have some uh some diehard fans that will just admit. Make... Uh, Just in case something happens and you think you're you think you're off and you're still running, it can shut you off after that. Or yeah. I'm sure they have the ability if they see a live stream where something might have gone wrong, that they'll just shut the live stream. Yeah, off, so. they, they to. Hudson Aurora Road. Okay, so we're going over top of Hudson Aurora Road. So if you know where that is, wave at us. We're driving by. 
some kind of racetrack over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, it had some kind of big bleachers. You know, that was a monster of scorpion. Oh my gosh. So what do you have to say, Deb? Throwing it know. back at you. Right? Yeah. What? I hope it stops raining soon. That's all I'd like to say. Oh, brother. Pull her up a little bit. It's foggy. Not too bad, but foggy. It's not foggy. It's just it it's like drizzle. It's foggy. It's foggy. I can see two miles down the road. It's not foggy. Right, fine. Just a little it's drizzle. Fine. Man, they must have had a heck of a storm up here. Tons of trees up under these woods here. There must have been four or five of them. At least, at least four or five. Yeah. And that one little spot anyway. Portage County. Huh? Portage County. We just passed into there. Here's the exit for 480 and 14. 187. Exit 187. Cleveland, Streetsboro. But well, we're not going to Cleveland, Ohio. Nope. Were we ever in Cleveland? We were in uh, wow. Canton. You know, we're in Canton, Ohio. And what was the other one we were in? We were in, we were in another, another uh, place in Ohio. We went to Canton. Oh, in a Mopar factory. Mopar factory. Make all the Mopar parts, I guess. But well, we were in Ohio before. Well, we were in Cambridge for Bunyan, Columbus, and we were in Columbus, right? And what was the other Canton? We used to belong to a, believe it or not, vintage cast iron cookware clubs. There was yeah. two of them we belonged to, and they used to have conventions once a year. And we went to those on different occasions and had a blast, but we kind of, kind of, I don't want to say grew out of it, but kind of like, well, you know, with the mill taking up all of our time and the board taking up all of our time and YouTube taking up all of our time. Yeah, I'm saying it was a big storm. Wow. Um, yeah, with, with everything else that we've, we've taken on in, in our lives, that we didn't, we didn't need to. We decided to stop doing it, let's put it that way. And we used to have a large collection. Believe it or not, you can collect vintage cast iron cookware. <laughs> and it goes, uh, we had upwards over 400, part, 400 pieces in a collection. And yeah. we just we just decided that um, we're going to pass that collection on to somebody else and let them enjoy it. Oh, of course, we still cook in nothing yeah, but cast iron. Right. So. Oh, Joe said. Yes, he has. The soul surgeon dropped by in the live stream. Yes, he did. Earlier. Yeah, he was going fairly early. Yes. And I think he was, he was on his way to go do something else. <laughs> did you drink the last one? No, okay. no, I left you some. Been sipping on that thing for a couple of hours. Yeah. You don't want to chug it like a Red Bull. No. That's for sure. Here's the problem. When we go to eat a sloppy uh, Arby's roast beef, we get there. He doesn't get the cheese. Uh, no. I get, the, I get the sloppy cheese. Uh, That's yeah. the fun of it. Yeah, and then she gets it all over the place and complains. Who's with the pink weedy hands there? That's Where Mary. Mary. That's Mary? <laughs> oh. She said exit 193, food and gas. Okay. Yeah, but we're waiting on the Arby's. Yeah, Miss Spoiled Girl. See, I always say she's spoiled and she always argues with me, but then this is a perfect example. I can only eat at Arby's. I'm like, you're spoiled. Right? She says no. Oh, come on. You're not? Give me a break. You're leaving, Miriam. We'll probably be on here later on, too. Yeah, if you're leaving, yeah. Tune back in later. We'll you don't have here. to. We'll be here. Do we lose signal or are we make it home or... Yeah, lose signal or make it home. Oh, and Joe, yes, Jason has been on earlier too. Yes, he was. He said Joe, I just, he's not far from you, is he? Jason Lee? I just told Backyard Firewood that you, you're live now. I, wasn't he in earlier or was he, he on last no, night? He was, on, he was in earlier. He was in earlier? Okay. Yep. Yeah, spread the word around, Joe. You know how YouTube is with getting out notifications for... Well, 
Love you, Miriam. Different channels, so love you, Miriam. Don't forget to stop back in. Be safe. Tell Linda we said hi again. Yeah. Tell Linda we said hi. Ooh, motocross track. Is that what it is? Yeah, somebody's got a practice track out there. Exit 193, Route 44 in two miles. Didn't say anything about Arby's. No. Look for the Arby's sign. There's somebody in the middle of the woods right now. They got himself a Dodge pickup truck, a chainsaw, and they're filling the truck up with firewood. <laughs> like everybody, even in oh, Ohio's doing the same thing, dealing with the emerald ash borer, killed the ash tree. Uh, Tim is saying the exit 209 looks like the next exit for Arby's. Thank you, Tim. 209. 209. AKA the spoiled girl exit. <laughs> I like my Arby's with beef and cheddar. My favorite. Mm. Yes, it's very, very Beef very is good. fine. Get messy hands, and that's the fun of it. <laughs> well, who's going to handle all the equipment here? Well, we're going to we're going to stop for that. We're gonna, obviously, I'm not going to try to eat Arby's or those people on the road. So I'll turn the camera toward Deb and eat my eat my sandwich, and then I'm going to turn the camera back while she's eating. I'm going to feel real self conscious about somebody watching me eat Arby's <laughs> or beef. I don't know. You just have a regular roast beef, so there's nothing to it. Oh, well, no, I get, I get the barbecue sauce and the horsey sauce in there, so it gets a little sloppy. Horsey, Hors sauce. horsey sauce is a horseradish. No. Yeah, horseradish sauce. No, no. It could be a little more horseradish in it, but no, it is Bob, what it is. I'll just stick to the barbecue. What's the exit number again? 201? Nine. 209. 209. Uh, well, 209. I'm definitely remember that. Catching up with the truck herders. That's one thing about the interstate, you get a section where it's nothing but trucks. Maybe uh, Rick, Rick might be out on here. No, he has that dedicated route. Single Shot is the guy we're talking about. He has a dedicated truck route he's on now. He's always tuning Stay into there. the channel. But he's probably, he's probably on the road right now. Probably on his way home right now. Is it working? I'm on my way. You getting hot or no? No, it's this. It's my hat. Assuming it's a lot like a subway, I could be totally mistaken. I'm assuming it's like a subway. Uh, LOL, I feel like Chuck would not turn the heat on for you that had one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, She's got her heated jacket on. Yeah. We were just talking about those. Which, show me your show me your thing on your jacket, you're lighting right, up button. But right now it's they can't see. Right now it's white. Yeah, that's uh, for I, medium, right? No, yeah, blue, blue is low. Like... Yeah, red, white, blue being colder meat is, is low. Trust me. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I've been always having my light on red and can ask Chuck. It's always on red. Yeah, when we're out walking and stuff like that, she would turn right. hers all the way up. Uh, right now it's on white and I'm fine. That's medium, you know. Nice and warm. Yeah, and then she'll get she'll sit over there and fall asleep while we're trying to do a live stream. Yeah, so we can't do that. Don't do that. But yeah, if you want to check these guys out, I mean, like I said, the only we're not getting compensated with money. 
They just asked if they could send it to us. And the thing is, we told them we would do an honest review on it. Right. And they said, okay, we'll do that. And uh, who else do we have to do stuff on? I think there was one other one. Oh, yeah, there? the um, uh, moisture meter. Yes. That's why I almost forgot about that, guys. Um, we're going to be giving away also a moisture meter and yep. a logging tape. Yep. So uh, you've seen the moisture meters on a few other channels. It's the pin type moisture meters. It's great for firewood, great for woodworking. And the logging tape. And the logging tape is, is yeah, the logging tape is basically what I use to. We measure all of our all of our uh, firewood, not firewood logs. Um, yeah, firewood log, our mill logs. Yep. With that. So, um, John Pierce said, Jimmy John's is a sub shop, just like Subway or Firehouse. Uh, okay. Subs. Same thing. Mary said, Exit 209, Southwest, 2.04 miles. Ah, okay. Uh, Tim. Need to be charged. Yes. yes. There's a battery pack that comes out of it. Can it be plugged into a cigarette lighter uh, to charge it? No, no, unfortunately, no. it's a well no, yeah, it can be. It can. If you have a USB plug into your cigarette lighter, you can take you can remove the charger plug and just use the USB end and plug it into there and it'll charge. And it'll charge the battery. I don't know how long it'll take, um, but it'll plug off a US, any USB port. It'll charge off any USB port. What's cool is the battery itself also has a USB port on it, so if you want to charge your battery on your phone, you can pull some charge off of there to charge your phone. So it's sort of a little battery backup power system that you can run phones off of, run your, if you're out like we do, you can find a way to hang it on your tripod or whatever, you can keep your GoPro charged up with that. Um, the batteries last, I don't know, we were out walking the streets and everything else in Holland on with them turned up to high and it went down maybe halfway. I know, I would like to time that. <laughs> You'd have to wear it continuously. And then it's all based on how cold it is. I'm sure it lasts a little less time the colder it is. Yeah, I think so. Because it's going to run more and you're going to turn it up higher. So, but no, I don't think they really gave you any instructions on how long the battery's supposed to last. Well, I know when I charge them. Yeah. It take a while. Well, it's a deep cycle battery, basically. A, uh, I mean, you can charge them off any USB port, but the charger itself might be might be uh, a real low level charger, so it charges slow and it gets a deep charge on it, so it doesn't get dead right away. Yeah. We made sure both our batteries were charged up. Yeah, before we left the hotel. We were wearing them out everywhere. And if we got cold, if we were walking to our destination, or we got cold somewhere, it's click. Right. Turn the jacket on, and you get some warmth out of it right away. Uh, Mary said, I'll have a turkey sandwich with no onions and a large coffee plaque. Okay. <laughs> Walter, I got my second... Win. Top no. test. Top test. What? I got my second top test. Oh, that's cool. top test. He got his second top test meter. Oh, okay. Did they send them to you, or what was the deal there? Is that something you, you they gave to you, or, or you bought, or what was it? Because that was another one that contacted okay. us and said, hey, um, would you like to try this out? He did say moisture meter. Why? What did you read? Well, what he wrote down, but apparently typo. Oh, okay. He said moisture meter. Man, oh man. Are you going to talk? Don't talk about the weather again. Talk about <laughs> something else. Let Deb tell you all about herself. How about that? Oh my god. What about myself? I don't know. Tell us your life history. How about that? Sounds good. My life history? Yes. Who wants to know stuff about Deb? Not only did 
to get a new faucet hot and cold are now on the proper side. I oh. used to have hot on the right side and cold on the left. Well, that's yeah. got to be confusing. That's good. Who the heck hooked that up? Somebody switched your lines on you. That's good that you got it on the correct side now, Mary. Glad to hear. Uh, Tim Stout, Deb. Is the whole coat heated or just the chest and back area? Uh, it's um, the back, the pockets, and yeah, it's mostly, it's, it keeps your core warm. Yeah. That way, if your core is warm, it'll allow blood to flow out to your extremities. And also, like the vest has heated pockets as well. So when your hands are in your pockets, you get some heat in there as right. well. I mean, I wouldn't go out with a t-shirt and put the yeah. coat on or something like that. I wouldn't go out with the, the vest by itself and you expect to stay warm. But it is a nice source of heat. It's right on your back, um, maybe mid back area, the heating area is on, on my vest, and then the pockets on. Yeah. Mine's the back. And like I said, the little battery pack has its own USB port on it. Plug in and charge the phone or something like that. So. Backyard firewood stuff in again. Road trip continues. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. And we are, how far in are we? Two hours and 59. Is it 59? Yes, two hours and 59. Two hours and 59 minutes. In. So that was three approaching hours. the three hour mark right. in, in like 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, Chuck's six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. Three, three hours. hours. Yay. Okay. Nine. So for those of you who were with us all this time, thank you. You just hit the three hour mark. We got a little over an hour to go to uh, hit the current record held by Brad over at Firewood at the Furnace. And hopefully Brad has some time to stop in. And uh, once we pass that, we're just going to keep on going as long as we can. And hopefully uh, just crush it. Just crush that record. Uh, Barry said, what is the difference between school, children, and dogs? Difference between school children and dogs. I don't know, Mary. What is it? I guess this is a joke. This is a joke. <laughs> it's a riddle. You have to figure it out. And uh, Blackboard Firewood wants to know you in Ohio. Yeah, I'm still in Ohio. Um, let me give you an idea where we're at. We got an exit sign coming up here. Give me an Let's idea see. where we're at. Warren, Route Five. Two oh nine. Yeah, exit two oh nine on Route eighty. This is what I would call the northern route for Pennsylvania. There's got to be lots more chat. Seeing it on the screen. Okay, here we go. You're supposed to be reading it. Well, children are K-12 and dogs are K-9. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Don't say dash. Just I, say I, I didn't think of that. See that? Yes, I see that. There's, there's bands, there's big straps. We have, a, we have a guy who watches the channel, Rick. Um, his, his channel name is Single Shot. He's a truck driver. He's got some straps for us to attach to our trailer. It's the easy ratchet straps type thing that they use on the bigger trucks for strapping things down. We're going to take those and set them up on the trailer on the, um, on the equipment trailer so we can strap things down on that real easy. Looks like the FedEx drop-off pickup yard thing there. It's all FedEx trucks. Yeah. And here's where this weirdest thing. I guess Ohio ran out of money. I don't know. All of these exit signs that are here are gone. There. They're blank. It's like they're stripped off. What's the deal with that, guys? Or is that a construction thing? They just they took them down for whatever reason. This the big signs are still up there. All the lettering's ripped off of. The ones that hang out over the road. Fordstown, six miles, if you get off this X, I believe. What's that? I remember passing oh, Man! No, 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 no. I'll get tired. Maybe I need some food. What is that? Crunchers? What a Velveeta? No. We'll get that chocolate. I think we have a uh, Ohio Turnpike gate thing coming up. I think we just drink through. Yeah, this isn't a toll booth. Nope. It looks like they're putting toll booths out here. But, um. It's that way. Yeah, I don't know if they're.
taking pictures or what. Whatever. And off we go. Jeffrey Y or Jeff Y? No? Jeffrey a little. Jeffrey a little, a little. okay. <laughs> right along. Who the wants to know how many miles we've gone so far? He said right along the turnpike, you can't miss it. There it is, that's how many miles we've gone so far. Right, how many? I don't know, have people guess. Okay, how many miles have we gone so far? Have we gone so far? We're talking the trip out and the trip back. So far for the trip back. Total miles since we left the house. Got to give people some stuff to do while we're here. We'll give us something to do while we're here. Ooh, man, wow, that wind's really, wind? yeah, the wind's really hitting the truck here. the question so we're just going to hold that mileage because we're driving yet it'll be that mileage and counting so anybody wants to throw a number out there we'll give you a higher or lower okay Bernard said 216 216 and John Pierce said 1400 keep going keep on I'm guessing. not saying it's higher or lower right now I'm just saying nobody hit it yet I mean, don't expect you. We'll, we'll get you when you're in there closer. Any other guesses? These are supposed to be, yeah, right there it is. What? There's oh. the GM plant. We see it. That's the old, that's, is that still open as GM or is that closed down and somebody else is in there now? Because there's no big sign on there that says General Motors or anything like that. Not that I can see. So, I don't know. Is it still a GM plant? John Pierce guessed 1950 again. Tim Stout guessed 1220. I'm looking for a sign. No, they closed it. They closed it. Something else is in there because I, I see cars in the parking lot. Like oh, Foxconn. Fox and I'm sure they don't take the whole plan up, not the way it, the parking lot doesn't look nearly as many no. people in it, that's for sure. So that's the old GM plan, huh? This end don't look that at all. Uh oh. Let's get off here. I don't want to go on the PA turnpike. Oh, the number, we're, they're, Chuck wants everybody to guess for the mileage. Yeah, they're guessing mileage. Um. 14 something was too high and 12 something was too low. Whatever the guys guessed, 1200 something was too low. 286. What does that tell us where to get off? To stay on 80, yeah. Entering Mahoning County. Yeah, I don't want to get off on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'd rather stay on 80. See, that's 76, that's the Pennsylvania Turnpike to Pittsburgh. 80 East. Let's take that. Watch your guess numbers I here, Deborah. Sold it, sold it to going to a building and a beach truck. Okay. Okay. Watch the road. 
Yeah, he said watch the room. Oh, he saw us looking at the factory a lot. Uh, 1365 was John again. Exit now, okay. 1560 was Tim. That's way too high. 1400 was too high. 1400 is too high. Uh, backdoor firewood. The view is nice though. Got 1196. The center of PA. East of Pitt, okay. Yeah. On, yeah, if you're going uh, on the turnpike, it's not bad. That's how we went out to, uh, Mary's to uh, 1196 too low. That's how we went out to Cambridge when we went out to Bunyan, so. This looks like a hard turn. 1310. Uh, getting closer. 1310 is getting closer. Any other guesses? And that was at the time I asked. I didn't know what it was. We won't make you guess the tenths. The tenths John of a mile. John Pierce is 1324. Closer. 1324. Wow. Should have seen it. Whoa, back up at the uh, old booth here. Probably wow. malfunctioning. Wow, they only have three lanes open and camera malfunction. Uh, what's going on? Here? Harry said 1308. Oh no, we were going higher. Sorry, I, we were at 1324. We were supposed to go higher. Okay. Uh, 1319. It's drawn again. Nope. Gotta go higher. You don't even know what it is. Did well, you I said, didn't tell you what it is. John said 1324. You said lower. No, I said higher. Oh, I thought you said lower. No. 1324, John, he said higher. Because when you said lower. <laughs> 1356 is... Too high. Mary. Mary, too high. Sleeping state, it says 1332. Oh, they opened another lane. It's about right. time, and the truck driver's going to run over John. me to get there. Uh, John Pierce said 1338 again. Too high. 1338 is too high. 1332 said a sleeping state. Too high. Tim Stout, 1333. Dan Co Cooper said 1343. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, wow, they're all coming in already. Uh -oh. 1348, Mary. 1327 is Tim Stout. I saw the right answer on the screen. Okay. 1329? Nope. 1330. That's it. John Pierce, you <laughs> won that one. 1330, John Pierce, you won it. Yep, at the time we were at 1330, and like I said, I wouldn't make you guess the tense, but we were at 1330.2. And that's from the time we left the house uh, to right when I asked the question, so. And it only took us seven miles to guess it. Because <laughs> 1337 is where we're at now. So. John said, pay me. <laughs> well, are we going to give John anything for that one? We're going to uh, give John... Uh, John, uh, do you have a t-shirt? Did you get yeah, Did you get a t-shirt of ours, John? I'm not sure if you got one or not. Let me know. Let us know. I'll let her know. She's She well, takes care of logistics. I, I just run the sawmill. I keep telling everybody that. I'm just a sawmill operator. Sorry, looking to merge in here, guys. Watching traffic. We are passing or driving over some river here. I don't know if they have the river marked, but you know, yeah, they do. What, what river is this? Oh, no, I'm looking the, for a piece of paper. The Meander River. Meander Reservoir. Okay. This was probably one of those um, Army Corps of Engineer projects. Okay, John, what is your size? We'll get the information later on with the other stuff. Obviously. John, I think you know the email address if you want to send your... Uh... Okay. Uh, what do we got? You're missing all the chat. Come I'm going to go... I can't read the chat. I don't know what anybody's That's saying. That's okay. It's 
going to fail. We, we, we don't have a signal at our house. Thanks, Dan. In, until but, we get to the house. So there's a, we're going to definitely hit a dead spot somewhere. Chuck runs the mill. He helps me. Okay. Um, you we got over there. have my email address plus I have your phone number. Okay. But uh, what? Okay. Do you want? Uh, John, do you want to tell me your size or do you just want to email that? Tim, he said he's been in and out, but he's not having the live stream on him. Who's that, Tim? Okay, Tim thanks, John. Who's that, Tim Stallon? Yeah. Okay. I Arby's, think. Arby's still over at exit 223. Um, I'm not sure. I, I had to check on that. Right I here? I think we do, yeah. This is where we got off before. Pretty sure this is where we got off before. I got you down for that, John. And congratulations. Yes, congratulations, John. Ooh, a Harley dealer. Maybe we should buy a Harley when we get off here. No, I don't think so. Uh, there's the Arby sign. Where? Right over there. Why is the sign on the chart? It was. I just said it's on the chart right there. All right. Deb gets her wish, as always, because she's spoiled. You know what I want. Uh, Deb. Awesome. Thank you. Now I can display you guys all over the place up here. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot, John. And I will send you a sticker with that also. Usually when I do Well, we're going to have to do some more trivia while we're here. We can't use all the good trivia questions. we got to use some of the trivia questions. i got to be careful I don't dump the camera over again. Yes. <laughs> but which side is? Arby's that is up side. here on the left. Okay. It's green. Oh, green light. All right. He's turning. No kidding. <laughs> I'll help you. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh. That's why I call her Captain Obvious sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now to get over there. Yeah, that's going to be the fun part in the middle here. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's not really a. No, it's not. It's not. It's sort of kind of maybe. I'm going to kind of shoot across here. There you go. Watch this doesn't fall off because if you grab at it. You could possibly shut off the July strip. Just put your hand on top like that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. I got it. I got it. We're good. All right. I'm covering the lens up. Sorry, guys. Apologize for that. Yeah, Jeffrey. Uh, Ta-da. We're still here. John Pierce won the uh, gas. Yeah, John Pierce got the uh, got the mileage gas. It might be lagging for some folks, Try and it's way behind. to walk the dog. Be back if you're still on. We'll be here. We'll be here. We will be here. All right. My... Uh, all right. My partner in crime here is going to go order some want, dinner what, uh, or some lunch. You want chocolate milk? I mean, We're gonna chocolate shake thing, yeah. Do you? And no, uh, the cream. regular fries or whatever they are. Yeah, I know. No Not curly cream. fries. I know. And a uh, double. No cheese. You want the bigger one? That's yeah. what you want. Arby's okay. double and cheese. All right, I'll go order. Horsey sauce, barbecue Ar sauce. Just order it to go, and we out here. Yeah, instead of taking us in and then we're talking to you guys in there and they think we're going crazy and they call the police and have us arrested. <laughs> oh, you I'll know what? I think, I don't think this is the one we stopped at before. Doesn't look like it. No. Hey, hold on to yourself when you go out there. It's windy. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Let me put your hat is back here again. Did you take it? Yeah, so it doesn't fall off the seat. Mm. All right, let's, let's all watch Deb go into the Arby's. No, it's not. See the shrubbery here? No. That's, uh, that's what Deb's going to go into. It's going to go out into the cold. She's got her heated coat on, though, so, you know, she'll be fine. I'm all right. It's just my legs. There she goes. Come on, Grandma. Stretch your legs. Oh, my God. Everybody's watching you. You're on camera there, Gimpy. <laughs> yeah, she's got traveler's legs going on there. But anyway, jeez. <laughs> Let's see how long this takes. It was funny. I think we went out to Bunyan. They still didn't have the dining room open there at the uh, at the Arby's. Let me check the chat here, guys. Sorry, I've been missing it. Oh, okay. So you can send us. You can send us. I'm just making sure everything's good in the chat. You can send us your size. Okay, so it's a 2X. I assume Deb got that. Um, 
which I believe we have in stock at our house. So you'll be able to have the Iron and Oak merch. Anyone think you know, can display? Okay, cool. Wow. Uh, did the chat freeze? 2100. Yeah, Jeff, sorry. I think um, I, if you're lagging really far, uh, you're just now getting the, the mileage question. So I apologize for that. Go to Walk the Dog. Be back still here. Thank you, Dan. Really appreciate that. John Pierce, yes, she did. Yes, she did what? I don't know. <laughs> I think Deb runs the mill. <laughs> Deb has run the mill. Um, oh, I, I'll tell you what. It took some doing to get her to run it, too. She was like, nope, I'm not running. I'm not running. I don't run it. I, said, I told her, I said, you think I know how to run the mill when I first started with it? I didn't know how to run it. I mean, I watched videos. That's the best I could do. Just learning what to do with uh, all the different cuts and, and how to properly process a log and what's good and what's bad and, and uh, don't do this and, and don't do that. All kinds of things I learned over time. And I'm still learning. I don't know, obviously don't know at all. Um, there's people with a lot more experience than me that know what's going on with the mill. So it looks like we're settling out right around 12 people. This is, it's a low attendance, attendance to the live stream. But it's very much appreciated. And like I said, it is the middle of the day on a Friday. So 1340, Jeffrey, you're 10 miles too old. You're too, 10 miles too high. Maybe he's just looking for the answer. The answer was 1330. And that's the one that um, that's the one that uh, John John guessed. So let me put that down there. Just cleaning out a spot here for when Deb comes back. All right, okay. Let me see, John. <laughs> yeah, when does the first uh, took charge of the mill? And that was funny. He was really nervous and wasn't sure if you wanted to or not, but you convinced her that she could do it, and she did it. Yes, yeah, she did. She was, um, sorry, I can't put the comments up on the screen. We can do that with our, our live stream software on the laptop, but we can't do it with the phone. But, uh, yeah. Oops, typo. <laughs> Does, but I said Deb. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was the first. I think we were in the driveway. We were. That's when we used to take the mill out and mill everything in the driveway, and uh, did not mill in the backyard because we didn't have that open space back there. And we would mill in the backyard during the winter time to get out of the wind and the cold. And all that stopped. We just mill in the corner mill in the corner of the property now so I guess it's too it's too but the silly computer put me after him darn well let me let me look back through the chat if we made a mistake you both get a shirt how about that It all depends on how good your connection is, and how fast your your uh, how fast your guest goes through. I see Mary at eleven ninety six, and then uh, thirteen twenty four. Mary at thirteen oh eight. John at thirteen nineteen, and Tim. And then Mary at thirteen fifty six. Sleeping state nineteen seventy eight. When did wait a minute? When did you get in here? Deb never mentioned you were in here at 1332. You were close, dude. That was really close. And John came in at 1338. Tim, 1333. Dan at 1343. Mary at 1348. Tim at 1327. Sleeping State, 1329. You're so close. And then I have John Pierce at 1330. And Backyard Firewood said $1, Bob. <laughs> Mary, yeah. I see you were right below him. I say we said marry a t-shirt too. I don't think Deb's gonna argue about that. I don't think she's gonna argue about that at all. I think we can do that. Mary, I don't know if you wanna put what size you are in the chat, but our John, can you post our email? I mean, I could say it, but it's a long, ridiculous email. We have the email for the channel. It's weird. I, 
I want to change the email to the channel so it resembles the, the channel name, but they won't let me do that. If I change the email, I have to change the channel, and I'm not doing that. So, no, I don't know. Could you make me? <laughs> you, were the, you were the same as like one guess later, and it's just a matter of when it made it through. So, I say you both guessed it at the same time. How about that? Good, Mary. And John, if you could throw our, our email address. Uh, it's in the about section. It's the AR15Rocks13 at gmail.com. Yeah, AR15Rocks13 at gmail.com. Yeah, but Mary, you can send us your address through there if you would like, because I we probably don't want to put it in the chat, which is fine. That's understandable. I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the chat so I can read it and the camera's up here. And I'm just like, I'm talking to my kneecap here. I, I apologize for that, guys. 14 people in the chat. Thank you all for being here. Sleeper, 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 sleeper. Where did you go? Sleeper, sleeper state. Are you still here? Hope you are. <coughs> Mary, and that's the new style, that's the new style uh, t-shirts. We have the newer ones with the newer logo and everything on. So, I'm gonna make some room here. Deb's got her purse in here. And that's in the way of coming out because she's almost to the truck now. She'll wanna put her credit card away though. All right, food has arrived. I think the straw's in the bag. Okay. You got room in your door for that? Thank you. AR15 rocks13 at gmail.com. No spaces. Oh, and it's a lowercase, lowercase a on AR. It should be. I don't know if that'll matter. It might make it through. Yeah, I want to change that. I mean, I don't mind it and what it stands for, but um, it just, it's not, Does everybody else is like, oh, uh, you know, anybody else would have made theirs. Um, iron and oak sawmill at gmail.com or something like that. So, uh oh, guys, you get to watch us eat. Where's my purse? I put it back so it's out of your way. You scared me. <laughs> Mary, hand sanitizer. Let me know. Her guest didn't come through. She said she sent it before John sent his oh. or whatever. But it popped up like too too late, or just right after his. Yeah. So I'm like, send her sure too. I need you got the size. Yes. Okay. Hold and on. she's going to email her address. Okay. Oh. Thank you, John. All right. Oh, that's small. I'm kidding. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to say large for French fries. Oh, well, they so. didn't ask. No, they didn't. They You're don't right. ask. So. Okay. So Mary. Mary is her size is two X. She put it in the chat, so. Okay. I assume I'm allowed to repeat that. All right. Wait, I better put their names here. That would be nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember who we're sending okay. it to. Here. Oh my God. Can I yeah, you can this? take the chat. Yeah, you can take the chat. There. Let's do that. Now we have to get arranged because we don't have a table in here. Here we go. Oh, did they give you packets of sauce? Um, okay, cool. Um, Mary, Mary, hold on. There's only, I think, one Mary Ooh, in here. Ooh, double ch beef. <laughs> Mary W. Mary W. Okay, yeah, they'll both be sending emails, so I have it now. Yeah. Or, I mean, our, our phone number is easy enough to see on there. The, the, phone mo the phone number will come to my phone. There's fries in here. They're I called bag fries, so. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't care. I call bag fries. She looks at me while she's pulling all the bag fries out, eating them. Here. Spoiled. She's spoiled, here. I'm here. telling you. Put out your hand. <laughs> there you go. You crack me up, girl. Let me tell you. Here, I'll just put them there. All right, guys. Now, unfortunately, hey, do yourself a favor, guys. Go to the fridge, go to the kitchen, grab yourself some lunch, 
bring it back. Yes. And uh, we'll hang out. We'll have lunch together. How about grab that? Grab yourself something to eat. Grab, grab a bite to eat. Take a break. We'll still be here when you get back. We're not going anywhere. Bring it on back. I'm Set yourself up with some grub. If you just ate, grab a snack, grab some dessert, whatever it may be. And uh, we'll, we, we will be here. We'll have some lunch together. How about that? We need that right now. Well, for us, it's lunchtime anyway. Yep. Okay. Napkins. Napkins, this is getting messy. Just a little bit. A little bit messy. We'll keep that right here. Hopefully not going to get Arby's sauce all over the truck. Oh, oh my goodness, I shouldn't even have my, black, my sh no. jacket on. Now you got, <laughs> you got to try to get your jacket off. Just don't knock the camera down and shut the signal off. Because I have to start all over again at zero. Hold on. Got to get my jacket off, people. I don't want to get it all messy. There we go. All right. Where are we? Anybody chatting? I don't know. I have uh, a Nope. Oh, you, you ran the chat back. Let me see. I'll grab lunch while you guys are getting gas and on a potty break. There you go. <laughs> that sounds good. No, I think that's when he did get, get oh. lunch. Okay. Making sure nothing fell out. I'll be so, a little bit chilly now. Now I have to be self-conscious because people are watching me eat. <laughs> I have napkins. What did I do with them? Right there. Right there. Sorry. That was we won't keep you, eat, uh, keep you here forever. We'll, uh, yeah, we're just going to eat a sandwich and we'll then we're going to leave. Grab a quick sandwich and I'll, I'll get mine down fast and get back on the road. Let me see who's... Told you it's okay. making a mess. Yes, keep an eye on the chat. All right. Um, she'll write that down. What? John sent his email. Oh, oh that's ours. <laughs> You see what I got to put up with? <laughs> oh, should I write this down? John sent his email. And she's pointing at our email for the channel. Well, that was too funny. Oh, my God. Okay, he says, no problem, glad to help. I'm going to turn the camera toward Debs and watch her eat. Oh, and John said, I, I didn't say I'll grab lunch. I said I had lunch. Well. Oh. I won't worry about it. One thing I have learned, everyone, please just enjoy your lunch and get filled up so you are ready for the next long run home. There we go. I'm just going to watch Debbie eat her lunch. No, I'm kidding. The, the camera won't work. There's a perfect spot on the dashboard to stick the phone. Yeah. That it just sits in there real nice and sits up by itself. It's not on any kind of stand. It's just there. Don't have to turn the camera. Okay, thanks. You can watch me eat my lunch. It looks like we're sitting across the table from each other, right? I'm running out of room. I gotta remember what I did last time, which is a big boo-boo. Mary sent her frog email. She has an, a hamster email, too. Okay. I have to look at that on my phone, which is what we're using for the camera right now, so. Chuck will check them out. I'll check it out when we get home. I gotta remember what I did last time. What? When I had barbecue. It went out. Oh, the oh. Big, thick roast beef sandwich. If you don't know Arby's, it's good roast beef. I think they put roast beef. I mean, I much prefer a good steak. Yeah. No time for or that right now. The best roast beef I'd say I ever had, just a a roast beef sandwich in general. Now this was back in the day and I know their quality kind of dropped. If you've ever heard of something called Bull on the Beach, it was a place down in uh, Ocean City, Maryland, or at least for us. They had the open pits right there making beef and making ham and they'd slice it right off and pile it up on a roll for you. And we used to, we used to do that and next door was a place called Thrasher's Fries. And we go over there and get a bucket of fries. Yep, and we sit that. on the boardwalk and eat the fries and eat the um, the roast beef sandwiches. And man, they were good. But I had heard that their quality dropped off and I hadn't been there in a while. Hello, Jeff. Jeff who? Why? Oh, when did he show up? 
he just got here. Hey there, just came in from splint and stack and cherry. <laughs> oh, the fun job. Oh, sure, rub it in. If I gotta split any wood, I'd like to split cherry because of the smell. Love the smell of cherry. There's some other guys that split sassafras. I can I can handle it for a little bit, for like maybe the initial few couple of smells on sassafras. After that, I, I was we were actually splitting a bunch of it um, years ago, and um, I absolutely quit on it. I felt like I was going to throw up. <laughs> Literally, I I did. I quit, and I think I threw it all in the woods. It just initially or eventually it made me sick. And I couldn't I couldn't smell it anymore. So. Can you send me your french fries? No, the chat's flying by. And I'm saving his french fries because I can eat them while I'm driving. Okay. Oh, if you get an email with frog in the name. Mm -hmm. Splitting better. sack and cherry. I'm, you got a lot of cherry out there? Around here, well, I guess we could get a lot of cherry if you get it before the center rot's out of it. And uh, yeah, if we can get it before the center rot's out of it, that'd be good. Um, but they don't get much above 10 inches at that, and then the center's going out and you can't mill them. Barbecue sauce. Mmm. Um, french fries is good. Jeff is allergic to sassafras. Wow. Maybe I am too, I don't know. I didn't break out, but I literally, from smelling it for so long, I actually just started pitching all the, the sassafras into the woods. I could not stand the smell of it after a while. I, like I said, initially it smells good. But mm -hmm. after smelling it for so long, it, it just literally made me nauseous. Getting me out of the napkin here. Yeah, but mission was great. It was great to meet Joe in person. Yes, it was. And Joe's a tall dude, man. Joe is a very <laughs> tall dude. Yeah. Now, Jeff, I forget, um, forgive me for this one, I, general location where you're from, because the really big cherries around here, or around where we live, you got to go quite a ways north into the Poconos to find those, so. There you go. Come on. I think you got an answer. Hmm. Northeast Ohio, that makes sense. Yep, northern Pennsylvania. I said in our area, the center's right out of them. The further north you go, I don't know what it is. But they don't rot out. Mm -hmm. Don't put barbecue sauce on my thumb. Nope. I ate that too fast, but I, I, do, I do want to get on the road. Are you able to watch the chat, Miss Miss Yeah, Miss Deborah? But yeah. You're not gonna be able to see it from down there, are you? I can't see the chat here. How much did you get split, Jeff? Yeah, what kind of what kind of split are you using? I don't care what it is. Uh, <laughs> I mean if you're making it's like the sawmills. Guys are oh I just have a little sawmill or I do I saw with my uh, my chainsaw mill. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. You're making firewood, you're making lumber. It doesn't matter if you're splitting with a wedge, you know? But if you got a splitter, what kind you got? I put my seatbelt on here. The all wood muscle, all wood muscle wood splitter, cool. I, I've heard of all wood, but I haven't seen their, their, their product line. Um, but they were, they were one of the, they were at Bunyan too. All wood was at Bunyan, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I'm not sure. I think it was. Okay. Did we just run over a grate? Oh. <laughs> maybe, the, uh, maybe somebody ran over a grate out here. <gasps> oh, excuse me. That's from eating too fast. And Deb's over here with the hiccups. Ooh, chocolate shake. <laughs> Say, looks like he was leaving it out. 
Maybe he's watching the live stream with us. <laughs> now we gotta get back on 80 East. Keep right. Uh, he said, I don't believe there was. Oh, oh okay. I don't All believe we'll be they there. were there. Okay. Bobby, the owner, was having issues with fire and health. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's of us everywhere anymore. Oh, with health? Help. Oh, help. Yeah, unfortunately. Yep. Plenty of jobs and not as many people. Well, the, I've heard that the people are there, but not all of them want to work in there for some reason saying they can't. So, and I got to get over to the left lanes. Here we go. Be careful. Dodge boy Remember to remove the coat before you go so that you and I can see through the back. Read out loud, I can't hear you. No, I have to remove the coat. I can't see out back. When I'm, we're done. When I'm done. Oh, yeah. I'll get it. Well, people are getting rammy here, guys. <laughs> That's saying how much longer? How much longer of a drive do you have? <laughs> Devil check the nabs. At least till our next turn or the total drive time. Five hours and 21 minutes. The plan is stay live as long as we can. So there's your answer. <laughs> guys got to join us for, uh, I don't know, rest stop, um, lunch. Yeah, we're team watching. I think for dinner, we'll probably just eat some snack stuff we got in here. Depends on how we feel. Drive here set around eight hours. Yeah, my, my GPS is full. My phone's telling me. What did I just say? I forget. I don't know. I just forgot. But, I mean, if it goes to 12 hours, you figure about 7.30 tonight. Eastern time. Right now, it's two. So, about five and a half hours yet. If it holds out. Why are you out of the picture? Okay. Oh, she's trying to hide from you guys while she eats. Oh my gosh. It's a nice country out here, guys. It's a little boring in Michigan because it's flat, but it's still beautiful farm country, a lot of it out there. Yeah, it is. What the heck are they doing here? Pumping something out. I have no idea. Looks like a pen dive job. There's like eight guys standing there and one person one person working. Huh. That's ODOT, Ohio Department of Transportation. You're supposed to be watching the chat. I can't watch it. Dispensaries everywhere in Michigan. Oh, yeah. We noticed that. Who said that? Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, there are a lot of them. That's the unusual thing. Wow. And I'm pretty sure when we were walking in the one, that, when we were walking out, to Lake Michigan in the one area. It's called um, Saugatuck. Uh, it was an access area down there for the lake. I swear I smelled it. So somebody walking the trails back there was having a little fun. Walter said, come to Alanorsus if you want to see flat. Yeah. Illinois, Iowa, all the huge farm country out there. You get out there when the corn is high, you can't see anything outside the rose corn, from what I understand. I haven't been out there, but I've been close. I see a lot of chat popping up and you're not saying anything. I'm not sure what they got going on here. 
I don't, I don't want to ignore anybody while I'm eating my lunch. They're kind enough to be here. I want to make sure I occupy 15 people. And now the numbers are growing in the chat. Maybe some folks are getting off work and heading home and able to have conversation. I'm going to do the last one. Okay. What about the ones before that we missed? I don't want to miss anything. John Pierce said LOL about eight hours. Yep. Yep, total ride. Well, no. Total ride's about 12. And we got on at 7.30, roughly. So, and that was only like maybe 20 minutes into the trip. So we might get home at 6. Hit the spot. I just don't want to have a food coma soon. All right. Mary said uh, during a rainstorm, I was shooting skip, skip on the CB and a high and good, but the cold flat cold. Oh, sorry, but the cloud cover was covering the whole and he. Quarter of the United States. Yeah. Now I got the hiccups. I don't understand anything you just read. <laughs> I didn't understand a bit of it. You should. During a rainstorm, I was shooting, shooting, skipping on a, on the CB, and Ohio was coming in good, but the cloud cover was yep. covering the. Full and E quarter of the United States. Northeast. Yeah. Yeah, you can bounce a signal off of it and get a really a longer distance signal from out of, from way far away. Yeah, my dad was big into electronics and he used to say he used to tell us all kinds of stuff about bouncing radio waves off of stuff and uh, Things like that. He said, oh, we're going to be able to pick up stations from further away because this, that, or the other thing. And, yep. Uh, and he was big. And back before there was cable television, he stuck some monstrous uh, antenna up next to the house. So we were getting we were getting channels from way up, uh, way up north and way out east of us. Stuff you normally couldn't get. All right, I got to take the coat down so they can see. I wouldn't put it in the lab. Back over. Huh? Oh. Move over. I'm gonna put up there for a minute. Just for a minute. Yeah, Deb's gotta get herself situated over here. I, can't see my, I won't be able to see the chat. Where is mine? Okay, this way. I gotta turn it off. Jeff just asked a question. Oh, your coat's still on. Off my coat, sorry. I had to turn it off. That's, that's an odd thing to say, turning off my coat. Coat. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much longer of a drive do you have? I'd say six. Six Are you hours. Caught up? You're not caught up. That's an old question. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I read that one. Yeah. I think Jeff just asked a question or commented. Jeff just said, do you think it would be good to have a cheap eBay Chinese sawmill now? Um, I don't know. Would it be a good idea? Uh, I, I'd hate to say it's, it's a good idea and because I don't know the quality of the machine. I mean, anytime you saw a lumber, it's great. But I don't want to recommend somebody get a meal that I, well, I don't know nothing about. And they said, um, or wait a couple of years on a good wood miser. I would wait on the wood miser. They have the LT15 start, which is a good a good beginning spot. I wouldn't go for a 10. I mean, if you're just smelling some stuff for yourself, maybe a 10. And he says, I'll get 
I get too many good logs to to not have a sawmill. Uh, okay. That's true. That's true. I mean, if you want to, if you're if you're into the manual labor for it, or you have a piece of equipment that can help you out, an LT15 is a good mill to have. If you get a wide, you'll be able to go a little wider on your on your uh, slabs. And if you're only interested in making lumber, get an LT15. That's fine. And Mary said it, it is hard to get certain area areas of the United States that are further away with out bouncing the radio signal off the clouds yeah. cover yeah. cloud cover. That's a nice. You can't bounce. You gotta bounce it off the. My dad used to talk about bouncing the signal off the ionosphere. So, uh, make mistakes. It's a bridge they never finished. Huh? Huh? The bridge they never finished. They have the bridge abutment on each side, nothing across it. Oh, okay. Looks like they abandoned the idea. How about you? I'm done. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Well, you scarfed. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure my purse do not go fall over. I had to get the crumbs. Yeah, see how to get the crumbs in there. There we go. Rumble strip. There we go. Sorry. All right. We're gonna get back to chatting here. That guy's gonna get bored and we're all gonna leave. Never. Yes, dear. Listen, I don't know what's going on. There's signs what of chat want? popping up there. No. No? John's asking Mary a question. Oh, okay. I saw some. Like I said, I can't read it, so I'm not. Zip a shake, guys. I know, I see you're ahead. John Pierce, I have my uh, antenna. Oh, well, well, listen, listen. That's Welcome to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. We're in Pennsylvania now. <laughs> well, now the driving's going to get worse, the drivers are going to get dumber, and, and it's going to be... The roads are going to be bad. And the roads are going to be bad, yes. But now we got to watch out for the potholes. I know I've lived here since 1970, so I can have my opinion about the state. But will I move? My family's here. So, Deb's family's here. Of course, our grandchildren are here, so that just pretty much seals the deal right there. Especially the grandchild, or the grandchildren. Nope, not going anywhere. Somebody's trying to call. Call you. Who's trying to call? Don't call my phone. <laughs> might kick the live stream. Call Deb's phone. Instead of a one on the end, put a two on the end. If you know if you know my number, which is posted all over here, put a two on the end instead of a one. That's Deb's number. So now everybody knows Deb's phone number. Well, at least the uh, 15 people that are here was watching the replay until. Three hours and how long is that? Three hours and what? Wow. Three hours and 52 minutes. No way. Yeah. That's what it says. But that can't be wrong. Oh, Maybe it is right. I got 203 for time. What? Actually, that's what time it is. Yeah, I know. That's how long we've been on. Yes, Jeff. Family is everything. Yep. I got uh, Deb's family lives here. We've oh, got um, John said we are. He goes, That's right, you are at the four hour mark. Almost at the four hour mark. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's not jinx anything because yes. we're getting into these hills. We lose yes. signal. We got to start all over again. And oh, I don't want to do that. No. Do 
No, I'll put it this way. If it happened, I'll still get back on and see if we can squeeze four hours out of this. Because we got a long ways to go across the state of Pennsylvania here. We still might get our four hours out of that. But for now, for now, wow, what is that? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a looks like a little quarry or something there. And you know what they're probably doing? Processing old highway stuff. Yeah, they're, that's they're, what it looks like. they're busting up concrete. Anyway, you know, I'll, I'll try to get back on to get that get that record mark again. Yes. And I, I know Shad stopped in earlier. He's got Friday off, but he's probably out working a split and probably working on some videos. Uh, if you're a YouTuber, man, man, every chance you get, the camera's out. And what's that little saying go? Everything is content. Yep. And I mean, I don't look at it that way. I'm just like, do you think the folks would like this? You know, if we shared this with them. And uh, I'd like to, like to share some things. What you looking for? What you got? Oh, shout outs. Shout outs. Shout outs. There's only 12 people here. You sure you want to do a shout out now? Oh, fine. I'll wait. Oh, you want Todd's? All right, well, okay, for what it's worth, and maybe we'll do this again later. Shout outs to Todd's Outdoors again. No, um, it's a good channel. Deb likes that channel. She said, let's give him a shout out. And uh, Nelson Ridge Farm, which I don't know if he needs a shout out or not. Right. Brad and Lacey. Brad and Lacey over at Nelson Ridge Farm. Okay. My father. Husband and wife, or what is that? Okay. And I like their splitter. I forget what kind they have, but it splits both ways. Oh, yeah, yeah, you put, yeah. You put the wood in, yeah. it splits the front, and it splits the back. Well, Woodmiser makes one like that. I'm right. It is. Is it? We just passed the sawmill operation in the middle of the woods, guys. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't see what they were running, but I saw big stacks of uh, finished like six by sixes and that, and uh, scrap piles burning and sawdust everywhere and logs in. Yeah. Didn't look like a big operation, but it looked like a, they were getting a lot done. Wow. So that was where I would love to see that. <laughs> Kind of came up in an opening real quick. I can smell. I can smell it. No, you're smelling the diesel coming out of that Ford that just passed. Oh, us. am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. I wish we could have seen it longer. I could have gotten the camera flipped around, and showed you guys. But so who's who's just coming in that hasn't heard of the announcement about the uh, 30k gathering? I wait till later. Walter, Todd Lacey is nine miles north of me. Oh, cool. Well, if you see him, tell him I said hi. <laughs> uh, we're, we're always watching this channel. We gave him shout outs before. Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. All right, why are the truck drivers slowing down? Usually when they're slowing down, there's a problem. Oh, man. All right. They're slowing down, you're speeding up. I'm not speeding up side seat driver over here. <laughs> Sound like you. Power out is solved. Generator. Generators. Sorry, reading an advertisement. Probably an old advertisement. Yeah. yeah. We don't have a Generac, do we? What do we have? What's ours? Ours is a uh, rigid. Rigid generator, right? Yes, you're right. Is that Mary? It looks like Mary. Yeah, I think she's talking to somebody. Tell me about the gathering. Oh, the gathering. Well, it's it's the live stream we're gonna do. It's called a 30 a 30 thousand live stream. You have to watch. The, here's here's what they do. And you heard us talk about this the other night, I think, Mary. You have people on, on YouTube that just surf around looking for free giveaway stuff. They win the giveaway stuff and they sell it. Yeah. They'll list it on eBay or something like that. But it gives them brand new items in the box to sell, and they get money and they got it for free and they those are the people we don't want showing up the live stream we want the folks that watch the channel all the time and uh really support what we're doing here and what we're doing is we're showing appreciation to them and we like the fact that they'll they'll walk away with something a little extra for them and that makes us makes us happy makes them happy yeah. and we're in good shape i, I just this guy just passed me I passed it back okay. yeah that's a that's a dodge oh okay yeah you're right yeah, that's the diesel you smell when they pass us now. That's the 
Dover's? How do you know? Said Dover's. Uh, you want to go to something? Yeah. All right. Let me move over here. There we go. But uh, yeah, what happens is uh, they don't they don't really watch the channels. We don't like to we don't like for them to come in and swoop, swoop in when the when the uh, the giveaway. Uh, so yeah. we'll be. Um, that we'll be trying to monitor that and trying to prevent that from happening the best we can. And what they do is when they'll search certain words either in the chat or in the title that will lead them to your event. And there's been less of a chance for the real supporters of the channel to win. That's what I look at. So we'll figure out ways to get around it yeah. and to try to keep it fair for the ones who are actually there to support the channel. Oh, we dropped the nine, so folks had to leave. I'm a little concerned we're getting into some valleys here, guys. Like I said, if we lose the signal and we get the, the stream cuts off, we'll restart the stream and uh, we'll have some good time. We're at 359 and change right now. Uh, we're, I think we'll get to that four hour mark. I don't know exactly what, what Brad's was, how long over four hours it went. Yeah, we have no idea. But I, I can't recall how long it was. We'd have to go back and look through his videos. He did a live stream with Andrew Easton, and Andrew was wiped out by the end of that. You could tell that, that boy was tired. And uh, he, he, Brad didn't even know, and then they told him, well, it's four hours, you're going to beat Chuck and Deb, and stay on longer. And he stayed on for the four hours, and then he bugged out. But, but I, uh, I don't I know how a, long over. I think have, it was only a few minutes. I yeah, it was only a few minutes, I believe. So, I think. We're not it? sure. Is the signal looking good on your end? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm all What is up. that? Is that a wreck? Oh, my word. Wow. That's not good. That must have happened a while ago. It was an overturned tractor trailer. The tractor's gone, but the trailer's all burned up back there on the curb or on the shoulder. He must have lost it coming up there. Like I said, the tractor wasn't there anymore. But the trailer burned up, and I, I don't know what was laying out on the road for cargo, but... It was bad. <laughs> well, it wasn't on the road. It was on the shoulder, but it, uh, yeah, the whole thing was, like, melted. Hopefully that person was okay. Yeah, you get to some of these hills, not, not so much on this road, or not at all on this road that I've seen. The hills get so steep in the southern track across Pennsylvania that... There's run out, there's, there's truck run out ramps where if they're coming down a hill, they lose their brakes. As they go up the other side, they can run off the other side of the road and into into a gravel pit or something like that where they just the truck just kind of digs into the gravel and slows them down. And that's a good thing because you're coming down these hills and you overheat your brakes and you lose your brakes or you have a malfunction of some sort and no chance to slow it down. So. What? He said three hours and 50 minutes for Brad's live stream. Yeah, Brad's, shows. Brad's live stream went longer than that. I thought it was he four. was over four hours. We were like three hours, 49 minutes, and 37 seconds, something like that. So he went to, he went, I guess, just over that maybe? That's what he's saying. Well, I think it could be right. Could be right. Yeah, if, that's, yeah, if you look back, it'll tell you the amount of time for it. So. I could have sworn it was over four hours, so but if that's if that's four hours and two minutes top, but that that can easily it can easily be beat. So out in the middle of nowhere again, and we're hoping we don't lose signal. We, everything looks good so far. It might be buffering a little bit. I don't know. Um, we don't see it on our end yet, but let's hope we can just keep going. We got to get out of these uh, little dead spots here, get back where some population is, and hopefully they got some cell towers up. All right, I'm going back up the street. All right, yeah, it's like when we go down in the valleys, we start losing the signal. Yeah. I was down I mean, to one more. I can see towers out here in the distance. Just hope we can still reach the signal from here. So, so far, so good. That's cute. Oh, this little log house. No, and it's probably one of them little modular log homes or something like that. Probably going to go out to a campground. That's a huge multi-pile. Wow. That's a 
that's a big mulch operation there. But we got, uh, yeah, two, four, two, I didn't know where some of you were from, if not all of you, but just uh, post it up in the chat where you're from, roughly. You don't have to give your address. Just like maybe, you know, what area of your state you're in, like maybe southeast corner, or if you don't mind giving a, a big city that might be nearby or something like that, or drop the town you live in. It's up to you. But, um, Let's see how many people are actually responding because they're showing 12 in the chat. Let's see if 12 respond. I mean, I can understand some of them are probably busy and they're letting their they're letting the video run okay. or the live stream run. That's fine. Jeffrey, Jeff said. Oh my God. Deb probably get along great. She's, yeah. she's good at that. High crosswinds reduce speed. Yeah, when you get up in this hilly section of Pennsylvania, uh, some of these, some of these um, valleys up here really funnel the winds and increases the wind speed. So you hit the open spots in some of these areas, and all of a sudden it's like bam, the whole car's rocking. And I can imagine if you run on a tractor trailer, then that's not real easy to deal with. So that's why I don't like to hang out driving when I'm passing a, a tractor trailer. I don't mind. I don't like hanging out there for very long. Looks like another mulch operation here. Uh, no, that's just excess farm equipment piled up. Looks uh, like a metal scrap. Mulchers from Illinois. Illinois. Not Illinois. Okay. I'm actually in the center square, New York, about a mile and a half from 81. Okay. 79 is familiar. When we were going up to Erie, Pennsylvania, remember I told you we were at Lake Erie. Yeah. Um, we were up there for a, for a convention, and we took 79 North to get up to Erie. So we're passing that now. So we're in uh, extreme western Pennsylvania for the most part. Got your phone for you. Thank you. I'm just trying to get warm. Are you cold? Yeah. I Did you turn your jacket on? Jeff said, I'm only a box trailer for a gutter company. Cool. And it's bitter, scary, and on those windy days. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets to bouncing you around. I mean, we're in a Forerunner, Toyota yeah. Forerunner. And when the wind hits this thing, it knocks it around. So I can't imagine being in one of these taller trucks or a hole in a camper or whatever. So we got where everybody was, or most everybody, yeah. or how many people? I'm going to show a tent. Okay. Oh, we just dropped one. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, I, I can only talk so much, so Deb, you need to chat it up too. Mary said good view. Oh, out the back, yeah. yeah. There's a nice view up here on top of the hills as well. Look, there's another one. Yeah. Well, they're probably going to a campground. Little log cabins. Yeah, little tiny log cabins going by us on the other side. All the way through Michigan, we kept seeing uh, double wides going through. Yeah. Big double wide things going through. Walter, Probably like 10 or 15 of them. Just... Walter said, you are near Mike Morgan's hometown. He is waiting on a delivery of oh, no, that's, that's okay. He's waiting for a delivery. Of what? Spell it. I just said delivery of... Yeah. <laughs> oh, when we when when we were on the uh, Onion Line Street, 
Network for the ride home from Bunyan live stream. Yeah, that, we're not going through those today. That's down on the turnpike in Pennsylvania, 76. We're up north on 80. Just staying out of the, staying off of the, uh, the turnpike and out of the tunnels. Now we know that that was a good signal all the way along there. So we're hoping we can continue that here. Somewhere out here is the highest point in Pennsylvania as well. The highest point on Route 80 in Pennsylvania. Something at all L2. Super chat. Firewood at the furnace. Come on, Brad. What's going on, brother? Drive safe. Absolutely will. Absolutely will. We are a little... We're probably about halfway home. So... It's going to be, uh, we've been we've been hanging out with folks about two hours into our drive home. It might end up being a longer live stream. It might end up getting cut short because of uh, traffic or because of losing a signal, but we'll see what happens. Who the heck is this? It's, it's a scam. Just okay. it. Scammers are, are, are texting them. There's all kinds of chat going by. I can't see it. I can buy a... Brad just hit us up with a super chat. We got well, thank you, Brad. two other big things coming through. Thanks, Brad. And Brad's probably coming in from a long day of splitting again. I know you got, I think you got a log delivery, didn't you? You got some, some logs dropped off there from the tree service. out of wood for how long guys we Walters <laughs> I can't say we split it but everybody who joined him on this get together had uh, yes. had, had been doing all doing a lot of splitting for him so his biggest problem was cleaning up yeah. there was a heck of a mess there guys uh, a lot of split wood all of it got stacked for the most part there was some stubs to take care of for boiler wood and it was uh, a lot of wood chips and sawdust to get rid of so I'm certainly buffering you're buffering Deb's buffering, which means we might be getting a really bad signal here. So. Down to one bar again. I mean, we're driving right under the antenna uh, right here. Walter uh, said an LT50 HD mill from Woodweiser. For the Morgans. That, that's because he's the one that said they're waiting on a delivery or something. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, that's what came through. Yeah. John Pierce. Jeff, Almost dropped out, guys. Almost dropped out. Okay. Okay. Live, still 12, 12, or four hours and 12 minutes. Ever watched it myself? Yes. 51 channel thumbs up. What's, the, the, what's that? Oh, that's the Super Chat, 999. I thought it said 5999. Yeah. I'm like, who gave us that Super Chat? I'm spinning again. Yeah, Deb's buffer, and I think... Wonderful channel, Spawn James built log homes by himself in the woods in Canada. Off the road. Blind, see, yeah. Uh, okay, Tim's headed out. Tim's out? Yeah, he said, I'm headed out. Maybe I'll catch you later. Okay. All right, hopefully we're staying connected. I, like I said, I know we have some issues up here on 80. I um, kind of wish we didn't come up this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, guy. Got more today. Really nice hickory and ash and Lucas. Wow. Nice. That's nice all, brother. Uh, sometimes hickory splits great and sometimes it really is tricky. <laughs> it depends on how it how it uh, how it grows. That hickory can grow twisted and have fun splitting that. You're better off noodling that into firewood. <laughs> Wade, Wade, hello guys. Wade, what's going on, hey, brother? Hey guys, hello from the northwest Montana. Northwest Montana. There's a ways to go. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Yes, I guess what you. is it? 
You on lunch break out there, or what's going on? I know you guys are about hours behind us. I'm gonna start picking up some of the West Coast folks when they hit lunch break. On down, we have, oh, it's going up slowly. One, three bars. All right. Yeah, we hit kind of a bad spot in there. The signal was really dropping, and luckily, it allowed us to reconnect to maintain uh, maintain the original live stream, which we are now at four hours, 15 minutes, and counting. Yep. So, and we got 12 people in the chat, 52 thumbs up. I know it's a low chat number. I didn't expect it to be real high. Um, the, the time of day, people are still working. It's Friday. Yep. And we have a big working crowd out there that, that watch the channel. And uh, glad they're here to support us as much as they can. For those who have the day off or maybe are they've hit their, their working goal and they're, they're relaxing at home, thank you for joining us here. Because, uh, and we say it, maybe we say it too much, but we can't say it enough that we really appreciate everything you guys do for the channel. And you probably, I've said that how many times just, just in this live stream, so. But for any of the new folks who just popped in, maybe some of the other folks dropped out, uh, live stream coming up for 30. our 30k subs. We're going to be giving away some of our own merch. We've got t-shirts, working on the hats with Bill Moon out of Backspin Graphics. Also the beanies or toques if you're from up north in Canada. We're going to have both of those. Uh, we may not have them on hand, but we'll get orders for them and send them to you. Also, um, got tape. Maybe some of our my my woodworking project, but I don't think there's much left in there that, that uh, left in there to give away. If anybody be interested in any of it, we have a logging tape, the same one I use for measuring our logs, and it's it's the double sided one where you can measure the diameter of a tree by wrapping the tape around the tree. It measures the circumference, but the tape reads the diameter through the tree. Um, and the moisture meter which is the same one a lot of the other folks they've been advertising on or they've been demonstrating or, uh, reviews on on uh, YouTube as well. Brad was one of them. Yeah. And I know there was, I think... Uh, I don't know if it was Darren or mine. I know it was Brad. I think Darren did as well. Darren up at Woods and Woods. I think he did as well. Okay. But, and um, we're going to have... Uh, we're not, we didn't, we don't know exactly what's coming for the steel merch, but we have uh, some steel merch coming. We're assuming t-shirts, hat, gloves maybe, I don't know. Depends on what the, uh, the dealership is sending us. We had a, made a connection with a dealership in Ohio who was kind enough to help out with some, uh, some things for the giveaway. Uh, the next thing up would be the steel, brand new in the box steel with bar and chain MS251, 251. That will be uh, one of the giveaways there. And also an MS-261 with bar and chain. Jeff said, I really hope the first time I win a giveaway is an iron t-shirt. But then he says, <laughs> I can't wait to get pizza sauce on it. <laughs> that's all right, man. Whatever, whatever works for you, that's cool. But yeah, that's the list so far of things that was some some requests for husky gear but then if a non-husky operator wins it i don't know i'd hate for them to send me pictures of it that they cut it up <laughs> uh we have a husky dealer near us we'll, we'll stop by and see if they can either help us out or we'll pick up a few things uh, from down there we'll have it on the giveaway also forewarn i mean this is a long live stream but that for the giveaways is going to be a a, a few hours a few hours at least so be ready for another long live stream from us as well. Yeah, I'm thinking two. Yeah. Maybe two hours. Probably about two hours, and we're gonna have to stay real focused on what we're doing. But I, it's yeah, you can focus on the giveaways to get through all that stuff. But I, my focus is wanting to chat with everybody and hear what they have to right. say and, and talking with them and helping them out and and just general good time conversation. It's it's weird. It's like right now I'm talking you guys are hearing me if you're saying anything back to me I can't hear you I have to read it through the yeah. chat so you saw it now what do you see brakes that are there's no brakes in there. Oh. that's his tail light well, 
on the trailer and it's just LEDs are very bright. Uh, I, I, we're getting more cell towers here, so hopefully we're keeping our cell signal up. My pores my, my are high. Okay, so there's okay. Gonna be one tower back there, it's one tower out here. So I think we're in pretty good shape. What's going on? Somebody else going live? Okay, I just, you're just getting alerts for everything. I don't know what you're getting. So. There was a big one. Mary. Yes. Much guys, I mean the, the view from the turnpike when we were driving home up from Bunyan was better. Um, maybe Bunyan will be the next time we can break our record for live stream. I mean, <laughs> a long live stream, but we got to have a bigger attendance. That would be good. I mean, Brad's live stream, live stream was was long, and he also had a hundred and some people when he cut it off. So. Yeah, a lot of people, but we're yeah. looking at Friday again. Yeah, we're at Friday daytime. I think his was, his, well, his was Thursday Thursday, or was this a Saturday special live stream or something like that? I forget. No, that was a Thursday Thursday live stream, but it, it was in the evening too. We hit early morning. Oh, I'm gonna run out of Tim Hortons. I'm gonna have to stop and get some. Reduced speed, reduced speed, high crosswind area. Yeah, that's for truck drivers. They get up here. There's a big opening in here. Another valley running across, and you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit with them high winds coming across there. What do you got, Deb? Who? I don't know who that is. Who is it? You don't know who it is. It's just a phone number. I don't know. Deb's chatting with somebody on the phone. I don't know who she's texting to. Neighbor. Or a neighbor. Which neighbor? If you're standing in the front yard facing the road, are they on the left or the right? Right. You're facing the road. Which means oh, I'm watching the road, okay. yes. Left. No, I, you, you're pointing your finger at it, trying to tell me something. I'm like, I can't see anything on your phone. Too small. Print's too small. The uh, font's too small. I gotta get the map up. You should bring the chat up because I can't see any of the chat. I'm trying. I'm focused on what's going uh, on here. Jeff, why pizza sauce is a requirement for breaking in new clothes? Pizza sauce and bar <laughs> oil. No, no bar oil. Or, oh, that's the work shirt then. That's good. Jeff and uh, Yogurt. Okay. What? Mary and they were chatting. Oh, okay. You're yeah. going back and forth. Yeah, and uh, I have to get the map up. Yeah, we, we might be turning off eventually. So. Yeah, there's another tower. So we should be maintaining a decent signal. Is there anybody here from like northern PA or mid, I guess mid PA, because we're not all the way up north. We are fairly, we're, we're pretty far north, we're not all the way up there. Okay, dude, you're in the wrong lane in your box truck. Repair, revisual, revisualization, wow, modification, reclamation, precast concrete experts. I'm reading the truck door in front of me. <laughs> You don't have the map. You don't have the map, why not? Did you close it? I don't have the map. You don't have the map? Oh my goodness. What did you do? Apparently I closed it, dear. Yeah, you should close it. Well, the only way to get it back is to Google it. And you better type it in. I just, I just saw the diesel price change on the sign. It went from... I think it'd go from $4.99 to $5.05 as I looked at it. They just changed the diesel price. Uh, I hear the 
jink brakes on this guy. That doesn't sound good. That's jink brakes. Okay, four that's, hours. When they, that's when they pump air into the cylinders. 709 now. 709, but you get home? Yep. Yep, that's about right. Is it, where's it taking us to? Oh. <laughs> What's our next turn? Oh. Uh, Let me check the chat first. Yes, please. Okay. okay. You're, you're boring everybody. Well, we're seeing they're talking and I can't. And <laughs> trip sauce and it landed on my laptop. I said, oh, I lost weight. Because <laughs> it missed my shirt. That's funny. Jeff said, I'm working on making merch as well. But I'm still small and I'm not sure. Many people would want a shirt. I'll send you both a shirt when I get them done. Well, thank, thank you. you Jeff. Appreciate that, Jeff. Jeff, what is your channel? channel? Yes. Is it just Jeff Y? Is that your channel name? Let us know. All right. So let me. What am I supposed to check on the map? You have to get the map back. You have to type in our address. I did that. Right here it and is. Nothing. I didn't ask you to check anything. Stay on Route 80 East, 116 miles. Yep. Then you go to 220 South. No. Exit 220 or turn on 220? 220 South. Okay, no, we're not taking 220 South. Fine. We'll probably be going down 80. Beautiful gorge here, I think. Oh, yeah. That is nice. I have no idea what it is, but I should probably not look around that much. chat talk to me nothing yet nothing yet we'll make chat then okay who's wants another we only have 10 people here so let's make it interesting for the 10 people who are here let's have another trivia what another trivia question we're not trivia just a, a guest question something like that we'll i don't a have trivia. a channel not yet at least but my business name is Firewood. Omni Firewood. I have a website. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Yes. I mean, when, when we first got out, we got some jackets Starting. made. We got some t-shirts made. Just from, We went to a local printer. That's all we did. And uh, when we first started out. Worked with them. They were on a little on the smallish side, and we were on the small side. So they just said, sure, I'll make you some shirt, shirts. So we had our own shirt, and some people wanted a shirt. So we made some shirts for, them, for some other folks. I think we've probably given away a lot more shirts time. than we sold. Yeah, we gave a lot this time. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what happens when you do a YouTube channel and it's it's not real big, but um, not everybody's asking to buy a shirt, but a lot of times we're able to give one away to some folks we know and they will... Um, Here's one. They will appreciate it. Mary has one. How many hamsters does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. It's one for guess. Six. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say one to hold the bulb and one to spin the wheel. Sixty. Six, Sixty. Sixty hamsters. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's a sixty. Oh, that was your guess? Yeah, 60. 60. Oh, it's like, where did you come up with that? But I just wanted to Two. hold the bulb. What did you say? Wanted to hold the bulb and wanted to spin the wheel. Two, but there has to be enough room in the light bulb. <laughs> so you want that one? I was just guessing. It was two, but it was for a different reason. <laughs> It's just to let people ease. No, that's the front of his truck. I don't know. Low down LED lights, LED lights that are really unnecessary, but. Mary's cracking up. Well, you know what? Turn the camera around so we have to just keep looking in our ugly mode. When we get a view, let's do that. Okay. Right now, right now there's no view, actually. Yeah, not much of a view. It's going down a hill. I mean, this road mostly runs through a valley. 
Um, we really don't. That gorge was probably about the best. That might even have been the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. Uh, what they call the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> that was a deep gorge in there, that's for sure. We'll turn around for this, but it's just highway. Hello, Jeff. Jeff who? Oh, Ormus? No, Jeff and Patty. Oh, Ormiston. Oh, Ormiston. Good afternoon to you, Jeff. Tell Patty we said hi. And uh, yeah, we're just doing a ridiculously long live stream. And okay. yeah. Mary said, I don't know if you've got it. <laughs> got what? And so many fit in the light bulb. Because yeah, they go with the light bulb and they run around and it spins the light bulb in. I think that was the premise of the joke. Was it not? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, that's Mary. What is that? Will do. She's still working. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I assume you guys caught the live stream at J JPF. Maybe you didn't. Do you remember if they were at the late JPF live stream? Oh, goodness. I'm not sure. I don't know who was at the JPF live stream. I was on the JPF live stream, so I couldn't watch it. And I know we watched the replay, but I didn't watch. I didn't watch much. Uh, right. I didn't watch much uh, of the of the replay. I didn't watch watch the chat. I should say. Does anybody see the super chat I sent Joe while we were at his at his live stream helping him split firewood? I said uh, something about you know happy to be here with the crew at and it was supposed to be um, the Joe show and I wrote the Ho show. <laughs> oh, I, like I didn't see that. It went with the super chat. I was watching the replay the next or that night, and I looked at it and oh my god, I typed the Ho show instead of the Joe show. He's bad. I didn't do it on purpose. It was a, the H and the J are next to each other on the, on the. I think they're next to each other on the keyboard. I don't know if we're gonna last long enough to get. Um, get much above 12 people. We haven't been above 12 people for a while. Well, we're at a bad timing. Well, uh, hopefully they, they start heading home. It's almost 3 o'clock now. We didn't watch Joe's live stream. Patty had to work and I had to deliver a load of firewood to one of our restaurants. Well, okay. Well, that's one of the things we did with Joe. Helped him split a Joe cord uh, into the back of his pickup truck. Dropped a few uh, dead oak trees in the in the woods behind his place. Well, Mike did. Okay. Uh, Mike Mike bucked the one up, and I know he finished the rest of that the next day. And then, what else did we do? I think that's about all we did there. Uh, and then that was one live stream. Then he did another live stream where we went up to <laughs> deliver that Joe Cord of firewood to that's City Barbecue in Grand Rapids. That's a good place to eat. That was, and then we all dropped in and had some food. That was some excellent food too. And it was all good because it was kept, cooked under JPF or cooked over JPF firewood. Yep. Wow. Big reels of plastic pipe. Or cable, one of the two, but I think it's I think it's plastic pipe. So one thing up here on 80. Into Valley. No, the truck drivers drive fast up here. How long of a drive you guys have? Who's that, Jeff? Yes. 12, 12 hours, hours, Jeff. And we've been on for, well, we started about two hours in, and we are in four hours, so we've been on the road for about six hours, six and a half hours. Minutes. And it says we've got about five hours to get home yet. More. How, how long before we get home? That should be on the map. Can you see the map? Have to go out. Did, no. Don't close the map when you go out. Just minimize it. It'll go down to a little small screen. You picture, picture. Don't 
Don't hit the back button. Four hours and 31 minutes. Let me see. Let me see. So, um, to open that one. And there we are. And you open that one. Okay? There. There you go. And then you turn on the live chat. Live chat. There you go. Yay! CYA. That's what we call that at work. CYA. Wow, we took 80 when we went to Ohio Paul Onion Show. Yep. Took us eight hours, eight and a half, eight and a half. All right. Well, where, where were you? Go who was it? Was that Jeff? Yeah, that was Jeff. Okay. Yeah, if you guys come down out of, uh, where you're up in New York a bit, you come down out of there. Wow. And, uh. There's a car in front of him. Yeah, there's a car boxed in between the two track trailers. Not anymore, but he was. Yeah. But he's recorded. What great crazy up here to track the trailers. Tractor trailers start riding side by side and clogging up lanes and stuff like that. It's typical up here on 80. It's very hilly, so one that can get a run to get up the next hill goes into the fast lane, but then before they can get up the next hill, they crap out and they can't make the next hill. Jeff said, yeah, we 81 into 80. 81 into 80. 81 into 80. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we're actually looking to get off and get on 81 and go south to 309. Here comes the rain again, Mary. It's raining. Yeah, a little drizzle. We're okay. Yeah, Jeff, we've just been talking about the live stream. I don't know if you, you weren't here for it, but talking about a 30K live stream coming up. And finally talk to Evan. we got to share what we got, well, what we got wait, coming up. I said wait till later. Good, I'll keep sharing. But we'll have our own merch, t-shirts and stickers, some uh, hats and some tubes. As far as I know, or beanies, however you want to call it. Then we have um, steel merch. We got, we're not exactly sure what, but they said we'll send you merch. One of the steel dealers we've been working with. They got some gloves. And they got what? Slow down. Slow down what? That's what Barry said. Am I driving too fast, Mary, or am I talking too fast? One of the two. Well, we got uh, steel merch. We might have gloves. I'm assuming it's hats, maybe t-shirts. We're not 100% sure what we're, all it yeah, is. We're not, yeah, we're, we're not sure what we're getting. They just said merch. And we'll have a moisture meter to give away. Logging tape. And a logging tape to give away. And uh, then... The two, what? We don't have anything personal items. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next thing up is a steel, brand new, in the box, with bar and chain. A steel MS-251. Oh, uh, you know, Jeff Y wants to know, which steel dealership is it, and are you allowed to say? I'm allowed to say, and it's in Ohio, and it's a huge rental place where they have the rental equipment, and where they have... Um, new steel dealership equipment. Very uh, I don't recall the name. I want to get the name of it. They're sending me the information. They're sending us the stickers. And we'll put the sticker up on the channel. Probably put it on the splitter as well. Yeah. Maybe on the sawmill, something like that. Probably the splitter. We haven't and, been putting any stickers on the Well, we haven't been putting any stickers on anything right now because in the cold yes. weather, they don't tend to last on there. We don't want to waste the sticker for somebody who was nice enough to give us. Right. I'm very sick. Don't. <laughs> don't. It's not that way. It's just a, a slight spritz, so. Uh, Walter, why does a cow wear a bell around the neck? I don't know. Because her horns don't work. Oh, jeez. <laughs> don't wear horns. 
Where were oh we? God. MS251 bar and chain with bar and chain. Um, and an MS261 with the bar and chain. Use both brand new saws in the box. Um, the bar length, I'm not 100% sure on. I'm guessing 16 or 18. I think the standard bar for a 251 is uh, a 16-inch bar. And the standard bar for a 261 is probably an 18-inch bar. So I know another thing I would like to give away what? is I'd like to buy some wedges. Wedges? Yeah, wedges. I know. I know what you mean. That's that's a decent idea. When you when you're uh, bucking logs, you gotta you, you know you worry about your bar pinching. And someone said drive the wedge in the top. Another uh, one was um, PV. Uh, PV. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Somebody gave us yes. some some uh, like things to carry logs with. Yep. Things to move logs yep. with. So we'll we're gonna call. Uh, it's gonna be log right because that's who we work with. We yep. we trust log right products. So a PV, a uh, pick a rune or hook a rune, and uh, we had some other log carrying deals that work extremely well for us. So we're hoping that we can get them to work for someone else and bring those out as well for a giveaway. I'll have to contact the company. I know that the name of the company is on the ones that we have, so I will I will check the name of the company and see. I don't may not get it as a donation to for the giveaway. But we may get it as, uh, you know, we'll just pick them up and then we'll give them away. So we'll see how that works. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But I was thinking about, because of the soles, I was thinking about wedges. There's nothing wrong with them. What do you want to get? To? I want to find out what we get for merch first. Yeah, I know. And then we'll go from there. Maybe she threw some of them in. Oh, well, I'm not sure. If not, yeah, the, the dealership is in Ohio, guys, and, and we're going to get their name out for sure. Yes. Um, she didn't mention it over the... Uh, she didn't mention over the over the uh, phone call we had just on the way home on the way here. One, uh, we headed out, uh, stopped for gas. Somebody called the, the, that steel dealership, worked out a deal, and uh, closed that deal. And but she said she'd be sending the name of the dealership on stickers. So we told her we definitely will be giving shout-outs to them yes, multiple sir. times, either either on that live stream or a bunch of different videos as yeah. well. So. Yeah, I'll call. Um, we'll call Long Right up. We'll see what we can do there. Why am I drawing a blank on the girl's name at Long Right? I am. But we'll talk to her. Yeah, call her. If I think of it, I'll say it. <laughs> um, yeah, she's great. We met her out at Bunyan and uh, talked to her for hours about different things. And uh, talk. we'll call her up and see if we can get something get something for this live stream. If not, we will just purchase something. So. Oh, Jeff Green has one. What did the one sick casket say to the other ca sick casket? Casket? Yeah, casket. I don't know what. Is that you, you coughing? <laughs> <laughs> Which Jeff was that? Patty Jeff O? Said, okay, yeah. Jeff O. That's funny. That was funny. I like that one. I love corny jokes. <laughs> corny jokes? Or corny. Corny jokes. Oh, yeah. What do they call them now? Dad jokes? They call them dad jokes now? Did you hear about the... Oh, she erased that. Okay, Mary erased that. Okay. What? She, she uh, retracted she, her she, statement? Yeah, she, retracted yeah her I couldn't read it in time. That's all right. Man, I'm just... Sorry, guys. I'm really focused in here. I got a tractor trailer right in front of me, and I'm passing one. So, it's one thing with the tra tractor trailers out here, it's a constant battle. Of, they want to be in the fast lane, passing the slower truck in front of them. When they do that, they slow everything down in both lanes. So, yes, I know, they're allowed to drive in the fast lane too. In Pennsylvania, it doesn't matter. Out, out in uh, Michigan and that, they tell them to stay in, stay in the right lane. Pennsylvania won't do that. I don't know. Drop my phone again. Yep. No dropping phones. We didn't hit a nice view up here, guys. Not yet. So. I, tr uh, I trying to think of G 
more PG rated jukes. Okay. Okay, Barry. I don't really have any Great PG rated boats. I, hey, I, that's okay. Just got to keep the swear words out of it, yeah. I think, because that throws red flags up at YouTube. <laughs> John Pierce just came on. I think you got the live chat record broke. I think so, guys. Yeah. We're at 445. We're going to be going Man, to I'll tell you hours. what, the time is flying by. And the road is really boring. It's 80. We've already been up and down this road numerous times, so it's not like we're seeing new scenery that we didn't yeah, see before. What, what scenery? Trees? Yeah. There's some trees for everybody. We Hardwood. passed the one gorge there. Good signal. They probably saw me that do that. Huh? They probably saw me. These guys probably saw me do that. Do what? Flipped him off. He comes roaring up on my tail. I'm going along passing and passing. He comes up and he's flashing the high beams. Um, and here we are. Walter, I have a pair of Fisker, or Fiskers. Fiskers. LT6 log tons. And I really like well, that's good. Fiskers makes log tongs. I know they had a, a hook a rune or something, didn't they? And then uh, Jeff Y said, I polish off a whole bag, whole bag of munchos watching you guys so far. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I had a bag of something like that, like potato chips sitting but, here. But potato chips, Chuck would eat the whole bag. I too. eat the whole damn bag. Uh, the, especially Lay's potato chips. Yeah, you gotta take them away. Yeah, I'm like, after a while, I'm like, you better take these away or I'm gonna eat the whole bag. We did have, I brought chips, pretzels, and party mix in. We still we really have some of each. Yeah, yeah, we really did. I mean, we touched them, but I'm actually surprised. J&J, &J, isn't that where we bought our trailer? No, no, that's not where we bought a trailer. Okay. I was thinking there was where we bought a trailer. What trailer? Your dump trailer. Bye to J&J. &J. All I know is up north. That's all I know. I know. I'm, I'm, no, we're too far west yet. We're too far west. We went up the turnpike, I remember that, and got off the turnpike yeah. and we picked it up, so. Okay. We'll have to look at that thing. Boomville. No, not Boone, not as in Daniel Boone. That's Boom as ex explosion boom. Yeah. Boomville, it's a fireworks place. Nope, still no scenes. Still nothing to look at. <laughs> Just the road. Just step smiling face, you know. <laughs> oh my god. It's always faster going home. Haven't you learned that yet? No, for me it's always faster. <laughs> It yes. seems faster get, uh, going to where we're going, at least it did so far. I mean, this is going super fast. I can't believe we're already so far into this this, this uh, live stream. Yeah, this have, is crazy. We do have a good signal. And it's going to be 3 o'clock soon. It's 3 o'clock at our end. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 3 o'clock. We're still three hours from home? Safe How many? Travels. John. No? How many hours we got on there yet? Okay. Four hours. What are you doing? I told Unless you. Because you always back out of this. Why? I just said four hours. Are you sure? You have to open it like that. Well, it sure made that look like a change. Well, you should open it. Because it'll, what it'll do is freeze on wherever you had it. I'm trying to get us up in the foreground. I think the map minimized that. The map is supposed to minimize. It doesn't. Why does it close the map? Your phone's goofy. Oh, because it's already got us minimized. There you go. Oh my gosh. Did it still stay on four hours? I don't know. You told me it did. <laughs> Soul Surgeon's back. Ted, tap, how tap, are tap. you? Is this thing still on? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Oh, it has we're, been a heck of a drive. We are still here. 
and I'll tell you what, we're not going, we're not, people are like, oh, you got to stop halfway when you drive. We're like, nope. Don't really want to do that right we now. We did take a gas stop. Gas stop up, and I just, thanks for a reminder, I should check my gas. I think we're going to make it home on the gas we got. You think so? Three quarters of a tank, yeah. Dan, I'm back from walking the dogs oh, two yeah. miles, and you still going how oh, much yeah. further to home? How much further? How many hours we got to home now? Uh, okay, I'm going to go in. Hold on. Put that up. It's telling me four hours and five minutes. That's what it's so telling me. So we've still got a little after seven o'clock. Seven o six. That's what it's saying. Uh, Unless but, we make another stop. Yeah, we're gas. we're for the most part following the speed limit, right? Yeah. So we're good. So that's four hours. That why does that seem long yet? It doesn't seem like it would be four hours from here, but I guess it is. At some point in time along this road, we passed the highest point in Pennsylvania. Uh, John, so, John R. said, I'm headed home. John R. When is John R. got here? Right? From Central America today, and unfortunately, I still have about 11 hours to go. Oh, boy. Are you from Central America? You mean like Central America, like south of the border of Central America, or the middle of America? Bye, Saul Surgeon. You're leaving already, Dave? Yeah, you just got here. You just stopped in. <laughs> just checking in, got to run again. Absolutely. No problem. Appreciate you stopping in. Hey, if you just got here and you haven't done so yet, hit the thumbs up, guys. Yes, thumbs up. We got up. 56 thumbs up, just from all the different folks stopping in throughout the live stream. Did you? And, uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> we're, we're looking forward to that certain hour when folks start getting home and, and uh, finishing up dinner and jumping on with us. Jeff wants to know if we're near State College. I believe we are north of State College right now. We're, we're near State College, yeah. I, in fact, I think we see signs for it coming, uh, what coming he along said here. Guatemala. Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala, that's Central, Central America. America. Well, you got 11 hours. I'm, I'm assuming John. flight time because 11 hours from Guatemala flying home. Driving home, that's not going to happen. So you got to fly home. Well, what were you doing in Central oh, America? Joe Mainz on. Hello, Joe. Oh. What's going on, brother? On our way home. Yes. <laughs> we we're on our way home from Michigan. You saw us a couple live streams, maybe. We were stopped in from Michigan. Joe's from uh, ICT, right? Joe yeah. Main, ICT. South Inter Georgia. And I want to say international cutting tools. Yeah. Or am I getting that totally wrong? I'm getting a little loopy here. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. I see your lips. Industrial cutting tools. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brain, for starting to work. Joe, I apologize. Industrial cutting tools. Joe Main, welcome. Joe Main's from down in Georgia. Uh, yeah. A great guy. And he's the man who supplies us with our blades for the Wood Miser LT35. Joe, hey, if you're still here, or if you just popped in real quickly, if you're still here, are we able to source some carbide blades yet? I know it's, I was, we were talking about some carbide blades earlier, but you said it was going to be a while. And I can't recall what that timeline looked like. Looked like. Uh, Jeff, why? I'm going to head back outside as well. I've got three more hours of daylight. Enjoy the rest of your drive. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you for stopping in. And go outside and enjoy the daylight. Yep. If you're if you can't enjoy the daylight outside, join us here. We'll be happy to show share some daylight through the windows of our vehicle all the way yep. out. And, uh, Mac at Brookville. Act used to be well. They are still in Mukunji, Pennsylvania. Uh, Joe said, "I don't think so. I'll, I will check on it, though." Okay, thank you, Joe. Appreciate it, Joe. Yeah, we're looking. I mean, I'm not looking for a whole box. Um, I did not have luck luck with the first ones I got, and maybe I think it might have had something to do with the, the mill itself. I you no, know, not on frozen stuff. I was running them on as some worn out belts, and I threw the blade off, which of course you know didn't do any good for the carbide tips and it ripped the carbide tips off of them. Plus it knocks them out of set. I had the other one for a while. I had it sharpened and I think some point after I had it sharpened, well that's a nice view. We didn't see this one the way out. It was dark. Oh, yeah, it was dark. Uh, John 
But yeah, it, the second one, I think, when I got it back from from uh, Resharp, when they were able to resharp it, and I got it back from them, and they, uh, I don't know if that one broke. No, I would have the first one, I threw it off, and it hit the inside of the covers, messed up the uh, carbide, and that was the end of that one. The second one, I got it back, I think I had it resharpened, and it broke. And that was the end. I, I ordered two on the test. When I was cutting, it was like hot knife you butter. It really was. And I think our original intention to buy those blades was to run in the Norway spruce to get through the knots. And uh, they seemed to work well. I don't know if we had the right angle on those. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how what they're available at. I don't know if you can buy the 737 Turbos carbide version. If that's, if that's what we get. I don't know how they're how they're figured out, how or how they're configured. And then we got John, John Oregon. We have three spare flights. We were helping our friends working on a hospital in a rural area. We didn't use any chainsaws on this trip. <laughs> okay. John, that is super, super cool that you can get down here and lend a hand with stuff like that. It's not easy work, especially if you're not running a whole lot of power salts. If you're uh, doing everything by hand or working with minimal power tools, that's a lot of work. So yep. I'm sure the folks there are very grateful to your, for your help down there. And uh, keep it up, brother. That's definitely worth it. Going down we are Valley. near Going down Dubois. Into Valley. We are near Dubois, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to guess that's uh, French descent that lives in that area. See if I see any deer down there. I don't see any deer. No, look for bear. We see enough deer. Look for We're in bear country around here. I know that. Back up. See, something like that is where you'd see a bear in there. Oh, one of the other same lane. Getting. I'm still not going to be able to stop. You have to go from 80. I'd go 300 yards before I could stop. Yeah, you, you gotta keep an eye on that. What do you call oh, geez. a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Oh, God. I think Deb got that one. Hey, Chuck and Deb, I made it. Hi, Ty Man. What is this? What are we using? Ty Man's here. Yep, he just came in. What's going on? Uh, Dan Cooper said, are you towing something now? No. Yeah, I'm towing my tired butt home. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it gets a little, that's why you see me keep adjusting here in the seat. It gets a little uncomfortable after a bit. Just move around a little bit and you're fine. And then when I get out of the car, when I get home, the legs are going to be stiff. Yeah. Uh, for a little bit. Absolutely. No time in their effort and their skills to, uh, to help out others. I think they'd be deep in the woods, wouldn't you? Uh, I don't know, this time of year they're supposed to be hibernating or whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you won't see any bear. No. I don't know, it's not really that cold that they would have to hibernate here. But maybe they hibernate no matter what. Big rocks. Yeah. I'd like to see the scenery. I can't. I have to drive. I can't look off the side of the road too long. But it's nice this time of year because you can actually see into the woods. Because there's not all the underbrush. And then wood geeks like us can look in there at trees and go, I can saw that into some lumber. Yeah, that's <laughs> Chuck. Yeah, we were driving past, we were driving um, somewhere for lunch. It was, I was with my boss and a bunch of us were going off to a, um, a place to eat lunch. And we're driving by, he goes, oh, hey, how about that? He points out, I go, oh yeah, silver maple. It was the tree had been cut down and laying there in a log for him. It's like a quick glance, like, yeah, that's silver maple. And I'm just sitting there for a second, I go, yeah, I'm a wood geek. <laughs> I can tell what that is without the trees. He goes, I was wondering how you did that, or without the leaves. He goes, I was wondering how you did that. He says, I've been around wood too long. That's all there is to it. They got a chuckle out of that, so. Where's my chat? Well, give me the phone. Whoa, you gotta be looking at it. There's nothing there yet. Nothing it's there? Oh my gosh, why not? Whatever's going to be a problem. Is that a rest area? 
It's just an arbitrary exit. Oh, it's we're not on the we're not on. I think keep think we're on the toll road. Rest area, the, half a mile. Half a mile. We're not going to rest. We had to go rest area. I don't know. Think about it. You're thinking about it. Yeah. No, no. You had your one your one break in a 12 hour ride. What is wrong with you? That's that's too many breaks already. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course. You're gonna spoil you for another Arby's dinner? No, I don't no? want another Arby's dinner. I think I might be done with that. I'm good. I probably yeah. I see. I think I said we were. Uh, we stopped there before. That was the rest area. One of them. Yeah. There's others. Yeah, it's I know. 80. There's lots of other rest areas. I know how your rest area was. That's how I waited and how long for the last one. Yeah. You'll make it, Grandma. Why don't football players get hot? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that one. I don't know. I don't know. Deb's contemplating this one. Why don't football players get hot? Okay, I give up. Because of all the fans. Oh, <laughs> I get that one. I think we're coming up on that spot in Pennsylvania. What spot? The highest point in Pennsylvania, I think. Oh. Unless it's the highest point along Route 80 in Pennsylvania. That's probably why I feel like we've been nothing doing nothing but driving uphill. I'm sorry, but this is an overloaded truck. These big, tall campers they have on the back of these trucks. Now this is a dually hauling it, so he's probably okay hauling that, but those campers are entirely too high. That's a big camper. Yeah, it was the King Ranch edition, I think, on that truck. Probably no, it's a Chevy, camper. so that's not the King Ranch. The King Ranch is Ford. Just way too many, too much bling on the King Ranch. What are we doing here, Deborah? I see Walter, Chad. Why do you... Sailors have a problem with the alphabet. Uh, I say sail away. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a guess. <laughs> yeah. Make it make it reasonable in my words. Well? I just gonna say sail away. What does that have to do with it? It's supposed to be a play on words, so. Oh my gosh. Metal. Uh, galvanized. Yeah, I think galvanized metal. I don't know what it's for. Okay, they are stuck at sea. What? They are stuck at sea. What was the question? What was the joke? Why do sailors have a problem with They are stuck out? at sea. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. You know what that is? See ya. Oh. They're stuck at sea. They have trouble with the outbreak because they can't. They're stuck at sea. Oh, got it. Jesus. Oh, I got it now. Oh, and I never guessed that one. Oh. Should I say it slower? Shut up. I'm kidding. Shut up. I get the shut up. You're killing me. Oh. Up a mountain again. Okay. Um, should we, should we, uh, Wait a minute, weren't we going to do another trivia? We never yeah. did, did we? No, because you got to talk too I get much. sidetracked. Talks too much. I don't talk too much. People ask questions, so I stop, and that's, that's more important to me than myself, my, my trivia questions. So it's trivia from the channel. What kind of dump trailer do we have? How about that? What kind of dump trailer do we have? Do you know what kind of dump trailer? You don't even know what kind of Put it this way, if somebody gets it right, I'll remember. I'll know what it, I'll know that it's right. Oh god, Chuck. What so, kind of dump truck? Yeah, what kind of dump trailer do we have? I, I remember it. We gotta have different winners too. Yeah, oh you want different winners? Yeah. So John's not allowed to win and Neither he was married. Mary. Oh, okay. Somebody's scrambling back through the videos right now trying to find out what kind of dump trailer we have. But John, uh, or Mary and John, Deb says you can. Can't she's, play. She's mean, and you know, 
I have to make her do nice things. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Turn. Wow. It's the one thing about Pennsylvania, the roads suddenly get curvy. Anyway. Eight people. Uh -oh. My word. Dropping people. That's all right. Well, people are going, man, I'm tired it's of this. So five man. hours in, we're going to give up. Are we in five hours? We're in five hours. I'm still counting down. Five hours in Five hours of counting. I think the highest number of people we had in it was 20 something, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I think they went, my God, these guys are going to be on just sitting in their car. I'm going to turn the camera around. Yeah, it's not really. You can turn around. Uh, turn around. What is that? It's glasses. my glasses. Wow. It's, oh, okay, my glasses off there. There you go. Why are you hitting them to me? I don't know, because I got to work the camera. What do we got? What kind of. Triangle should you ask out on a date? What kind of triangle? Triangle. Oh god, he's loaded with chips. Who's that? Is that John? That is uh, Oh Mary. That's Mary That's again. Mary, jeez. What kind of triangle <laughs> should you ask out on a date? What kind of triangle should you ask out on a date? A cute triangle. <laughs> oh god. Time man said, woo, five hours. A cute triangle. Yeah, I think that's what you said, right? Yeah, that's what because I read her answer off the, oh, off the chat. Oh, no, I wasn't cheating. You I was cheated. reading her answer. She posted it. There was an Arby's there in 97. You want to go to Arby's? No, yeah, I'm I didn't full. think so. Oh, that was god. a long wait. Moving away down here. So we're getting a live shot out the front of the truck here. Not. It's lunchtime. I'm going to make something. Be right back. All right, Dan. No problem. I'm leaning front a little bit, just kind of holding the camera up here, on the above the little pocket we have in the dash. We're gonna we're gonna go to 210 for that answer. For what? The answer for your uh, question about the dump trip. Didn't anybody answer it yet? Nope. I see. What kind of somebody scrambling back through the, yeah, the that's videos? Yeah, what they're doing. Somebody scrambled back through the videos when we got the trailer. We can't use too many trivia questions because um, <coughs> can't use too many trivia questions because somebody's going to. Uh, we won't have any left for the live stream. Well, you have to stop. <laughs> well, we're going to need them to give stuff away. It's 320 now. Oh, I'm looking at that. That's the miles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far we can go on the tank of gas yet. All right. We'll how many it. miles does it say we have to get home yet? Well, I think we're going to have to stop for gas. Uh, 4 hours and 5 minutes. 4 hours. Okay, well, that's hours. How many miles? Or is it just to you know, miles to the next turn? Uh, yeah, no, it's 705. 229. 229? Oh, we're going to run out of gas first. We're going to have to get gas, here. Yes, we are. All right, I'm flipping this back around. There we go. Ugly mug time again. in five hours. Woo. Yeah, yeah, we are. We got till seven o'clock. Seven oh six. Eight now. eight folks here. Hopefully we get some new ones popping yeah. in that haven't been out here for a while. Get a little bit more and, crowd. Uh, we're doing trivia. We're giving stuff away. Still don't have any guesses on the dump trailer yet. What's the name what's the name brand or what's the brand of our dump trailer? That's what we're looking for. When did we start a timer? Pouring in for my shift. Living the dream. Oh, Rick, what's going on, brother? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I think I need. Uh, I think another one. You drink red bull. Yeah. 
Because I'm getting tired? Chocolate. <laughs> I don't Bring want the chocolate. Home. Trailer full of new cars and one smash and all the way up front. talk about so we start doing some trivia five hours and 11 minutes still no guesses is anybody guessing on the kind of trailer we have? No. wait a minute you don't even know what it's called so how would you know if they're giving a guess toward the trailer just clapping living a dream don't like this just clap clap emoji okay what is the difference between a $20 steak and a $50 steak Fifth, they're bigger Expensive? I don't know. Oh, Valentine's Valentine's Day. Valentine what? Valentine's Day. Valen what? I'm not repeating myself again. Valentine's Day. Deb's one of those folks that calls it Valentine's Day with an M, and it's Valentine's Day. We're working on it though. She'll get it. Maybe. How did the fire? Fire, fall, and love. I don't did know we get it, we, Did we get an answer for the last I'm, one? What? We no. didn't get an answer for the last one. No, it's wrong. We didn't hear the punchline for the last one. I just said what it was. What? Valentine's Day. What was the joke? What is the difference between a $20 steak and a $50 steak? What does Valentine's Day have to do with it? I don't know. I did the fire, fall, and love. Got my better half a new. That's not new, the answer to this. No. Living Dream has a question. Uh, yes. No, not a question, but it's just comment. A comment. Got my better half a new to her old Jeep last week. Been swapping all the lights over to LED to, to today. Much nice. brighter now. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that'll make a, a world of difference there. Mary said he got it. Mary said he found his perfect match. Her, her uh, joke. Okay. Wait, which joke? Oh my god, Chuck. We still haven't figured out the $20 steak and $10 I just steak. told you. What was it? But that what's the diff? What's the diff? What does that have and, to do with I anything? I guess because of holiday. I'm not sure. I don't know. You sure you're reading it right? Just I don't know. She's got me. She's killing me. She's killing me. I don't know what to do, guys. What am I missing there? A ten dollars steak and a I don't know twenty dollars steak. Valentine's Day? I don't get it. Living the dream said it it perked it all up. Okay, it's not bad. Oh yeah, place. yeah. You get. Uh, we did that. Well, not the whole truck, but the Ford we have. They had dismal looking dash lights, and. We uh, pulled the dash out, put all the LED lights in the dash, put it back on. Man, what a difference. I can actually read the speedometer on it. Oh. We did that a while back. There's a huge difference in the dash. Live in the Dream said, like flowers, they cost a lot more on Valentine's Day. Okay. Uh, 
We get it now, thank you. <laughs> All right. That's true. What was the other one? I did the fire fall in love. Yes. What was the answer? He found his perfect match. Oh, uh, okay. All right. See what I mean? I'm getting a little punchy, guys. told me Valentine's Day joke. I think it must have something to do with the going out Valentine. Okay. Yeah, everything's more expensive Valentine's Day. Hello, Todd. We're back. Or are we back? Okay. Sometimes it says we're going to out again. Yep, it doesn't. Okay, and uh, Living Dream said, yep, it, do it <laughs> does. I did the headlights, taillights, turn Turn signals, everything in, in and out. I'm just like new. No. Cool. Nice. Did you do just like bulb conversions, or did you convert? Could you do uh, replace the whole light assembly with new uh, new LEDs? From Joe's. Okay. You Help. Uh, John Pierce said the kind of towing behind a truck. Dumb trailer, nobody remembers. Well, you know, we haven't used it in how long. Oh no, we just used it the other day. We had we replace the entire assembly and a new flashers unit, too. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. Cool. We're in Clearfield. We're in Clearfield? That's what we say, Clearfield. Oh, Clearfield Township, Clearfield County. Fix the bulbs, okay. What do we do? We're back up to 12. We're in double digits again. Thanks, guys. So, we're, nobody knows the trailer one, so we're going to have to find another one. What do you want to do? Help me out here. I can't be all the entertainment here today. What do you got for me? I'm thinking. I should have thought of one already. <laughs> I'm going to think. So, Zach's here, right? And, and Rick's here. Rick just got here. Joke all day. I'm old. No, you're not. Who's that? Look in the dream. Oh, okay. Well, for the folks who just came in, thank you for showing up. And for the hundredth time that everybody who's been here, uh, the 30K Appreciation Day is going to go off uh, as soon as we possibly can. Some of the items we have for that, of course, we have some Iron and Oak merch, whether I think it's uh, shirts and or stickers. Yep. Then we have, uh, what else do we have? Oh, we're gonna, we're working on getting some hats and some beanies. Yep, more and shirts. And what else do we have? Shirts, shirts, need more shirts, hats, beanies. And then we have a moisture meter, which I'm sure you've seen on other channels. Some other folks uh, were given an opportunity to test out a moisture meter. We're going to do the same, but we're also going to give one away. And I'm sure they did. They did as well. I think they got two of them. One to show off and one to give away. Uh, the logging tape, which was is from the same one I use. Um, it's made by the U.S. Tape, which is actually located in a town right next to us. <laughs> but you can't buy them there. <laughs> you can't buy them there. You have to you have to order them online from like Bailey's or something. And Living Dreams in in one XL hoodie, hoodie. What's and one he wants an XL one XL hoodie. What happens when a frog frog's car breaks down? He goes rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> You're not even attempting to answer this thing. You're just saying stuff. You know how you remind me of? What? Answer. No, no, the dream you said two, 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 two. <laughs> whatever, whatever that is. Anyway, he gets it. I, he gets it too. Toad, T O E D. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, continuing on with what we were having at the giveaway, besides our own merch, besides the the uh, the um, what you call it, moisture meter. 
and the logging tape. Steel merch. What that is, uh, we're not sure. We didn't get uh, details from the dealerships contributing it. They just said we're sending you some merch. So we're hoping it's something like hats, um, probably maybe some gloves, a t-shirt. I don't know. I've got to wait and see what they send it to us. Also from that same dealership. This is a dealership in Ohio near Sandusky. I'll get you, I'm going to get you the exact dealership name and contact information. So, you know, if you're in that area, um, they can hook you up. They, they also rent uh, larger earth moving equipment, things like that. So they have that business along with the rental slash sales business and steel is included in that as well. So we're going to be giving away steel merch. We also have a new in the box MS251 chainsaw with bar and chain and also an MS261 with the bar and chain. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be 16 and 18 would be the new lengths. Especially. I'm not sure. But we'll find out when they show up. Very good, another one. How did the frog burn his tongue? So we're stuck on frog jokes. On the ribbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fireflies. In okay, fireflies. cool. Okay. Yeah, she took that off. She took off the answer. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right answer. She took it off. Maybe she didn't mean to post it just yet. Oh, okay. But we already saw it, so we know the answer. Yeah, we saw the answer, Mary. I thought it was the right one. Talking here. Uh, does anybody remember the last black walnut that we just got done getting back? How thick we got to cut? We didn't even put that video out yet. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Oh my word. Uh, guys, you have to get some things. And put it out. So See, this is fun. This is fun, and I'm poking at you. I'm poking fun at you. That's what that's called. Fuel house uh, forms. He's back on. Oh yes, still going. Still going, brother. Still going. No trucks close in your rear view mirror. I'm no, we got one. rid of uh, we got rid of a lot of them. I don't know where they got off at exactly, but uh, thankfully they did because they were they were clogging up I eighty. That's for sure. Ty man said, "What do you get when you chop firewood faster than you can stack it?" <laughs> I'm guessing Shive is in the answer somewhere. Uh, what do you get? Chances are very good. It was cut. Chances are very good. It was cut at three inches. Who was that? Guess. John. Yeah. I think I think we might have spoken on this this one. So maybe that's why he knows. You're right, John. It was three inches. It was three inches. I think it was. But that one doesn't count because it can't really, the video never came out. So I did. I think you did talk about that before. I gave a short. Ah, uh, one of the dreams that were buffering. Okay, I didn't see it on my end. I had to put. Mary, I had to Ooh, put. Excuse the me. Laugh Whoa. Smiles in there. Loud burp. Sorry, guys. Apologize for that. Ouch, my man. Just joined. Hi, Larry T. Larry T. Just T joined. or yep. Larry? Nope. Just T. Spelled out. Just Larry T. Larry T. T E R R E L L. Terrell. Did you hear about the frog was? We are getting hammered with frog jokes. Did you hear about the frog that was raised by bunnies? Nope. 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 Didn't hear that one either. Ugh. Right? Yeah, two and a half, three inch. Yeah. All he could say was, 
Ribbit, ribbit. Okay. Cool. No, all you can say was rabbit, rabbit. Oh, sorry. Rabbit, rabbit. I didn't even see it, and I know it because it had to do with bunnies. Especially my left one. Can you stretch a little bit? I was trying to here. Stretch then. I can only stretch so far because the seats you can't put back. Well, stretch your legs out under your dash. I was. I mean, put your feet down like this. I think we okay. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna break from that. <laughs> this truck was much more comfortable when we were driving out. It's not as comfortable now. Yeah, we were probably all excited about getting out there. That's for sure. We get over here slowly. Sorry, uh, living the dream. Must go for a few. Daughter's calling from UK. Okay. All right, no guys. Problem. Hopefully, you stop back in. If not, have a good evening. Yes, have a good evening. Living the dream. That's living the dream. What are you looking for? Oh, it's moving your car. Like. No. Give me some of that. I'm just down off the screen. There you go. Trying to uh, fall asleep. Trying not to get my uh, my foot. My yep. leg hurts. When we get back, we've got to take the um, trailer down next week. Trailer and the dually in for inspection next week. So we're gonna drop a nose off. What do you call a shoe made out of bananas? Slipper. What is it? A, a jeep? slipper. A jeep. Someone, uh, Larry T said, "What is that? A jeep?" A slipper. Chuck says slipper, Mary. Yeah, everybody's turning wow. off there. Wow. What's the hot item here? That's okay. There's a bunch of vehicles. That, the, the Toyota that just had to pass us at 900 miles. Is it Pocados or something here? I don't know, but that one's was in his cup. Hey slipper. Hey, I got one. Woo. That's two. You got Yay it. me. You got two. Next trivia. Come on, Deb. Need a trivia question. Something for the channel. Pick us something. Okay, I got one. Is that a black walnut? What? <laughs> Was that a black walnut? What That's to your do? question. That's okay, your trivia no. question, guys. No. Was that a black walnut? Uh, what Figure did I that out. No, what <laughs> What did I hit in the black walnut log? It was hot here in North Carolina today. Well, that's good. Wait a minute, what did you hit in a black walnut log? Well, you hit more than one thing in a black walnut log. Uh, well, that's one of them, but that's not the one I'm looking for, Sam. What? Sam, Sam who? Sam Neal. Uh, Mc, Mc, McNeil? Uh, I think yeah, you're right. hand it to the guy who's driving. Here. Sam McDaniel. <laughs> uh, you hit one of those electric fence. Yes. Correct, Who's, John. Yes, John, okay. Electric fence. Um, how do you say that? Woo! We're back Woo! up to 13 people. We're kicking it today. Water, All right. Water buffalo. Okay. Sam's from Water Buffalo. What is eat? Oh, here's Barry. Again. Wait a minute. Sam's from where? Water Buffalo. Oh my God. Let me see that. Wait. He's not from Water Buffalo. He's saying Water Buffalo. It's with a question mark uh, behind it. I think he's right. answering a question. What was the last joke? Uh, he might have been trying to answer it. Oh no. Oh my word. What is it easy what is easy to get into but hard to get out of? Question, question. Trouble. Kansas but not nah, but now nah, Maryland. Okay, I'm lost on that one. Okay. What did you say? Trouble. Trouble? Yeah, trouble. Chuck's saying trouble again, Mary. We should have titled this Going for the Record. Yeah, we should have. We are definitely over the record now. What are we, five and a half hours? 
See this, I don't know if you want, this is almost like cheating though. It's like, well, we're not going anywhere else. We might as well just chat online. But it's a perfect setup for doing a, a ridiculously long live stream. Very quick, question mark, question mark, trouble. Yeah, it's, you, it's easy to get into trouble, but you can't get out of it easy. Okay, I'm so, oh, marriage. Say that's the other one. You can get into it easy, but you can't get out of it easy. At least not from the guy's aspect. <laughs> he, he keeps paying for that one. That's if you make the wrong decision. Well, I didn't. Right, honey? Right? Right, right. John. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I had to convince you of that one. Oh my word, you're killing me. I hear that all the time. Yeah, I know. We'll stop doing it. All the time. It's painful. Yeah, so is my foot. Now, what is your foot hurt? Yeah, my whole leg is bothering me. Oh, it's because you have sciatica. It's going down the back of your leg and your butt cheek, down the back of your leg and into your knee, right? No, it's just from my knee down. Okay. Well, you have an opportunity to reposition and stretch and everything I else. I am so. trying. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just trying to think of other stuff as well. <laughs> to, um, so who's going to be at the live stream? Not this one. The live stream celebration. Let me call it the 30K celebration, the 30,000 sub celebration. John is. <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh. And I think, are we doing it? Somebody can only win once? Time in. Time is going to be there? Yeah, I think so. With what we're getting away. Are we going to do it that they can only win I once? I just answered you. No, you didn't. You said time in. I said, yeah, I think so. Because we got a lot. We're getting, we're, so they, we got they can only wins. win once? Yeah. Okay. Well, if they win early and win, win something, like they don't have a chance. I don't know. I guess the other channels did that, didn't they? I don't see it. I didn't see anybody win twice from the other channels. You can only win once. Who else said you're gonna be there? Zach. Zach the thing he said he's gonna be there. It's John, Tyman, and Zach. And it's gonna be unfortunately Continental US or US and Canada. Buffering. Mine's buffering. I'm on these holes. Yeah, I'm one. One bar. Are you circling? Which means yeah. I might start circling oh, soon. Oh. Um, what's that? Pissolated? What pissolated? On my phone right now. Oh, we're coming back. Oh, oh, I have three you. bars. What? I have three. Yeah. Jumps back up. Uh, Mary said, did you hear about the magician uh, who could play a saxophone with his nose? No, I didn't hear that one. Jokes on the on Yeah, the I see. Excuse me. Rebel. You sure? Yeah. All right, we're just just over half tank of gas. I think we're going to have to stop on the way. Yeah, one more time. Oh, I think so too, dear. That's for the people who have been through the whole, the whole thing and have like great memories. So whoever's still here, well, whoever's here, here. we stop for gas once. How much did we spend? Did you say it? Yes, I did. We got back to truck and told them what we spent. Oh. Uh, Zach wants to know what time you're starting the live stream next week. We don't know. Well, I don't know if it's going to be next week, dude. I'm yeah. not sure. We we have to make sure we get all of our merch together. I'd rather have all the merch before we... I mean, realize. if it's going to be ridiculously long, if it's going to be like maybe a month from now, 
Man, I'll, we'll just go ahead and uh, and uh, do the giveaway. What? What? Try Pure Scotta. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. That's right, seventy dollars. Jeez, we have to we have to get somewhere. Everybody can get involved here. John's like on it. Yeah, John's on it already. Texas. It was seventy. Milesburg and Belafonte. Pennsylvania, that's where we are, Pennsylvania. We have had a couple of decent views out the window here, but just for uh, a couple of split seconds, so. Todd said, you said the G word. What G word? Thank you, boy. Oh, yeah. You said the G word, he said. I said the G word. I'm going to have to watch myself. I, I, we just call it the... Did you know there is not one canary on Canary Island? The same with the Virginia Islands. Not one canary. Okay. <laughs> you know where that was leading. No canaries on Canary Island. No virgins on Virginia Island. No. Okay. But she says canaries. Dad jokes here. Bad dad jokes. What do you got, Deb? What do you got? So when are you running what are you running the mill next? I gotta know. get you to talk. I'm I'm yeah. talked out. Well, but before we um, move that mill, we're gonna have to either we're, yeah, gonna, we're, we're gonna got, cut white oak. Yeah, we've got two white oak logs, big white oak logs. We cut the one, cut it up in a trailer decking for the guy that brought us, or the guy that gave us the white oak logs. We cut one up in a trailer decking for him. And now we have the two left for us. He just gave them to us. And they're long. So before the mill gets put back where it belongs, we got to cut that. Well, if we start getting logs from... from right now. Um, yeah, you know, we just got an order for a bunch of 4 by 4s Unspecified amount, just cut as many as you can. And we got Don's stuff still sitting there. And Don's uh, red oak is still sitting there. So we may have to just leave those logs there and move them. We can move those logs fairly easy. They're the smaller of the three. So we can move those down in the mill, I believe. But uh, we have to cut a bunch of 4x4s coming up. We got these two white oak logs we're going to cut up. Probably just cut those in the lumber. They're not, they're not pretty at all. We'll probably end up cutting those six by sixes or four by fours. Yeah, probably some six you know by what? sixes. I'm so thinking yeah. maybe four by fours for the headers. They usually don't have long headers for the you know, pallets. Rich, rich yeah, for the pallets. They're sixteen That's... feet long. Yes, they they can be cut down. They're always saying we need. Um... Yeah, but they're white oak. Oh, they're too heavy. Forget it. I'm gonna be happy. All right. Now, like if we cut um, six by sixes, it would be heavy. We we'll cut them into shorter sections to hold maybe like two sets of slabs. We we'll cut them yeah. about eight foot long, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, if we're cutting into the log and it's really looking good, then it's not going to be an issue. We'll uh, turn it into lumber. Google Bartow because if you ask what the weather is going to be, it's going to give you for wherever we are now. So I have to check the weather in our hometown and find out what it's going to be like this weekend and if we can mill up those white oak. 
turn them into just a bunch of four by four shorter ones. And what we don't use, you know, for uh, It's not pretty logs at all. What we do is cut them into six by sixes. They go on the ground to hold the slabs. That way, um, they're not rotting and getting all, you know, they're sinking into the ground and doing all kinds of weird stuff like that. Let me see. Turn them around. We got a decent view out this side. There we go. This wide open area over there. That's about one of the nicer views we've had here. Just an open area. The rest of the time, it looked like we're sitting between two big hills. So, getting something different to look at than, than our ugly modes. Guess our speed. Here's your next trivia question How fast are we going? At the time, I asked the question. Because I might, that, that speed might change. I'm not on cruise control. Tomorrow, tomorrow, mostly sunny, 46. Cool. Uh, Look at mill. Sunday, uh, cloudy, 48. Oh yeah, we're definitely milling. So the weekend looks good. Somebody's, they're guessing our speed here. I'll just go off of what we, what I, what I was doing when okay. we when I asked the question. Wait, it said uh, 56 miles per hour. Uh, John said 65, Time Man said 60. Hey Chuck and Deb, I just want to give a shout out to Terry at Knott Woodworking. He is sitting, sitting at 950 subs right now. Okay, thank you. Who is it? Knott's Woodworking? Knott's, no, Terry Knott's. at Knott's Woodworking. Yeah, K-N-O-T-S yeah. Woodworking? K-N-O-T-T. No. K-N-O-T-T. Woodworking. Not woodworking? There's no S in there? No. Okay, not woodworking. Uh, guys, if you haven't done so, and you're into the woodworking scene, and we always like to uh, help out a fellow YouTuber, want to get him some views, get him some uh, some subs, so go ahead and check him out. Show him some love. Hit that, hit that sub button. Hit the like button. And of course, you know, watch his videos all the way through. That's one of the biggest things that helps yeah. out a channel. Watch the videos all the way through, or at least let them run all the way through. It could be a long video, like some people put up these crazy long videos. Okay. And, <laughs> and it's hard to watch the whole thing. Uh, Zach said 78, Wade said 65, 80, Walter, Mary said 56, and Sam McDonald said 62. Well, we're doing the speed limit, guys. Can't go over that. What, are you kidding me? We were doing, at the time I asked, 75. So we had some close guesses there, but at the time I asked, it was 75, and we're doing that right now. So what I know it doesn't look like it, does it? It doesn't even look like we're climbing a hill right now, does it? Zach said 78. Views. Lee said 65. Views out the window. There we go. Terry does some sawmill, and he has a very Whoops. wind immaculate woodyard. Okay. Cool. Oh man. So, so, okay, so am I 10, 10 off? 10 off, yeah, somebody's 10 off. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got disabled here, disabled vehicle. Or at least somebody who stopped. Is that that car that went whizzing by us earlier? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Snowshoe PA. What do we got? People are chatting. Said, uh, People are talking. Hey guys from Montana, uh, and please drive safely. Okay. Are you Thank out? You. Are you taking off? Is he leaving or is he just coming in? Yeah. Uh, I think he might be leaving. Okay. Well, thank you for tuning in. I know it's a long thing and we're just doing a little bit of chatting and hitting it up with everybody and we just appreciate the company helping us. Uh, Stay awake, stay active, stay moving here as best we can for a, a long drive home. And uh, to me, to us, that's that's a lot of support just to get us home safe. I appreciate that, guys. No, he said no. I am not taken. I just said hi. Oh, okay. Oh, what's it? Who is it? Wait. Wait. Just wait. 
Rape R U E. Rape Wade Rue. Okay. Well, thanks, Ray. Or Wade. And, ah, and, thanks, Wade. And Todd's outside again said 951. He's got it. 951 what? I guess he got it. He's up to 951. Oh, now. so you so thanks a lot. Appreciate that. So that'll give him a good bump right now. If the folks that are watching now go over and, and sub to his channel. Just don't let everybody leave at once. We gotta keep some people going on the live stream. We're up to uh, we dropped down to eight. We're down to eight. Well, what do you expect? Oh, hello Pamela. I think we missed you earlier. Sorry about that. Yeah, Pamela's on earlier. i from work. Now I can watch you on my TV. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, before you get on the... Did you hit the like button yet? Did you hit the thumbs up? Yeah, like button, thumbs up. Well, that is Please. both the same button. Uh, Walter, 9.52 now. Okay. We can get him over that get over that number. Thousand. That'd be great. That would be great. I've seen his channel. I don't know if I'm sub to it. I can't do that right now because... I'm on my phone oh. as a camera. Yeah. And the fact I'm driving means I shouldn't be playing with the phone, so. Oh, I'm doing the speed limit. See, it's 70. Okay, good. Anyway. Oh, she came back and she said she hit the thumbs up. Cool, thank cool, you. Cool, thank you. Appreciate that. I know it's a long live stream, guys. But we, uh, like I said, we definitely appreciate everybody here so helping to keep us awake, keep us on our toes, keep yeah, our eyes open. Ask him the volcano joke. The volcano joke. Did ask him the volcano joke. Where's that at? I'm about to find it. What did the volcano say to the other volcano? Volcano. Hmm. I do not know. <laughs> what is it? Nice ash. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one, Mary. Chatting on my phone with you and watching you on the TV. Okay. okay. No thank problem. you. Thank you. Thank you. Who is that? Is that? That's not Mary. That's Pamela. Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. I appreciate that. Oh. Is it Pamela or Pam? Well, what would you prefer? Because Pamela sounds formal, but if that's what you like, that's what it is. We're going home, Wade, to PA. Wade. Wade. Wade? Wade, Wade Road? -E. Yeah, Wade Road. We're, going, we're coming home. To, coming home. From Michigan. From we Michigan. were in Holland, Michigan on business, and then we went to... Pam. Uh, went to Joe over at JPF, Joe's Green and Firewood. Finally got to make me and him. Yeah, that was a long time coming. We were a fan of the channel. We were always there to help support him, at least we tried to be. And um, it's like, you know what? We're going to be in the neighborhood. Joe's an hour away. We can shoot over to Joe's place and, and uh, got to meet help him. him out there. Got to meet him. His mom. We met Zach. Zach. Cowboy. And Mike. Mike. And, and Mike over there, Saul Surgeon was there. And Darren. And Darren showed up and also got to re meet uh, Joe's mom. Yep. 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 That was nice. That was a good time there. That's fun. Split a Joe cord, got that loaded up, and we split some. Uh, Darren brought some cherry over, we split up some cherry, got that into bay yep. number two. And then um, Mike cut trees did down. Did we put that in bay two or bay one? I want to say two. Yeah, I think we did. We put it along the wall in bay two. <laughs> True. Uh, just, Joe just came back. Oh, he said, you. I see you are still eastbound and down. Absolutely, brother. And uh, he said, Wayne said, and that, yes, that's a long drive for you guys. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very long. This is a marathon that we, uh, I really, really was not planning on doing it on the way out. And uh, wasn't planning on, well, kind of planning on doing it on the way back. Some, trails. I know, there's all kinds of neat trails. I think those are fire trails. Oh, Pam said, said she's, um, hold on, I'm Cowboy Pam. That's Cowboy? Oh, Zach. Zach. That's Zach's Pam. I'm Cowboy's Pam. Oh, cool. More, more views, guys. Hopefully you can see it out there. It looks pretty cool. Trying to give you something to look at other than just staring us in the car. Another thumbs up. Back on the road. 
there, boy. This channel. Thank you, Jeff. But yeah, if you come in on your different account, come in on the different account, you can do uh, more thumbs up. So. There's shot. Move you over to Deb's side there. Oh. That's needs. Deb needs to stretch. And of course, we've got the JPF merch going on. I know it's backwards. Is it backwards? And oh, you're not even. You're just looking at the chat. Oh, it won't play. Yeah, you can play it live. What's going on? Is that live? Yeah, it is. Is it all caught up? I'm right down to two. Yeah, you're all the way there. There you go. I'm not sure you're driving. You're down to two what? Two batteries? Nope, down to one bar. Now back up to two. Okay. Here's one. What is the length of a short string? A short string? Uh... And chuck it green. Uh... Drawing a blank. Hey, Cowboy. Mike is coming here Sunday morning to live stream. Should I have him pick you up? Find them first, that's the tough part some days. Why do trees hate riddles? I don't know. Why do, I didn't get an answer for the last one. No, oh, I'm still looking. Okay, Sam said twice the distance from the end to the middle. What's the difference between a short string and a long yeah, string? Yeah, said twice the distance from the end to the middle. Okay, we'll go with that. That's the problem. We're, it's going to be getting dark, I would think, soon. It's 4 o'clock. Probably thought, by 5 it'll be dark. I thought at like 5, 5.30 it starts getting dark. Yeah. That's what I just said. <laughs> Bald Eagle State Park coming up at 158. Boy, I must have six hours. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, we're going to get home, and I don't know if we're going to be able to watch Dan over at Back 40. Um, Dan's going to be over there. Maybe all the folks that are watching him will jump in on the live stream and say hi before uh, before his, his starts. We should be home about 7. Dan's live stream starts at 9 okay. Eastern time, 8 his time. Okay, Mary's was, why do trees hate riddles? And yes. she said, because it is too easy. To get stumped. Oh, jeez. God. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's a tree. Mary did that. Oh, okay. It's a tree emoji. Yep. Down the hill. Lights, yeah, lights are on. Okay. And some of these trucks, you get the weird pressure wave off them. It just bounces the vehicle around. And other ones, you don't. Well, that's because this one don't have the it doesn't have the air dams or whatever underneath of it. They have those air dynamic curtains that hang underneath the trailer. Which really help. Yeah, it seems to keep the bounce off of uh, the air coming off the back. Oh, they have, cur they have uh, cameras up there. I guess for the exit here. This does seem like it's taking longer to get home. Well, where you need to chat it up. Fill the conversation in, like do all smooth. kinds of stuff like that would be great, and then just keep everything going. I, I heard you, your ears plugging up. Yeah. It's because we're going up and down the hills. Alright. Where is Aunt Miriam? Sleeping? Because yeah. she did another all-nighter? Yeah, she did an all-nighter. I don't think she's sleeping, she's visiting her neighbor. She went to sleep for a while or something, and then... I don't know. And she went to visit the neighbor. Maybe she went home and went to sleep. What did the tree do when the bank closed? I don't know. Don't know that one. Well, because I live in Montana, we are the third largest state in the Union. And if I start in the middle of the state, you can drive. The border, LOL. Because he crosses the timeline. Right there. Yeah. 
He opened his own branch. Oh okay. My God. God. No one's gonna kick out of that one. Yeah, dude, hang on, let me get around you. The truck wants to change lanes and I really don't want to ride up, up the hill behind the truck. Here comes the truck. Coming up behind a slower truck on the hill, he doesn't want to lose any of his momentum. Right. You have to start slapping down in the gears and you waste some more fuel, so he's just trying to keep his fuel economy up. Oh, man. What's that? It's a big quarry. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what town that is either. I don't know. Quarryville. <laughs> quarry town. Quarryville, okay. There you go. You ever heard of Quarryville? No, I haven't. We have those two quarries right down from us, Martin quarries. Yeah, I know. What else we got? 13 in here. We're hovering around the 13 mark. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people probably, you know, getting home from work or something like that. They had no idea where we're live. Um, Paul's back in. Hello, Paul. Paul Wagner? No. Paul. Dirt Road Landing. Or, okay, Dirt Road Landing. Hi, Paul. How's it going? Everybody can watch us progressively get more tired through the live stream yeah, as, as, the, as the hours pass. That's, a, that's big. Wow, that's bigger than ours. Uh, how about that? Yeah, well, it sure looks like well, it. Well, you can see it, that's what it is. That's true. But this is an end we never see it in the daytime. It's 2 p.m. here in Montana. Yep, yeah, you Time are is two hours. Is ten minutes. Behind us. Can't be two hours and ten minutes. something interesting to do. What are we going to do? Good trivia. I come up with the two trivia ones. I did one, one of them. Well, but I have to think of another one. off in the chat you're the only connection That's true, I John. <laughs> what he said go ahead with the trivia because i'll stay quiet on this one okay john <laughs> you've been answering right um oh my left ears i'm thinking um yeah you change altitude okay. so much here in pennsylvania and it's such a speed that you might have your to ears help. are plugged up he might have to help you on this one might have to help you. Yeah. Well, they didn't know what kind, right. what kind well, of trailer we bought, so skip that one. Um, I'm thinking, um, what log did we put on the mill that we decided to take off because we hit so many nails? Which one talk about? I know what you're talking about, but that happened many times. You're talking about that one, we had a white oak we did that oh, too. Now you gave it we had a black walnut we did that Thanks. too. Yeah. Yeah, we had, we had plenty of them. So that's okay, not fine. really a good one. Fine. I mean, you could ask questions like, how many teeth are on our blades? We could say that. What? How long are our blades?
Well, no, you're not supposed to guess the trivia. What is it not? So we got some pretty steep hills coming up yeah, with some good. lousy signals. So, I mean, we may we may eventually drop out. We'll right try. Now I'm showing six hours and seven minutes We're for a live us. stream. So that was close, guys. That was close. I thought we lost it. I thought we lost it. Thanks for coming back, guys. I know we were dropped out pretty bad there. I got six here. All right, we, uh, the signal was, you know, people probably thought that was it. Yeah, we're, we're going to try our best when we go out like that. Yeah, I just keep hitting the reconnect button and hoping it comes through. We hit these low spots, these valleys, and it's uh, tough to get around. It's tough to get that signal back sometimes. I have to go out. I got a question here. Probably ask when we're coming home. That's our son asking when we come home. Probably wants to know if he's got to come down this weekend to watch cats. Dad misses her cats. We've been gone for a few days, so. What do you say? Yes, what time? I told him probably around 7:30. Tell them to check out our live stream. We've been on live streaming for over six hours. Tell them to get on there and say hi to his parents. Please. <laughs> it's our son, CJ. He, he and my grandson appeared in an earlier video a couple years ago. Um, usually when they come up, um, we shut everything down and we spend time with family. That's, that's the important thing for us is to miss the family time. people in the chat. Thanks guys for the ones hanging in there. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. I should check see how long. Well, let me go into my chat. Love you too, bud. He's not in there. He, he can't hear Hello, me. single shot. Hello. Hello, Rick. How are you? Is CJ in the chat? No, single shot, I said. No, but what about CJ? Did Ken, you, did you tell me to go to the chat? Yes, I did. Okay. 
Ken Hall? Yeah, he said drive safe. Well, when did Ken get here? He must have just got in. You just getting in? Thank you for stopping in. Definitely appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Yes, it has been a it's been a while. If you look at I don't know if you guys can see how long we've been on, but it looks like about six hours and ten minutes. So <laughs> Yes, Sean, you're right. It was a what? Oh, what do they call it? Hold on. John said, uh, yep, the last time your grandson was in the video with you, it was we're cutting birthday. up that tree that had all, all the red and pink flame in it. Oh, uh, nope. He was in after that. He was in. But he was in on that one, too. He was in on that one, too, yeah. Box elder. Yeah, he was doing the box elder. He yep. was in on the box elder. But... What other one did he appear after that? He was in another one. He was? Yep. Which one was that? It was probably in October. Not this year, not the follow not not in 2022, in 2021. It was Fox Elder, it was a one one old. Hi Miriam! Joe, Miriam's here, if you're still in. I don't know if Joe's in uh, or not. Where are you um, at now? I'm back. Deb. What? It's on your birthday, remember? Yeah. When Toby's running over to you yelling, happy birthday, me, Mom? Yeah. But we weren't, were we cutting that day? I don't remember. I thought we, we were doing something in the log yard. I think we were I cutting thought, or st we were splitting I wood. I thought, I'm sure. Yeah, we were splitting firewood. Oh, that's right. We were splitting firewood. Where are we at now? I don't Where know. Was now? This big mountain here. Well, he was in. Okay. He was in, okay. He was what we see in front of us here, guys. He was actually running while he was there. Right. You were oh, yeah. For the, the, up the box over and he was standing off to the side and your son was on him. Yep, you're yep. right, John. Wow. Check this out, guys. That is nice. What does your direction say we should be doing right now? Do you need the map? Because <laughs> I, I think at some point in time we're going to have to turn. This is cool. Look at these sheer rock walls over here, guys. That's pretty cool. Give you some scenery to look at. This is 96 miles to 277 is where we're going. 277. Yeah. I don't know. wanted us to get off of 220 before and we already passed 220. Yeah, we got the icebergs hanging out of the rocks here on the side, guys. Okay, so I gotta remember that. Two hours and 24 minutes yet. We have to go. I don't know where that's going to take us. Because we don't go right on the 81. To 309. There's a, there's cut, they sort of cut off certain spots. And take like 93 and stuff like that. So, here you better hold this. I gotta drive. All right, flip it around again, guys. Sorry, I'm blocking the entire camera there. There we go. Right, um, we're not sure, Mary, where we're at right now. Yeah, we're in Pennsylvania. We know that. Um, I'm on truck. Get over here. Sorry, I keep making that face. I'm popping my ears. The altitude, we change altitude so fast here in Pennsylvania. You're going up on these steep hills, your ears pop or plug up on you. People, woo! Climbing back up, guys. Oh my God! Oh, the, the, the people that stuck with us. Thank you very every, much. Everybody who stopped in to visit quickly. I know we can't expect yeah. anybody to sit there all day and watch us on a live stream, right. but um, just uh, we 
definitely appreciate everybody who's been here with us. Guys, this has been a heck of a trip, and uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna get through pretty well. We, we had uh, a couple of stops, one for um, fuel so. and rest stop, and then one for food shortly after that. Ken wants to know, are you headed north or south? We are actually heading west at this point. I'm sorry, east at this point. And Urban the Dream wants to know, are you guys coming across the Interstate 80? Yes, we are. We are on Interstate 80. We've already been all the way through Ohio. We are coming. We are in Pennsylvania. We've been here for, for quite a while. We are in Loganton, or close to Loganton, Loganton, uh, the exit off Maine. So, lots of area we haven't seen out here before. Hey, I think I found all the big cedars. Oh man, there was huge cedars in there. Was there? <laughs> yeah, there was big cedars in there. Man, we can never find big cedars, at least not where we are. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, there were some nice cedars in there. It's the median, it's the median between the uh, east and west bound lanes. What did I say? 277 we're looking for? Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't with you all day. because that's like 477. Who's that, Miriam? Yeah, that's okay, Miriam. That's all right, Miriam. It's like, seriously, I mean, you can't ask you guys to stay this entire truck, this entire time. That is uh, that's huge. I mean, that's a long, oh, long Lord. time. We're just happy some people stayed on here and some people stayed on there and, and uh, kept the live stream going. But uh, this is, uh, I believe, a Woodhound record live stream. So it's going to be a heck of a thing to try to, if we, I don't think we're going to top this one. <laughs> Not us anyway. Yeah, this is longer than it's so far. This is longer than our trip to Bunyan. And we're not even close to being done yet. Nope. Our Bunyan one was just under four hours. Yeah. Our, our, um, and that was a six hour drive. And now yeah. we're at six hours, over six hours now, so we couldn't even top this unless we started it live and kept going the entire time we were at Bunyan the final day and then got in the car and left and drove home. <laughs> that would be the only way to top this one so far. Unless you went at the same house for over, over this amount of time and, and, and top that. So, I mean, eventually we're going to lose signal and we're going we're to not be able to keep the live stream going. So, what do we got, Deb? Uh, Sam said, so 81 to Tennessee, for sure. And he's, <laughs> no, maybe he's talking to somebody else. Yeah, because where we're going, we're supposed to get to 81 um, to 309. Yes, you were living the dream. You said I was on Bunyan Run. I missed all of it. Yes, yeah. and you were pretty funny too. And we, had, of course, we had that huge distraction trying to catch up to Shive. That was a uh, that was a good time. Kill some time. That's for sure. Uh, John said I broke a record today to the longest live I've been participating yeah. in forever. Yes, <laughs> I totally agree. Mary, oh my gosh. You were on 17 minutes when I came in. Or, or, okay, cool. Yeah, that was, oh, Mary minutes. came in yeah. after 17, 17 minutes. And she's yeah. been on the whole time, or did yeah. she get lost, or whatever? Okay, no, she's cool. Been, she's been on. Okay. I think she might have been out a little bit, but then she came back. Came right back here. She said she hit the wrong button and shot off somewhere else. That's why I said it sounds like you. Every tree I can see gets sized up for what could be saved. Sold out of it. I heard you mentioned the cedars. cedars. Yeah, we don't get big cedars. We are, I mean, six or six inches is common. Ten, 10 to 12 is just a rarity around us for the most part. So we would have to, uh, I think, go north for some, uh, for some good looking uh, cedar trees. We have a line on some big cherry trees, and the debate now is take the sawmill up with us, mill them and bring the lumber back on a trailer, or just load up the logs and bring them back. I mean, it would be a lot more of a production to take the mill up there and a trailer, do all the milling up there, and then bring them home, bring the mill home and bring the, the uh, the, l the lumber home. Hey, I don't know. And I think in that same area, there's some big-sized cedars too. We could also pull out of there. It depends. 
What's up, Miriam? She said, hey, Deb, guess what? What's what, up, Deb? Miriam? What do you got, Miriam? Don't tell me. You went to Boss Cops. Wait a minute. Does that say 18 people? Yes. Oh, my word. We're climbing back. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, people. Yeah, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, we're up to 63 thumbs up. Be nice to hit 100. Get over 100 thumbs up for this one. What did you do, Mary? Cook something? She broke down and start turned the stove on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still waiting. I don't know. And Miriam will tell you, she doesn't normally cook, so maybe she tried cooking something. Oh my gosh, blue skies. Oh my god. Yeah, only um, 432. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen them for a while. It's over that way. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Miriam's answer. <laughs> still waiting for your answer, Miriam. Oh, we dropped the 12. People yeah. came in, looked, and went, what? And left. Unless we're buffering again, who knows? Are we lose a signal again? I'm all the way up. Is that, so, is that somebody says that? What does that say? Boss Cops is having President's Day, day sales store on Thursday. <laughs> Here, here's what happens in Pennsylvania, you guys. Look. Left lane is for passing only. This truck got over there and won't pass this guy. So now we got to sit here behind the truck and this guy in the slow lane. She and said, this is standard in Pennsylvania, so. Mary said meat cook and she has a smile on her face. You don't have it. <laughs> we flipped the camera back around. There we go. Blue skies at 53 here today. Cool. Well, we're getting the blue skies right now, Rick. Yeah, we've got some sun peeking through. Rick, are you up home right now in Connecticut, or are you, uh, are you out on the road? You should be home by now on a Friday. You said you're usually home. truck slowed down and everybody else is slowing down. I wonder if there's a speed trap up here. Yep. I saw that, Miriam. You said you have, we have sunny skies today. Okay. Just leaving out. Hear that? What's that? Rick's just leaving out. Just leaving out what? Just leaving out. He's going out. Oh, okay. That's why I'm taking it. Okay. Oh, he's just leaving out? To what? To go home? Just leaving out to pick up. I have a funny feeling there's a speed trap up here. Yeah, she's slowing down. Everybody's slowing down. Maine. He said Maine. I don't know. Does that mean he's in Maine? So he's in Maine. Sam said the little engine I could not. What? For what? The little car in front of us? Yeah, probably. Little engine in that truck that was hogging the lane. He changed lanes like he was going to pass the car, and then he struggled and struggled and struggled. He couldn't get past the guy, and he just sat over there. We ended up passing him in the, in the you know, he slowed way down, and then we ended up passing him in the slow lane. So. Says, hey, you look like a coffee drinker. Where the heck can a guy find real good coffee these days? Coffee is losing its flavor. Who's there that? There you go, Ken. Ken? Ken, um, go on to Amazon. Order medium roast Ken, uh, medium roast Tim Horton coffee. And I'm not a coffee snob. I'm not all that hoity-toity, you know, French vanilla BS stuff. I'm like black coffee, no sugar. Right. And Tim Hortons, lots of flavor. Not that bitter crap that's just, you know, makes you want to wrinkle your entire face up. Um, yep, I know that sounds weird. Tim Hortons, who the hell is Tim Horton? Um, excellent coffee, that's what it is. And if you like something a little darker, they have dark roast, they have light roast, but I found the medium original roast. Um, it's great for me. And I, I like a lot of flavor in coffee. It has to be a good, heavy flavor, but not good bitter. And not that, not that bitter. Bitter. A lot of coffee companies do that. They just make their coffee bitter. And say, Look, we have an extra flavor. Bitter is not flavor. <laughs> bitter is bitter. So, 
Tim Hortons all the way. That's what's in here. And this is this is two cups of Tim Horton, right? Made this morning when we left Michigan. All right, I haven't drank the whole thing. I'm just kind of nursing it along. I'll still drink it. This thing only kept it cold for so long, or warm for so long. And we are six and a half hours into this ride. Actually, we are eight and a half hours into this ride home. So. Sunshine and blue skies. <laughs> uh oh, we got pop ups coming up, Deb. I can't read the chat. Chat's flying by. LTD, howdy, sir. Saul Surgeon is back, it looks like. Howdy, Saul Surgeon. Ted, you, you asked us a question early on when you were in this live stream about how far we were from a certain place. And I wasn't sure, and I wasn't sure why you asked either, if you're gonna be in that area. Maybe, maybe I'm forgetting what you said about it. A single shot. But refresh my memory on that one. Single, uh, single shot set off Wednesday afternoon, Thursday and, Thursday and headed out today. Oh, uh, okay. That's right, he's off Wednesday and Thursday and then headed out to his run today. Okay. You remember Ted asked us that question how far we were from somewhere? I wasn't sure. Yeah. And I wasn't sure. And I asked him why. And then he never I don't remember getting an answer. Maybe we didn't see it. Maybe my chat observer was not watching the thing, I don't know. I'm buffering. You're buffering, which means I'm losing signal. And I have bars. Mary drinks my coffee. She drinks what? My coffee. Chuck, here, Ted's answering. What's he saying? Chuck, we were talking about, okay, saw, saw mills and logger supplies. Yes. They're two and a half hours from you. We're just a regular customer. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. What else we got? I see other chat going by. I don't, I'm not getting any uh, updated Mary, chat. Mary just had another joke. Why shouldn't you write with a bowl? A broken pencil. You know that one? No. It says because it's pointless. No, brother. Alaska, uh, Alaska, Alaskan Express Marion. Uh, hey, stock, see my shot, stock Marion. Alaskan Express, what does Express, that mean? Uh, Espresso. Uh, Espresso. Uh, Espresso, yeah. But she said mud coffee. Yeah. Live, buddy. <laughs> Hello. I'm, why am I buffering? I have two. Are we on people? I don't get caught up. It's not people that much. Folks, folks, is good. Okay. Hello. Are we there? Well, we're here. We've been chatting. You're frozen phone's, again. Your phone's behind. I don't see frozen on my end. I just went out. Again. Wow. Your phone's still probably behind from when we were buffering. You're just getting a little buffer signal. No volume. Oh, it took us a while to get the sound back last time. Not a while, it took us a minute or two to get the sound back. Not even a minute. Chuck. Zach said, Chuck, how far are you guys away from out outdoors with the organs? Uh, I'd say about this. Six hours, roughly. Uh, well, 
Walter said, about an hour and a half now, Zach. My friend Linda from Florida was in, and I made a cup of instant, she called it blood coffee, so that stuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you there yet? No, okay. Are we there yet now? Miriam, you are off and you're back now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, Mary, we keep on losing it. Lost the signal out here. I knew we would on 80 for a while. And if we go dropping off into the mountains here, we're going to lose it again. We're up with 16 people watching. All right. 17. I still mine. Yeah, that's what I got now. 65 thumbs up. We're going up a bit in the thumbs up. Appreciate that, guys. I know folks are probably just getting home from work. You know, you spent the day at the factory, or you've been working hard all day. Grab a little bite to eat, grab a cold one, sit down with us here in the chat. Talk to Chuck. And uh, help keep us uh, awake <laughs> for our trip home. This is a 12-hour marathon drive. We tuned in, we brought you guys in about two, two and a half hours into yeah. the drive. And we are pushing six, we're just over six and a half hours for live stream. Up another mountain. Well, I'm gonna be hard pressed to even hear soon. My ears are going up so bad. Uh, are you talking to me, Miriam? What are we doing on Sunday? Probably milling. Yeah, we got we haven't done a thing all week for milling or lumber or videos or anything else, so we gotta get uh, back in the groove of getting things milled, get some wood out, get some logs out of our yard. We're starting to get overrun again. I'll tell you, when we get off this highway, I'm going to feel like we are just going slow. I don't understand where that's going to take us. And I'd like to get the map up and see where it's taking us. Okay. We're going to have to shut this off completely, get out of YouTube, bring the map up, minimize it and go into YouTube, because if you keep the map there, you can easily get to it. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> well, we climbed to eighteen there for a little while, then uh, now we're back down to thirteen. This is a lot of people tuning in, wondering what's going on. A six-hour live stream. We have uh, sixty-eight miles yet. Sixty-seven. I don't even know if that's going to take us on the right road. I mean, it'll get us there, but I don't know where it's going to take us. I'm tapping it, trying to get it to recenter. I don't want it to recenter. This is still 80. Follow 80 and uh, where it's going to take us. I don't know where it's taking us. Take a look. I can't look at it while I'm driving. Where's it taking us? I'm looking here. Uh, I think my ear popped. Oh, we're only at Bloomsburg. It takes us to exit 277. Okay, to so what road? Say 534? No. No. It'll tell you 476. Screen. See, it's running us to the turnpike. I didn't want to go to the turnpike. I wanted to get off before that. It's trying to take us all the way into this turnpike and then go south. How did we do this coming in? We didn't go on the turnpike. Yeah, I know. We took 11 and 93 and stuff that came across. We took 80. That's a big drill rig.
get the Pier Trip truck. Right there. See 81, 80 and 81? I want to get on 80. I think 81 South. I don't want to go to the turnpike. Because remember we got on 81, then we got to 80? So if we get off on 81, we start heading down, it's going to get us on the 309. Danville and Bloomsburg. We got on not long before Danville and Bloomsburg, so. We were here. We're still, uh, still working on it, guys. Turnpike, I can do that. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Sorry. You want to go out and down the turnpike? I can do that. Whichever way you want to go. I just said I have to make a rest stop. Wow, now that's. Man. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> Should I put that over there? Uh, yeah, I guess. That probably don't help, does it? Pull the thingy out. <laughs> trying to block the sun out of my eyes, guys. I'm getting tired. How about you? You tired yet? I need to. You've been tired for about two hours. You're not saying much of anything, so. I need to do that Yeah, I mean, we don't. I'm not sleepy that way. Uh, my legs are a little cramped up in that. But I can stretch them out just being here. It should be alright. Nice. Oh, that's great. That was a smart one. Truck just changed lanes on the middle of an uphill. And again, here we go. But hey, this guy just changed lanes right in front of us. And he's barely that getting made over a lot the of hill. Sense. Now the guy in the slow lane is going to speed up going downhill. These two will drag race all the way downhill, as far as I can tell. Now the Western Express is going to keep it slow. So, I understand he didn't want to have to downshift to waste his fuel, I guess. That was not a smart move. No. Well, Sorry. It's all right. And he's going to stay over here for now because there's another truck. Oh, yeah. He's, he'll stay until he clears the lane. He's allowed to pass people too, just didn't agree with it, get a little close to me. I was coming up to pass him and he just pulled over. So. That was too close. My um, I've had a heck of a lot worse, that's for sure. I wish I remember the way we, we took across. I think we went, got off 81, went back roads over to, over to 80. Not what I call it back roads, but it was like 93 and 11. Time. 
If you back up, we didn't see it. There was no oh, check. Uh, Mark said, is that the same 81 that goes through Bristol? Probably. Like, we're in Northern PA right now, so... If it's Bristol, PA, maybe. Bristol, North or South Carolina, maybe. I don't know. It could be. Once it gets out the side of the state, I couldn't tell you where the heck it goes. Downshift. Those guys are trying to maintain a nice even speed for time and, and uh, fuel economy and everything else, but some don't make the best choices. Why did the duck put his head down when he was laughing? I don't know. Okay. Because he didn't want to quack up. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, big deer crossing signs up here. new folks we have in here how many people just joined in recently because we've been making this announcement all through uh, this drive home and I just want to know if there's enough new people in here we'll make it again or I'll just make it again and hope that new people are in here not what what Barry's here hello Barry is he back is Barry or Pecos? Goes, Pecos. Oh. Pecos Dan you guys were serious about breaking records <laughs> Yeah. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming back, Barry. Yeah, we were not kidding about nope. that. Like, what else we got to do? You know, we're going to be going, we're going to be on this long drive home, share the time with everybody. Hopefully, maybe share some scenery. It's not the best scenery out here on 80, but uh, I mean, there's some open spots. There's some, some quick glances, quick, quick glances of some nice uh, landscape, but that's about it. They're opening up a bit more here, so. Funny, they pronounce it Knobles. I bet just Nobles. Although everybody says Knobles. I don't know. Yeah. The turnpike just seems like the turnpike goes all the way out and down. Your phone is not taking the easiest way. I can't do anything on my phone to change it. We have to set our phones up the same because yours picks the weird routes. Last time coming home from Bunyan, didn't we, guys? Yeah, I'm getting blasted inside the mirror today. Oh, I think I don't know why I did that. There you go. Oh, I, I can't see the chat. Oh, it's closed. You have to minimize that. Don't back out of your mouth. sun was bright coming in behind us there guys that's going to happen a few times see it right there right there yeah over that way all right let's pack the past fedex guy here oh ken goes how does the saw surgeon hammer 
circular sawmill blades by a chance? I don't believe he does. But Ted, you can ask that. Well, you can answer that a heck of a lot better than I can, of course. Walter, uh, <laughs> we're headed to, um, what is that? Southwest? What Southwest? Southeast, Southeast Pennsylvania. Southeast Pennsylvania. We're heading home, guys. We were in Michigan, in Holland, Michigan, about a 12 hour drive away. We're heading back to South Eastern Pennsylvania, where we live. And uh, we brought you guys on board about two hours into it. And hopefully, uh, I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but hopefully we can chat, get to know some of the, some of the folks who watch the channel, uh, learn a little bit, bit about you guys. You guys can learn a little bit about us, ask us questions. Please, because I love answering questions, especially now. Keeps my mind spinning. Yeah. All right. Um, Timing goes. We might have a world record now. Lol. <laughs> what are we up to? Six forty-eight. Yep. Six forty. Wow. No, six forty. I think it's three. No, I don't know. I don't know if it's eight or three. I can it see be. it at six forty-eight. Somebody will be able to see it. How long we've been up? What is that smell? Probably the truck in front of us. Now I smell it. That's probably what it is. It might. Yeah, you, have, you have better eyes than me. It smells like burning metal. Probably oh yeah. Dragging his brakes. Or Where something. are you knowing now? 6:49, Chuck. Six. Six. Oh Jesus! Six hours and 49 minutes. Whew. Oh, John Pearson saying goodbye. 
Oh, it's a, it's a Miriam. Yep. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, what videos does everybody like to see? The black walnut and the English walnut? Are you asking a question? Yeah. Well, tell them. Oh, ask it a question. What videos do you like to see? Black walnut, English walnut? Um, yeah, what is it? What do you guys like the most? I forget what else we did. We did, we, uh, oh, we did some popular boards. Did you get enough sleep last night? Because you were really out of it. <laughs> I don't think you got enough sleep last night. Oh, I left the rain. Oh, yes, box elder. John likes the box elder. Yeah, that, you know what, John? That's ready to work with this year. Yeah. We can actually work with that this year. It's, it's, uh, and we have um, Ash is ready to go this year. Ash is ready. Large black walnut slabs yeah. are ready. We're going to have a lot of things hitting the market this year. And, uh, I have to check on the English walnut. Well, it's got to be ready. That's the same English walnut we had that we're actually yeah, making a bar top out of. So that was really close to being done already. That's true. You should brought it in the, uh, your shop. Uh, time in said poplar. You like melon poplar? Uh, Mary likes the uh, maple. Very like all oh, the maple, the spalted yeah. maples, or I know we did spalted and ambrosia maples. So. Did we cut cedar this year? She's saying cedar. It's Josh. Go ahead. I'll be right back. Deb's answering the business call. Hello. Here. All right. How are you? Okay. And he wants four dimension four by four by four. Is good. Okay. Chuck. Yes. He wants to know if you want them tomorrow. It's Josh. Well, it's like, yeah. I mean, if you're bringing them in, if, if that works better for you guys, yes, bring them. He said, if that works better for you, for you guys, bring them. Yeah. Okay, do you know how many he has on the, on the trailer? Okay. Oh, is he able to dump them, or does he need us to unload them? Let them hit the ground, that's it, push them out of the way, it's no big deal. That sounds good, not a clock shot. are going to look like if they're going to be ugly as sin or if they're going to be, I mean, it's dunnage, so it really doesn't matter if it's super clear or anything like that. It could be garbage logs for the most part, but uh, we're getting them by the truckload tomorrow. I don't know how many he's bringing over, but they're uh -huh. loading them with an excavator, I'm sure, and we're going to unload them with a can hook and a, and a tiny little tractor. Chuck, so. Chuck and Deb, I'll be in your area in late March if you have any need for a Grunt, G R U N T. Yeah, grunt. Mm -hmm. I love to spend, I love to send a Sunday with you all if we can make some work out. Absolutely. What, uh, what was it? Give it some thought. What was it? Soul searching. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, uh, it's all going to be a timing thing if, if you know, and weather thing. If, if you're here when it's nice out and, um, yeah, if you're here when it's nice and, and uh, usually it's I don't know, an afternoon after work or a weekend. We can work something out. You, we'll spend some time on the mill. We'll uh, knock something out. Just let us know a little ahead of time and uh, we can plan something on our end and make sure there's something to do. Make sure we try to have a good time. Oh, Ken's leaving. See you later, folks. Gotta fill the wood stove and get ready for supper. Have a safe trip. Thank you, Ken, for stopping in. Yes, thank you, Ken. We really appreciate you and you hanging out and supporting the channel. Oh, I got it. 
bug them, I think. Uh, oh, what a, what a nuclear plant is that? Oh, Brad just came back in. Holy moly, you almost <laughs> home? I know. We're not almost home. How far do we got to go, Deb? Hold on. I have to go out. We have an hour and 38 minutes yet, Brad. Is that to get home or is that to make the next turn? Well, it's still saying 645, 647 to get home. But Deb still wants to stop. I have to make so a rest stop. We're gonna have to we're gonna stretch that out to 15 minutes, and I can use a fuel stop too. So, what uh, what's how far to our next turn? Uh, That's our exit. We can get off and get some fuel. 16. Yeah, we're getting off. Oh, it's 16 miles. Yep, we went 93. Oh, okay, 93. All right. It's just saying 16 miles. Okay. I gotta go back out to the chat. Yes, yeah, so we're still at least two hours from home and with the stop we have to make yet. And like I said, guys, we're probably going to. Uh, let me see. Oh, before you go any further, uh, Soul Surgeon said I'll get the dates nailed down and see what we can do. Okay. All right, thank you. Appreciate that, Ted. smelling something else. Well, it doesn't smell as bad as what we smelled back there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're still about two hours out from home, so. The old Forerunner's doing real well. I don't want to jinx anything, but she's running good. Long, long, long trip. There's only a couple cars I trust to take on a long trip like this we have, so we're a couple trucks, I should say. Can't take trucks, truck. No, I wouldn't take the Ford on a, on a ride like this. No, I don't mean that one. I mean, you're a little small. Well, mine I wouldn't take because you can't fit anything in no, it. No, you can't. You have to throw it all in the bed. You don't want to do that because of the weather. Trailer park. Yep. Mifflin, Mifflinville, Mainville. That's where we're at right now, guys. And we're crossing over the Susquehanna River. I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of it. No. Here, Deb. Give my view. Don't touch the screen. <laughs> There you go. River. That's the best we can do for you guys. Oh, that's what that is up there. What's that? I think that's Peach Bottom or it's Three Mile Island. That's not Three Mile Island. They, they just handled Three Mile Island. That's not even going to touch Three I'm not touching it. Flipping it? Trying to. Yeah, I'm sorry, my hands are Always is when I put it back up there. What do you got for chat there, woman? They're just uh, <laughs> Brad, um, soul chatting amongst themselves. Yes, Brad. Uh, soul surgeon's talking to Brad. Yeah, we we did this, guys. Um, to spend some time. They help keep us awake. And we figured, what the hell? If we're gonna get, we're gonna go for a record. We're gonna go for a record. <laughs> I see 10. We've got 11. Only 11 people watching. It's like, it is, there's there's some diehard folks out there. We definitely appreciate you guys. And anybody else who stopped in, stopped in, watched for a while, and back out again, at least you came in and gave us a, gave us a view, gave us a thumbs up, and uh, yes. we really appreciate everybody for doing that. Yep. Don't forget the thumbs up. Well, that's me. Oh, yeah. Different. Yeah, we're losing sunlight, guys. We're going to be... Truck's gonna be going dark soon. We'll probably be having to turn a light on here so we can uh, see, see us in the truck. I think we had to do that last time, didn't we? Oh, I think so. Or we just go off the light of the phone, and the other lights were too bright. Oh, another. Yeah, finally seeing some car carriers. Yeah. I was just saying earlier in the trip, we never hardly see them anymore. Blowing smoke off of that thing? Where? In front of us. Yeah, it looks like Somebody's it. Somebody's pouring smoke out up here. It looks like some kind of small truck. You can see the smoke coming over us. That's what I've been smelling. Whatever he's burning. Yes. Oh, yeah, he's got smoke coming out. His wheel bearings are burning up. Is that what it is? Unless the smoke's, is, unless, his, unless his exhaust is that smoky. That's, I think that's just diesel fumes. Looks like the one truck driver's trying to wave him down. 
he might have a bearing going out on that uh, going out on that trailer. Or is that just the smoke coming out from there? Yeah, that's, that's just the smoke coming out from underneath that thing. Oh, he sounds rough. He sounds rough. He's not running on all eight cylinders, man. He's pushing that old Ford engine up the road. It looks like Ellie saw three tires. I'm gonna give you that one, buddy. You gonna give me a you gonna give me a light flash there? Nope. Oh, okay, he's going back and yeah. forth on the blinkers, okay. I mean, uh, this truck had to move to get around a slower vehicle in the slow lane. I, I gave it to him. Hi, Soul Surgeon. Give him a wave when you go. Hi, Ted. Oh, where was that guy going? Did he wave? Uh, yeah. Cool. Ted left. Ah, <laughs> oh, time ends blowing up. Time is what? He's uh, doing yeah. the. He's what? The streamers. Oh. We reached seven hours. Are you kidding? Nope, me? that's what he said. Oh my god. <laughs> what did the ocean say to the other ocean? Oh, I the don't ocean. know. I suck at dad wave. jokes. <laughs> wave. Oh no, wave. Oh, hi, Colleen. How you doing? Colleen from Saskatchewan, Canada. Where? How are you? Welcome to the marathon. How's the temperature up there? I'll bet you it's cold. No of course, kidding. it might be feeling like a heat wave up there. I'm not sure. It's uh, Michigan was definitely warm in comparison to what it should have been, and it's based on what the local residents were telling us. Because they were saying it was so mild up there, it was ridiculous, and they're wondering where all the snow is and where the cold is and everything else. Yeah. that kind of turns everything into mush or maybe it didn't thaw out quite enough that was a bobcat where a dead bobcat on the road back there really yep. you missed it yep wow i missed that one morning well sure as heck wasn't a cat that was way too big for a cat Might have been a bobcat, a lynx, something like that, but it was a wild cat from up here in the hills. Probably a bobcat, man. Great food, but no atmosphere. Where? Is that his punchline of another joke? You can hear about the first rust run to open on the moon. Oh. Great food, but no atmosphere. Yeah. And that's the punchline. <laughs> Got you. I'll do, going along those lines, and if you haven't heard yet, um, all the restaurants we went to were, were, were excellent in uh, Holland. There was one we weren't happy with. Um, it's, it's a, from what I hear, it's an acquired taste. And from the people who do like it, they love it. And that's what I'm hearing. You either like it or, love it or you hate it. So there's plenty of people who like it, that's for sure. We were not a fan. It was a small pizza place. Called yeah. Fricanos, I believe it's Fricanos, um, yeah. over on River Street. And it was just, if you love thick, cheesy pizza, thin crust with thick cheese on it, a little sauce, wow. um, it was for you, that's for sure. It was not It was not for us, we were not fans. <laughs> uh, Colleen said, uh, yeah, it's so froze, frozen here, it takes a lot. Lots of nice weather to make mud. Yeah, that's Actual true. Actual spring has to happen. Okay. That's, yeah, you gotta maintain that warmth over uh, yeah. many days. I see.
Keeping the live stream rolling. Thank you guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit him with some more trivia. What do you think? Tell me about it. Tell me about what? Colleen said about the spring and that. Yeah, I've gotta keep it warm. Long enough to thaw everything out. We're we're still in a mud mess down here. Um What's the difference between a hippo and a and a zippo? I don't know that one. One's lighter than the other. That, uh, John said that's the way it goes. You got it right. The red skies at night means beautiful sailing. Red skies in the morning means I would not advise putting a sail on. Yep. I just don't remember seeing all this before. A lot of scenery we missed on the way out here was dark. We left at 2, no, 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday after work. That guy's got the hop going on. Oh, on trash dumpsters. Um, we left at 3.30 in the afternoon, roughly, um, Friday afternoon. Last uh -oh. Slowly. Look innocent. <laughs> uh, there's a law enforcement officer here. I believe he's a Pennsylvania State Trooper. Yep, he's got some cars that are two cars pulled over. And these guys are going entirely too slow. Oh, uh, yeah, we're getting off on 93. I forgot. Oh, yeah. One mile away. I'm not going to try to drag race everybody to the turn Go to the exit. I'll just stay here. Guys, when we get off of 93, I can't guarantee the signal. Yep. So right now, we're pushing to seven hours. We are going to take a little break when we get off of here, off this exit. Deb's got to use the uh, the ladies' room. If we can find a gas station to pull over. Is this our exit? Pull your map up. Yes, it is. Is it not? Yep. It's saying 0.3. Here we go. We're getting off on 93, Route 93. I know this goes through some hilly areas here, and more than likely, I would be surprised if we do not lose our signal. This is exit 256. Now I'm hoping there's a gas station in here somewhere. Okay, cool. I keep wanting to reach for a clutch. <laughs> it's not speaking to me. Debs is an automatic. Well, you probably mute it because of uh, you have the live stream up, right? Uh, you're going right. You're going. Guys, it wouldn't let us reconnect. I had to quit out and come back in, and it says the stream is still going. Would you like to reconnect? Are you guys there? Can you see us? Is anybody still in the room? Is anybody, I mean, st is anybody still in the feed? <laughs> We're still connected at 7 hours and 25 minutes, so we are still good. 98 bottles of beer on the way. <laughs> 98 bottles of beer. Uh, 
we could see the chat that was still chatting and I was, uh, yeah, I was it just would not it would not connect who's this one for that's us okay. that one's on us oh well we got full we got we filled up with gas another seventy dollars and uh yeah it's a lot more expensive here in pennsylvania yay um we got a rest stop break and uh, just got back in the car. I'm going to sit for a minute here. Yeah. Well needed. Uh, take a little break here. Getting cold out there. Yeah, we both needed to break. Can they see us? Can you guys see us? We were waiting for you. Who's in? Mary? Hold on, Mary. Guys, it was asking me to reconnect and I kept pressing the button. And it wouldn't let me. Walter's still here. Kevin came in. I had to close out YouTube without cutting the stream. Close out YouTube, get back in. And it said we were still live. And that four people were watching us. Walter, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 <laughs> bottles of beer. <laughs> I have no idea why it didn't just cut off the stream completely. But as soon as we went off the highway, boom. And it just, that was it. So, I you know what, it's getting dark. I'm going to get back on the road. We can get it back out here to 309 and get heading. 309 runs north-south. So, we'll get headed oh, south. I map up. Yeah, Deb, bring the, bring the map up because okay. we're gonna, I think we were scheduled to make a turn up here or something. Hold on. You know, eating, it's the best thing to eat when you're trying to work. Let's oh, eat so the peanut butter crackers. So, Jim went to the... Yeah, Jim's, yeah, Jim's watching the kitty cats. So. I hope he goes back on the porch. Yeah, he, he probably will, unless he can't get, you know, unless he can't get himself there anymore. Okay. Um. Hundred feet towards ninety three south. Right. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Just want. Just got to get back out of these parking spaces here. We pulled over in a uh, sheets. If you guys are familiar with the sheets, it's like a, a Wawa, a. Uh, some, it's a little quick stop convenience store. has a lot of good stuff in it and a lot of gas pumps. I get up and walk. Yeah. My legs are like... It felt good to stretch the legs a little bit. But, uh, whew, wow. Need to get some food. Some food, too. So well, that way and turn saying, left? Yeah. One's saying one way and one's saying the other way. No, it's not. Look. You have to turn right onto this okay. road and your left onto the yep. next road. You're right. You're correct. So I don't confuse you. You're not going to confuse me. Trust me on that one. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yes, you could confuse me. You, you could confuse Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> he tells me that all the time. I tell her that all the time. All the oh, time. She explains things in a circle, in a circular way. Oh, Popo. Okay. Popo got somebody. We're at 1.5 miles and we're going to Tom Hick Hicklin. I don't there's know why no, it's telling us no. to go there. Why? I have no idea why it's trying to, trying to get us to go there. I'm not going to... Your phone lets you go on some nasty back dirt road stuff. I'm not well, going down to Tom here, Hicklin Road. And then it says Harrisburg. 81 to Harrisburg. It's not right? saying 81. Well, go up here. Yeah, there, there is 81. You're right. You're right. All right. But you got to go on that road, I guess, first. Yeah. Well, we'll follow the signs for 81. Okay. You want to check the chat? Yes, dear. It's getting dark in here. You guys need a need a light. Hold on. That looks pretty good. Okay. Deb's got her phone going over there. She's got her phone light on. <laughs> yeah, well, oh. Mary, we're Mary. We've been trying to get in, like Chuck said. Yeah, we were trying to reconnect for a while, and then we actually took a break. Uh, took a rest stop break. Filled up with gas. Uh, Pulled the phone back out of my pocket. It was still doing the same thing after trying to connect a hundred times. Time in, are you there yet? He said he's buffering. 
what now, or is that an old buffering? Oh boy, I, not. I'm not sure. He said he's buffering, so I don't know if it's old or not. We have eight in the chat. Am I turning here? Now you're asking me. Yeah, you're the one with the map. Yeah, well, I'm back and forth. This is Tom Hicklin Road. Yes, you're turning. Right here. Yes, you're turning. Tom Hicklin? No, it's Tom Hicken. Hicken. Tom Hicken. You're turning. Sorry guys, <laughs> you fell off the dashboard. And 400 feet, you're going to Harrisburg. Turn left. Yes. Going to, I'm 400 feet, I'm going to Harrisburg. That doesn't tell me which way to turn. Oops, don't go near the X. I got it. Don't touch the screen. That's the biggest thing you can't do. If you touch the screen, you're going to kick us out of here. We had enough fun with trying to get this thing back and going. Is everybody miles. okay after that fall? Anybody bump their head? 81. <laughs> South. Oh, I feel a little bit more awake. Just getting I'm getting a good leg stretch in there, so. So we're 81 south, probably gonna get off on 309 if I remember correctly. Okay. But we will lose signal on 309. If we don't, I'd be amazed. Unless they improve the the uh, sours up that way. 7.2 miles, you're, you go on 309 south. That's what I'm looking for. So we got, we got a little bit again. Uh, we got a little bit. That's what we maintain signal here. Get, go back to the chat. I'm doing that now. I'll check this. I'll, I'll be able to tell where the heck we're going. 309 south is easy to find. Okay, at least we didn't fall off the wagon. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> That was Walter. <laughs> I have an ice pack on my forehead now. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We don't carry workers' comp, no. so if you got injured, the moment you got injured, you got fired. Okay. <laughs> but you have to stay in the live stream. Oh my word! I thought for sure we were done. I thought yeah, it was, that's it. Seven hours and fifteen minutes, or something like that. I hope someone keep. Um, we'll put John in charge of that. John, John Pierce will keep you in. You keep tabs on uh, if we go out for good. We might not catch the time. You can let us know. It's going to record the time. I can't oh, tell. Yeah, the re it's in the video when you, okay. when you get it. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Who is that? Josh. Hello? Hi. We can mill all during the week then. Yeah, we can mill all during the week if the logs are here. If they're not here, we if we're if we're not here and up at up at um, Briggs we, Place, we have to keep going and we setting up there every day. We have to keep on setting up there, and it's only on weekends. Well, it's not done. so much easier, just well, it's going to be more efficient. Yeah, more efficient to us. Cause well, it's more efficient all around. Everybody's going to get what they need faster. Yeah. We'll be able to get them, we'll be able to get the 4 by 4s to you much faster yeah. at that point. Chuck said we'll get them more faster if you bring the logs here, because like I said, he, he can mill every day after work. Every day, as soon as I get home, jump on the mill, and, and that'll probably give me an extra hour and a half on the mill every day. Oh, thank you. Chuck said, Chuck wanted me to ask you again, true 4 by 4 is correct? Full dimension 4 by 4 Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 That sounds good. No problem. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Sorry, guys. Business call. Again. <laughs> You're hearing it live. We're working out with our our log guy about getting us logs so we can get his four by fours cut. He's got a capability of easily moving logs. 
and easily dumping them off and uh, getting us what we need to mill what he needs. Yeah, I would think it would be So a if we have to go up there, set up, mm -hmm. and, and every day have to get up and go up to his place and reset and everything else, it's better if we can just like, come home, jump on there, and start banging out what he needs right away. And it's all four by fours, full dimension four by fours. So it will just work a, uh, a ton better to get him what he needs faster. And I know he's in kind of a hurry for it. See, we, <laughs> We talked to them about this a while back and we made it, we, and that was the agreement back then was they were gonna bring us logs so we were just kind of waiting for them and we never got them and now it's uh, it's kind of a rush rush deal to get them. So we will get them as many as we can, as fast as we can. So, so to the folks who held on, I think we were down to four people in the chat. Yeah, we're up to 12. We're back up to 12 people. The 12 people who've been watching us all along have come back. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. To the, to the four that held on to kept the live stream going, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I really thought that we, that was it. We were going to have to quit out of the live stream. And I just, I disconnected the phone, put it in my pocket. You know, we filled up with gas, did all that stuff and came back out and just, I had to back completely out. And when I looked at, when I went into YouTube again, it said we were still live. So I checked and boom, definitely we were still live and it reconnected. And it wanted to reconnect, so I reconnected, went in. So one and three quarter miles to 309 South. Man, where are we at? Can we hit eight hours? That's now it's sort of a wet, uh, how far can we get? John Pierce said it was a pleasure spending the day with you on your trip. Thank you, John, so much. And we appreciate you watching the channel. Sorry, guys. After a little something in my stomach, it's been... What, what time did we eat, guys? Does anybody know what time we took a break for lunch? John would know. John would know. <laughs> said Mary W and I were singing to entertain each other. Well, that's a good thing. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, we could still see the chat. You guys were you guys were still <laughs> having at it. Yeah. And we couldn't get in. We couldn't get back in. It, it would not let me reconnect. I thought YouTube kicked me off, but when we quit out completely and came back, I never stopped the stream. So I just had to quit the YouTube app and come back in and let me back in. So Okay, we had uh John said 2 o'clock, Walter said 2.30. All right, so, yeah, no yeah. wonder I'm hungry. I'm actually fine a little bit. It's 6 o'clock. I'm not starving. No, But I'm I just, not. my stomach didn't feel right, like I needed some food in it, so. The crackers are helping a lot. You want more? Huh? Yeah, I'll keep eating. Here. So what have you guys been up to, other than singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall? <laughs> singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall? Yeah, I yeah, think we might, in, like I said, we're going to run into trouble when we get to 309. I, I've been through those mountains on 309 before, and you get to them valleys and there's no signal. So... We will keep trying to stay connected as long as we can, even if we have to come back and reconnect in a bit, like we did on the last one. All right, get my phone, sorry. I think as long as you guys stay in the chat, the um, stream will keep going. You guys keep commenting back and forth, and we will constantly try to reconnect. Yes. Once we get after a certain point on 309, we should be able to reconnect until we get very close to the house, and then that'll be it. Chris said, are you still on the road? Yes, we are. We're still here. <laughs> we're not reaching our destination until after 7 o'clock. Yeah, tonight. we're going to be about, <coughs> well, after that stop, I'm guessing about 7.30. when we were 
out on the road yet. Before it cut off. It's at 705 now. Yeah, before I thought it was before our stop. We stopped for about 20 minutes, so it didn't have any time. Well, the traffic might be getting better too, so it takes into consideration the current traffic patterns and if there's any delays there. So got a little bit of red in the sky, just a little bit. Yep, so that means it's going to be good weather tomorrow for milling. We have our client dropping off logs um, for those four by fours, so that's a, that's one we're going to get on right away. We're going to keep on the day, or at least running fours and having a good time. Yeah. I'm gonna. I think I can change the title of the live stream. I'll. I'll <laughs> I'll change it to going for the record. Uh, well, I, I guess yeah. this is, I think I can change the, the title, maybe. I'll have to look at it. I'll have to look at it. There Let's not play around. There we go. That's Better really than looking at it at the top of our heads. Cuts, cuts us off a bit, so. Let's light Deb up a little bit. That was nice. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Does she look pale? Does that look better without the light? A little better color. Oh, man. I know I needed that stretch. Is there anybody new in the chat right now that hasn't been in for a while or hasn't been in at all in it today? Uh, who do we have in the chat right now? Uh, Chris Foles just came in. Chris, so. I don't know, Chris. Did you hear the announcement of what we're going to have on the live stream? We should wait until on a little bit. Just on the 30K bit. celebration? I keep on telling the wait for more people. Well, more people may not come in, but new people come in. I know we have Mary and we have John. And Ted has been in and out. I don't know if Ted's still on. Did Ted leave again? Yeah, Ted left. Okay. It was also empty. Did you, was this empty? What? The, the Red Bull. The last one, or did you put it over the door? You still put it over the door. Here, there's a little bit in here. Oh, okay. I was actually gonna get rid of it. I thought it was a still have anything in it. Got, got a lot of recycling to get rid of. One swallow. That's it okay. guys. I don't I won't be drinking any more Red Bull. That one lasted us what about four hours? That's something like that, two hours? I don't know. Uh, time ends still here. They froze on me. Oh, I don't know. Ah! Well I said they froze on it. On what everybody? Yeah, just or the live stream Walter. froze? They froze on me. They, Walter, froze, it's froze on him. Okay, I don't know why. Mary's still here. Walter is here, okay, gotcha. Did I miss 309? I hope not. It was only a mile and three quarters up the road, wasn't it? <laughs> Too busy talking. That, that, that Red Bull lasted. Way before then. What's it telling me to do? I think it just told you to get off and turn around. Yes, it did. Navigator. Navigator. What? Can I? Can I turn? Emergency and authorized vehicle. Am I authorized? No, not really. St. Clair. It's going to take us all the way down to St. Clair and take us over the turnpike. All right. No, not all right. I know that. There's something coming up here. I don't know if you can get off and go. No, there's yeah. no more exits. That's it. What's this one down here then? You probably there's can't a green get. Sign. It's a green sign. It's telling us how far to the next exit. We'd have to turn around and come back up. Yeah, that's going to take us on St. Clair and then get us on 61. 61 will take us down to Hamburg. 61 will take us through Hamburg. And while we just extended our ride, oh, we didn't do that. stay on 81 for 5.9 miles. Instead of 309 south, we're going on 61 south. Yeah, we're kind of, as 81 goes south, it kind of heads west at the same time. So, with missing 309, 
Um, we're gonna go out 61. 61 takes us down through Hamburg. And then we'll take back roads all the way out through Fleetwood. Oh boy. Yeah, it tried to turn us around there to take us back to 309. That's all the exit. Yeah, I, you, you can't U-turn on the interstate. It won't let you. It's not a toll road, but you can't turn around on it. So, let me see. What's our destiny? What's our time home now? One hour and 19 minutes. Well, that's not bad. What time will that put us home? About 6:20. So we just added 15 minutes to our drive. It's 7:20, right? Or 7:20, yeah. It'll, 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 uh, yeah, it'll take us about 7:20. Four miles to turn, get off on the right-hand turn. I don't know, and that's 61, and I know where that takes us. Someone's going to have to watch the chat because I can't see the chat, so, Deb? What? No, I'm not going back and forth the chat. That's what I'm going to I'll watch for 61. We have no sound for our our, uh, our GPS when we're in YouTube. We got 3.3 .3 miles. Okay. Go ahead, back out. We got 73 thumbs up, which I'm hoping to hit that 100 thumbs up at some point. That means at least 100 people came in and checked us out and went back out. So 73 is a good number. Okay. If you have not hit the super or hit the, uh, that Red Bull the thumbs lasted. up, please do so. Way more than that you were drinking that at noon. I don't know if that was your second one. Was it that or yeah, second we one? Yeah, did, we did crack a second one open, guys. Um, I'm still here just working I was getting a little shot. punchy. I was getting a little punchy. I was like, well, I better I better put a little, little bit more Red Bull in. And it, it kind of helped, but what really helped was just stopping, getting out, stretching the legs, and uh, feeling a little bit better at that point. Um, and eating a little bit of eating a little bit of food. So. Zach said, I'm still here, just working in my shop, listening to the live stream. Oh, cool. Zach, what? Uh, Zach, Cowboy. Land. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim said, I'm back. Did you lose the live stream at any point? We thought yes. we lost it. The chat stayed going. He said I'm showing seven hours. Yeah, we didn't we didn't lose it. The chat stayed going. We we uh, it didn't disconnect all the way. It kept it would not let me reconnect, but it kept the chat going because everybody was in there still talking. Deb was commenting on her phone, but I could not get the camera to restart on that. So I had to go out of YouTube app and come back in. As long as I didn't stop the stream, right. it stayed going. Yeah, we're going to Frackville, St. Clair on 61. 1.2. You can see it on that little yeah, map. I'll tell you where to get off. If you just shrunk the map. You didn't hide it. Um, so when I we just took a break. I got gas. Uh, took a break. Came back out. Brought the, brought it out. I, I since I closed out of YouTube, I went back into YouTube and looked, and it said that we were still alive. So I went back into my live streams, what was scheduled, and it was still running. I just said, and it asked me if I wanted to reconnect. I said, reconnect, and it did. It started right back up. So in in reality, we were still on there. The chat was still going. People were still talking. Just the camera wouldn't turn back on. So are we getting off? Next right. 61 North is Frackville. We want to go south. I don't want to go north. Another quarter mile. So hey guys, we could stop off at uh, we could stop off at um, where do we need to stop all that. I don't know. We need to slow down. Cabela's. No, we're not stopping off. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop off at Cabela's, guys. What do you think? No. Yeah, let me see my cats. Cabela's is like Bass Pro Shop, guys. There we go. No, no, let the driver get it. 
Let me slide these over a little bit so we can get Deb back in the frame. There we go. There she is. That's Deb's smiling face. It's not the best lighting in the world, is no. it? No. That's alright. You know where you're at yet? Yeah, we're going 61 south. Guys, what a trip! Couple, a couple of missed exits, and uh, but we're still getting there. I just got to remember we're not on the interstate anymore, so I got to watch my speed. Yes. You feel like you're super slow when you get off of there. You've been going at the interstate speed for so long. You get off here, and the speed limit's 45. It feels like you're crawling. And beautiful roads. And of course, you got the Pennsylvania roads. It's sticky. And all kinds of crazy turns and bumps and everything else. I don't think we are far enough north for Centronia or not or not Centronia, Centronia or, or I'm sorry, Centralia. If you guys are familiar with the story of Centralia, they have a great big mine fire going on up there since oh I don't know way back when. That pretty much the town's abandoned. But what it was, it's along 61, and you could be cruising along, and all of a sudden there's a big firm right there in the middle of 61 they shut the road going through Centralia and, and they loop you out around and hopefully we don't run into that hopefully we don't lose a signal here either yeah. it's a pretty steep steep hillsides and I don't know what 61 is going to be like going down through here I know. I know it's a bit more windy than I'm used to Yeah, I know. I've been up this road before. Just watch for buffering, huh? We're good. I think. Jeez. You just watch the road. Steep mountain roads, guys. Yes. Let's see where I'm at. Down to two. Jeez. Two bars. I wonder if we're going to come up on the Walmart that's here. Two bars. They used to have two lanes going down this hill. I guess it's, this is very windy, guys. Very windy. Mary said, don't go there. You will get a hot foot. <laughs> yeah, Centralia, you, it's funny because you just see smoke coming up out of the ground. You see some spots. My daughter was up there with yeah. some friends just to see what it was like. I've been there. And, and it's got, there's just a stump there in the middle of her videotape. It's on fire. She didn't even notice it. I said, is that stump on fire? And, you, and she... Stop the video and look at it. It's like, yeah, there's a stump just burning. And sometimes, and you got to watch walking around there because that fire gets pretty close to the surface, and it'll cave in. So they, they really don't want you walking around there. They're never sure how how close the uh, the vein of coal came to the surface, so they're not sure how uh, you know where where you're gonna <laughs> where it's gonna burn close to the surface. So. This is completely different going down this hill. There we go. I think we're open back up to two lanes. Yep. Just that whole big section coming down through there. They closed off one of the lanes. It's kind of, kind of weird. We have lights. I'm not worried about lights. This I'm watching the road. I'm just reaching around up there. There we go. I think I got to get the light out of my eyes so I can see the road better. Oh, lovely roads. Pennsylvania Mountain Roads. Gotta love it. This is bad. No, we're just used to the interstate. This is this is typical mountain roads. I'm amazed with a signal coming down through here. This is we got uh, steep one bar. We've got steep walls here. As we may lose the signal, we'll, we will reconnect as soon as we can. Jason's back in. Jason Lee, how are you, buddy? It's good to have everybody coming back into the chat. While I got you here, yeah, it's uh, not smooth driving here, guys. And like I said, we're just used to driving on the internet or internet, the interstate, and now we're here, so that's what we got phone is working hard to keep us going here. Yeah, yeah it's not going to keep rattling like that. Just the bumpy road is going to keep the phone falling over. 
we don't have a mount for it it's just a, sitting in a little pocket here on the dashboard but it works out great at least when your road is smooth it works out great Earth rush, yeah. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> that guy just jams the brakes on and pulls off on the shoulder. I think he's lost. Oh, my goodness. Pennsylvania, welcome home. We're out in the middle of boonies here in Pennsylvania. There's more traffic than there was in Holland, Michigan. Yeah, Tim, you're right. You should expect those roads. roads. You're back in PA. Yep. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Bam! Pothole. Yeah. <laughs> Flat tire. Busted rim. Yeah, we're up here in Frackville. Uh, this is this is coal country up here for the most part. A lot of old coal towns up here. Some have revived, some have not. Uh, but a lot of good people up around this area though too. A lot of people, you can depend on them. I mean, if you're if you're friends with these guys, they're there for you. That's for sure. So, perfect example. Don Shives right up there in the coal country. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of coal mines up near him. Strip mines they did up there near him. But uh, good solid people. And we keep tipping Down to, one. Down to one bar again? Yeah. Well, we haven't been buffering at all. Oh, my. This won't stay, huh? Well, there's nothing I can do. Besides so hold it, but then I don't want to hit the X. I got it. Yeah. There you go. I need a zip tie. For what? What are you going to zip tie? I know. What are you going to tie it to? I know. That's the funny part. Oh, God. Yeah, I think we were up around this area before riding. Uh, took took the quads up here for a while riding. Did you? Yeah. Wow, it feels like we're crawling. We're doing 45 when it feels like we're crawling. The Fairlane Village Mall. I don't know if we have anybody up around this area. There go. I'm trying not to touch that ass. I know. I know. Well, it'll ask you if you roll, if you want to quit, and you just say no. Mm -hmm. Tunnel Road and Mall Drive. So, Hold on. apparently, there's a tunnel back in here somewhere. How's the chat? How much chat have we missed? What kind of pipe? Don't go through. You will get a hot. Fo okay, we're no, well, that's that. old. Come on. What else you got? You should. Okay, hold on. Mary's still singing, 13 bottles of grape juice on the wall, 13 bottles of grape juice. <laughs> Looks like you're flying in a plane through. Rough, yeah, turbulence, yeah. Yes. <laughs> like how we're bouncing around. Time that, in. It was ridiculous coming down that mountain road. It's just big, sharp turns in it, and uh, and uh, bumpy as all get out. It's like you'd want to make the road a little smoother so your, your truck or car's not bumping all over the place. Time in just said eight hours. Eight, eight hours, or oh my god, we passed eight what hours. What kind of pants do clouds wear? I don't know. Cloud pants. Cloud? Oh, oh, we might get lucky and get a nine hour live stream because you're, you're not scheduled to be home until 7 20. It's 6 12. <laughs> Thumb pant, thunder pants. Huh? That's cute. Miriam is back. Hello, Miriam. We are still here. We made one big boo-boo. What? The turn. We need to get the turn on. The 309 turn. Yeah, you're going to have to hold that because it's not going to stop doing that. Push the bottom back. I got to get out from behind this guy, too. He just wants to. There we go. He wants to futz a dot all around. I smell skunk. Yeah, a little skunky smell going on. We are. Mary wants to know where we're at. This guy is like slow, then fast, slow, then fast, slow, then fast. He's probably texting.
What's the name of this little town? Okay, somebody answered. Tim Stout told her where we're at. We're in the mountains of Pennsylvania, coal country. Where the heck are we? This isn't Frackville. Is this Jim? This isn't Jim Thorpe, is it? What the heck town are we in? Well, I'm looking. I have to wait for the signs. Arch Street. Well, we got off. It said Frackville and something else. Hey, Deb. What? If you're gonna hold this, you have to hold it up, not hold it and fold it. It's pointing at the ceiling. Thank you. Hello? What are you doing? What's going Looking. on in chat? Hello I can't again. read anything. Miriam, yep. They're, they are getting <laughs> closer. Close hour away. No pin uh, intended. I'm lo I lost no on that No pun one. intended. Oh. Not pin, pun. Yeah. We're looking. It's going to be a name on this building around here somewhere. It's going to say where we're at. We got Norwegian Street. We got some kind of hospital up here on the hill. Union Station. Uh, okay, the Union Station bus from Schuylkill County. We're in Schuylkill Haven. We're in Pottsville. That's where we are. Schuylkill Haven, Pottsville. We're Coming up on 209. We are up on the hills, guys. We've ridden quads up here somewhere, I know that. We, we came, came up here and go on 209. You awake over there? Yeah, I'm awake. All right, can, can you help? <laughs> there we go. Just keep my no, hand down there. I'm talking about chat, and you're looking around like there's nothing going on here. We're in the middle of a live stream. Yeah, I know. Pottsville or something. Schuylkill County. Schuylkill Haven. Schuylkill Haven, Pottsville area. It's going to go down again. Don't touch the screen. Right here. I can do it from the driver's seat. you got to be able to do it from the passenger seat. Right on top of here, thumb just underneath the here. Just hold it there. Where's your thumb? Right below the plug. Okay. Not on the screen. I'm not on the screen. It doesn't take much to activate that screen. You can't even get your finger near it. Trust me, I know that. You can't where, do, where does a waitress with one leg work? I hop. Miriam's calling. Yeah, we're, we're, it's dark where we're at, but Chuck has the one light on. That's why I look like I'm late. Pale. Yeah, yeah. There's a light on. There's a light on in the car. So, so people, so people can see us. Yeah, she's watching the chat on her phone. <laughs> Oh, are you? Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Miriam's getting off again, I guess. What happened to the chat? Everybody else is, is cracking jokes on here, and I'm missing it. Uh, should should be Frank Frankville St. Clair. Frankville St. Clair. Pottsville. Yeah. In Pottsville. What does a house... Where? House where? What does a house where? Where? Uh, addresses. Oh god, addresses. addresses. Oh god. I wonder if that'll stay there. Well, the road is smooth, it should stay. If we get into that rough road like they had coming down into town, that was nasty. There's somebody walking there. Yeah. Some of these people that walk. They wear black, and you can barely see them. Yeah. Black with no reflective stuff on at all, and they're walking right along the road. Oh, there's a shoulder there. That one was pretty. They 
did have it's some like point. We're in, it's, it's Friday night in the middle of nowhere. I know. And look at the traffic. Man. More traffic in Little Town, USA than... Uh, Hi, Shive. Damn, Shive. We are not home yet. <laughs> we are not home, no. We missed a turn, too. We missed one turn, so it added about 15 minutes onto the ride. And we're on the we were on the interstate, so we couldn't turn around. Uh, I'm still awake. I gotta keep him awake. Yeah, we didn't sleep. I'm wide awake now after that last stop and a little bit of food. Yeah, we need it. I needed that we're last good stop. To go. I needed that lot and last stop to stretch my <laughs> legs. Get out, get a stretch in. Yeah, we're coming through on 61, Shy. We're, gonna, we're heading down 61. Uh, we'll go out past Cabela's. Probably, we're not going to go down at 78. We're going to go across 78 and go uh, 61 out to, what is it, 222? I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, 662. 662, not 222. 222 is all the way in Reading. And 662 up to Fleetwood and then Fleetwood to home for the most part. <laughs> Crisonia Mall. I guess we're in Crisonia. I don't know. Little town. Probably. Yeah, we're not too far from you, Shad. No, we're not. We're uh, close to halfway there. I'm going to hold that because it's going to go toppling off here as soon as I go to pull out. Oh, here. You're supposed to be driving. Get me in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we're better. As long as we don't hit any bumps. Yeah, we just spent the last 550 miles driving without a stop sign. <laughs> For yeah. the most part, until we got off the interstate. Now now it's like stoplights, heavy traffic, people pile on. We are in the middle of nowhere on 61, and it looks like a major traffic jam up here. This is, this is ridiculous. But yeah, we just left. Holland, Michigan, and the biggest traffic back up there was four cars. You know, it's nothing big. But yet, if you saw Holland, Michigan, you think it would be a lot busier. It, uh, Jeff, Jeffrey, a little, little, says, be careful on the roads. Absolutely, brother. No craziness here. Just taking our time and and so, uh, getting home. Walter said, hi, Shive. I have been on the live stream for seven hours so far. <laughs> <laughs> Walter's been on the whole time, I think. Um, John. John's been on the whole time. Mary, Mary came in for quite a bit of the ride. Yep. This is like, man. And en en Enduro, Enduro. Um... Zach said, pit stop to Shive's house. Ah, no, it's... <laughs> That's a hard ride and going uh, uh, about an hour in the wrong direction from us. So we're going to uh, we're going to, to uh, head back to the house first before anything else. We'll definitely get a chance to hook up a shive later on. So all right, heading out of town and up and over the next mountain here. As soon as folks can figure out how they want to get out of the way. In the chat there, Deborah. Nothing yet. We already answered. Okay. Last one was um, Zach. Yeah, I think I get part way through some explanations of what's going on, and then something else happens. I forget what the hell I was talking about. So, Shibe, you were here when we talked about what we're giving away, correct? What we're going to be, you know, contributing want. to our subscribers. Let's call it. I mean, I know where we are. I've been up Gail? here before. Yeah, I've been up here before. Uh, really? Really? Just leave it go. I'll get it. Yeah, I know. I said yeah, I'll get I know. It. I know. I know. Here we go. Oh, Shrive said yep.
Pam has been here for a few hours. Yes, Pam's been here for quite a while as well. Man, I think we gave away, what, a couple of shirts so far? Um, we couldn't keep giving away stuff because John was the only one guessing. <laughs> and Mary. John was, the only, John was getting it right every time. So John and Mary won t-shirts so far. Picked up two loads of wood today. That's good. Oh, you shy did? Yes. What, are you roadside logging again? Or are you just uh, grabbing elsewhere? I'm going to have to walk you guys out to get another cup of coffee. My butt hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Your butt hurts? Who is that, John? No, that's, yeah, John. Okay. Mary said it was a, so cold in D.C. yesterday I saw Publican with, with his hands in his own pocket. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's every day. No, no, Dad, you're not getting the joke part. Okay. His hands were in his own pockets, not yours taking your money. <sighs> Dad will understand a knock-knock joke and laugh her butt off to it. I think you give her a joke like that, she was like, what? Uh, from this law guy. Oh, okay. Cool. I think I can let this go now. For now, then. For now. You just gotta be on it in case we, when we go to stop or when we go to pull yeah, out again. Yeah, it's another light. Okay, I see the next one coming up. I see a yellow light down there. And that's for us. We're gonna hit every traffic light on this road, aren't we? Is that for us? That's yeah. for us. Yes, it's for us. Whoa! I got it. Thank you, camera person. Pointed at the ceiling again. <laughs> that wasn't at the ceiling. That one's down that way. It pointed towards, at the ceiling. Towards the down. <laughs> it's on selfie mode. It pointed at the ceiling. Fine. It doesn't point down to the dashboard. It's on the cell. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, climbing the mountain here. Can we get back in the chat? Okay. Wait a second, wait a second, get over here. Uh, sorry, not my fault, I have a good memory. That's true, John. Good one, Mary. W. We weren't busting on you about it, but, uh, and you did promise you'd stay out of the next ones, but we haven't given any more uh, trivia questions. How, oh, I think I, how many tickles does it take to get an octopus to laugh? Tickles, tentacles, tickles. No, oh, maybe it is tentacles. Spell it. T-I-C-K-L-E-S. It's tickles. Okay. Oh, okay. Ten tickles. Oh, brother. Do you know what tentacles? It's tentacles. That's what they're saying because it says tentacles. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't get the jokes that often. No. No. I'm way out there. Oh, my oh, God. I see a light and it's pretty far away. Look. What? Light. What light? There's a light. There's a thousand lights in front right of us. What are you I'm talking a about? Oh, a traffic light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I get what you're talking about. Oh my God. Personally, I can't wait to get down 61 and cross 78 past Cabela's. Ugh. I think that's a while yet. Don't tell me that. Mary said, you are tired, Deb. No, I just want to get home to my cats. Yeah, she's tired. She's been acting tired for the last few hours. That's for sure. Last bunch of hours. I got it. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, stay away from that X though. Gotta stay off the screen. Why doesn't Dracula have any friends? Because he sucks? <laughs> I don't know. That's probably the answer.
This one's texting and driving right in front of us. Is she? Yep. Hang up and drive. Oh, great. <laughs> Right. She's holding this thing right up here texting while she's driving. Oh, Bill just joined us. Bill Irwin. Irwin. Hello, Bill. <laughs> Good to see you, Bill. Deb's trying to hold the screen when we get these lights. I might as well just keep my hands on it. Yeah, the, the camera's not mounted. It's just kind of sitting in a pocket on the dash, so. Oh, I didn't see that. Because he has, because he is a pain in the neck. Oh, okay. And she gotcha. What do you call a fish with no eyes? This is Tyman. A fish with no eyes. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea, Tyman. Okay. We got it, Deb. We're good. Deb. A F. I don't know if that's a typo. A fish. A fish. I'm lost. I'm confused on that one. Fish when the eyes is still fish. Fish, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotcha. But anyway, let me try to go over this again. To everybody who's new to the live stream chat, whatever we got going on here. <laughs> Same people, so for both. Um I guess you all know we hit 31k or 30k subs. And we're gonna have a 31, or a 31k sub appreciation, or 30k sub appreciation. And uh, of course, all you were invited. All the regular guys, all the regular girls are all invited to uh, check it out. But we've got uh, quite a bit of stuff. We're gonna be doing some uh, donations to our our um, regular yeah. star, to our subscribers. So. The way we're going to do it is we've got some of our own merch, t-shirts, working on some hats, some beanies, and uh, of course we have our yeah our stickers as well. But it gets better. We've got, and you've seen this on a few other channels. You've got the moisture meter, right? Are we paying attention to where we're going? And you've got why are we turning? I'm just asking you. We're on 61. We're going all the way down from here. So we've got the moisture meter, and we've got the logging tape. Now that's more towards the mill guys, but it can help if you're laying out a log for cutting it to length. Just don't cut your tape. <laughs> and that's one of the that's the good one. That's the same one I use for measuring logs and stuff. And then we've got steel merch. It's singing. We've got steel merch for. Um, let me see, we got gloves. I, what, you know what, I actually don't know what kind of steel merch we got. We talked yeah. to a steel dealership. We got certain things uh, coming from them, but they didn't give us details on what that word was. So I'm guessing shirts, maybe some hats, uh, maybe some gloves, I don't know. But it's whatever they decided to drop in the box and send to us. Uh, also, a MS-251, 251. That's a bar and chain saw. The whole nine yards new in the box okay the other one is an msu 61 with the bar and chain new in the box so if you are lucky enough to win one of those in the u.s and canada i believe we can ship over into canada uh, so join us join us on that live stream if, the announcement for it will be coming up, but uh, be sure to join us when we have that live stream. There's nothing nailed down just yet. We want to wait till we have all the merch in hand for the most part, and we will uh, share how we're going to handle that, and how we're going to handle the giveaways, and how we're going to pick our winners and stuff like that. So, so far, so good. We might have some Husky merch, but stuff we have to go purchase ourselves and uh, put into the live stream. And I know Deb was talking about grabbing a few more things, so it's going to be a, a long live stream. Not like this. It's going to be a long live stream, so uh, be sure to join us. 
and we're going to need that time for the giveaways and everything else. Yeah, we're okay? looking around two hours. Yeah, probably we're going to guess around two hours. We'll try to get everything by then. We don't want to leave everybody hanging for too long, um, but we're hoping we get a, a good turnout of the the regulars to the channel, and because uh, we want all you guys there, we want you all to have a chance to uh, pick up on that merch and again, again show our appreciation for you guys coming out to support us every week. So how are we looking in the chat? Tons of chat rolling by. 15. Uh, Bill said, oh, er, Erwin said, sounds excited, should be fun. Over eight hours, Mary said. Are we over eight? That's what Mary just said. Oh my gosh. It's telling us to go to 662 yeah. south. Yeah. Okay, 7.7 .7 miles. We haven't passed Cabela's yet, so we know we're not. All we, right. We passed Cabela's and we go over 78, and then we just got to look for 662. We know where that is. That's our back road when we go out to Cabela's. Are you watching every dial on your on the gas tank and that oil and all it's that? Full. Watching all the dials on the gas tank. I mean, on the it? dashboard. Yeah, over here. There's okay. only a temperature gauge okay. and a fuel gauge. You don't have any other instrumentation All right. other than a speedometer and a, and a tachometer. Uh, if you want to get full instrumentation, we'll get you some color gauges up here, I think. Yeah, um, I, think, I so. think you can do that. Put some nope. color gauges up there. We'll get you trans temp. We'll get you a... Uh, what else can we get you? Trans temp. We can get you a... Uh, no. What else? I don't know. Oil, oil pressure. 35. 35 miles an hour? Yes. Is there a car next to me somewhere? I thought I saw somebody. Yeah, unless they fell that far behind. I probably should slow down a little bit. Oh, we're not going that fast anyway. 35. Uh, closing down to one lane up here. Add to our life that's nothing compared to what we just did today. And we're going into one lane here. Guy sees me coming up to merge, and he guns it. Uh, Pennsylvania, love them drivers. Nobody wants to let you pass them. We call that pulling a Gandalf. At least I do. Into Cabela's. Did you did you hear about the guy who invented the knock knock joke? No. He won the Nobel Prize. No Nobel, meaning N O space B E L L. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Read the Koala K O A L A joke. That's Mary. And it's koala. All like, why are koalas? not consider bears i don't know because they don't have the right quali function qualification <laughs> 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 oh my god okay, here's right another now. thing stop tilting the camera oh, towards right the ceiling here. of the truck every time you go up to hold it you just kind of relax and next thing you know it's looking up at the ceiling at the top of our heads from like here up. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on what? The you don't have to grab it every time. Okay, I won't. It's when we're bouncing all over the place. Or if the light changes and the guy in front of me jams the brakes on real hard. Yeah, there's the answer to Cabela's. We're not going there, though. Nope. Yeah, it feels good to be this close to home. Yes, it does. I know that most accidents happen within like five to ten miles from home because people get too relaxed and they're 
not paying attention or thinking about, okay, getting in the house, yada, yada, yada. So, you gotta watch that. Drive safe, guys. Hard working man. Drive safe, guys. No way I couldn't live stream an eight hour drive. <laughs> would be rated R, LOL. <laughs> I've had to curb some language myself, so it's uh, it's tough. Especially when you get in this state. Drivers are just uh, just foolish. Those, Absolutely foolish. Those traffic lights know you are trying to make the ornament record for live. Oh, they want us to slow shot. down. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're still going to be on, I think, we're still going to be on Shifty's uh, Back 40 tonight. It is Friday, right? This is Friday, dude. We're going to do a Friday night? Okay. Friday night live stream still going to go on. Cool. Mary, wow. why don't you ever see elephants hiding in a tree? In a tree. Uh, I don't know. Too big. Drivers are terrible. I don't know how truck drivers do it. That's hard work of man. Yeah, that would drive me insane. Uh, Mary's answer was because they are very good at it. That one I don't get. <laughs> Why can't they hide in the tree? Because they're not very good at it. You have to read the answer. Right. No, he says because they are very good at it. Why can't they hide in the tree? Because they are very good at it? Or why can they, or how can they? Well, I don't, did you read the joke wrong, or did you read no, the answer wrong? Why don't you ever see elephants hiding in oh, okay. a tree? Okay, okay. Because they're good at it. You never see them in the tree. That's how good they are. I get it now. I thought she read the joke or the answer incorrectly. <laughs> Junior here behind me wants to go like a bat out of hell, so. Uh, I got sort of a green light here. I don't know if we got any the map thing up anymore. No, I don't think so. Can I get out of the map? I'm gonna go. Huh? I'm gonna get out of this town. That makes two of us. Okay, I'm taking off the map. Well, kind of a heads up to let me know when 662 is coming Fine, up. Fine, I'll leave it on. 2.7. You're live. You yeah, there? I hope we're live. Every time it does this, I, it asks me again if I want to reconnect. Uh, so, anyway. We are live. 16 people in the chat. Yep. Hey, go, up there. go message your friends and tell them to come over to the chat, guys. Hand out the lens. I've got to straighten the camera Thank out because my, my uh, cohort in crying here is not helping me. <laughs> I don't know what water is mine. Mine's right here. Mine's in the middle. I hear you. I can go for the party mix. You want some chips? Yeah, uh, I don't know. As soon as I find them. There's me little crackly bag noises and stuff. Hey, there's a traffic light ahead. How much you want to bet it's red? Seven. It's green right now. Got How it. much you want to bet it's red before I get there? Crackling noise. Put that right there. Oh, oh my gosh! I made it. Made a light. I made a red. I made a. I made a light. Driving like an old man. Still my turn signal on. I've been over in the lane for a while. <laughs> um. Point five. Oh, Captain Tailgate. Hear me? Point five what? Mile. 
point five and we're turning, really? Point three. You have to turn left at the next light there. It's awesome, man. I don't get to have this guy tailgating me anymore. That'd be awesome. I'm Mary. Hey, Ben's here. So you two are still speaking after all the, this time? <laughs> <laughs> Barely. I'm kidding. No. Yeah, we do our best to get along on trips like this. Just kidding. We're, we're doing fine. I'm trying to get her to speak, period. <laughs> it's like, you know we're doing a live stream? You know this is like a record tall, long live stream? You need to help talk a little bit. Because I can't talk all this time. I'm getting thirsty. You want a beer? <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. We're waiting to turn on a little back road. 660, 662. Get us out of the craziness out here on this highway. This is... 61 is nuts for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, We're getting there. Now I can relax a little bit. But not too much. I gotta stay awake. What are we doing for chat? You're supposed to be monitoring the chat. I can't I, I can't see well, anything. I can't hear anything. I'm not gonna talk with food in my mouth. chips and Chuck reaches in the back and grabs a bag of chips. Well, Deb reached in. I just grabbed it out of her hand. Mary's <laughs> singing 99 bottles of beer in the wall. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch it now. Yeah, I gotta, I we gotta, gotta slow down. Remember, I'm not on the freeway. It just feels like I'm creeping until I come up on a turn and I'm, then I'm um, cranking on the brakes and yanking on the wheel to get get around the corner. I don't know how long we're gonna stay connected back here guys. I'm down to two bars. You get into the boonies back here and that's it. You missed a good joke. Uh oh. See that Deborah keep watching the chat please. What do you get when you cross a uh Oh Jesus! It's there are words. words. She words to a word she can't pronounce. Yep, there are words I cannot pronounce. What? D y s l e x i c and a in a what? I just said it. D y s l e x i c. Dyslexic. And insomniac. Insomniac. And I don't know. And, Spell it. Well, I think you're right with that one. I N S O M. Yep. Insomniac. And then an H E N O S. -T. Antagonist. Yes. What do you get? I don't know. <laughs> Someone who lays awake at night wondering if there's a dog. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting that one. Sorry. You have to know what all three of those things are. Okay. I don't. I get it. I just don't want to laugh that hard blow chips out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I wonder if any of my kids stopped in here yet. Said something to CJ. Well, he was at work yet or just leaving work. See you later. Hard working man. See you later. He tell Rachel we said hi. And... We thought about it, but you're another eight hours from Joe. So that would have been a hell of a drive to get there <laughs> to see you guys. At least said somebody told me you were eight hours from Joe. You were much further north. Skinny, do skinny, can't sleep, and afraid of dogs. Now you got it. 
<laughs> now it's John. What? Help what me happened? out here. You need to help me out with chat. Not reading the chat. Chatting with everybody. Oh. You're not what saying you? anything. You're telling me to read the chat. I know, read the chat, but join in the conversation. I didn't get that joke. That's okay. Continue the conversation. Real sharp turns here. Just 90 degree turns. Sharp, sharper than 90 degree turns here on these back roads. That was real sharp. Backyard, I'm back roads and open fields. Yeah, it's hard to talk with food in your mouth. <laughs> yes. I was not polite. If you were raised right anyway. <laughs> and these, <coughs> here's another hard turn right here. It's It's a right? sharp turn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. I don't hold the camera. The phone. You don't Sorry. have to. You're gonna find stray chips in your car. Sorry. Why, you dropping them? One. I found it. Oh. That ain't bad. Well, one that I know of. What's going on with chat? Well, okay, got red. Um, Mary does believe in God. A, uh, oh, she said that word again. What? Dice, D Y S L N. Dyslexic. Can read, print well, and uh, and somatic can't fall Insomniac. asleep. Insomniac. Can't fall, fall asleep. Dyslexic can't read, right? Because they see see letters backwards. Okay. And flip flopped. All right. How far from home? How far, Deb? What do we got? Well, it's saying it's 720. I say, <laughs> you're funny. Um, we got, well, it's, seven, it's 6.52 now. So we're so, about 25 minutes yeah, from home. Yeah, 25 minutes. And guys, I know we will lose the signal when we get close to home because there's absolutely no cell signal up there at all. And we have no way of staying connected. If yep. it disconnects and, and uh, we get to the house, maybe we can reconnect by then, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and this road you really gotta be. Well, what we'll do? Very alert. The same thing we did last time. When we get home, in the community section of our channel, we'll post uh, that we made it home. Okay. All right. Just so you know, because a lot of people were insisting, hey, let us know you made it. If we lose the signal permanently and we don't come back. Just wanted to say thank you to everybody that uh, stayed with us here in the chat. Yes, stayed thank with you. us here in the whole drive home, guys. Unbelievable. Thank you. I yes. mean, this was the marathon of, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I just don't know how long the signal's going to last. We may lose it before then. Right. Pam, Pam said, uh, back roads and open fields, my kind of place. Uh, it's okay, but. You gotta watch for uh, animals. But I mean, that's where we live: back roads and open fields, Tim. Yeah, but you still gotta. There's nothing wrong with it. Back, but no, I'm not saying that. This road has windy turns, too many. It's not too bad. Okay, we're. Um, well, I knew the turns were sharp back here. Time so. man says, "Wanna hear two short jokes and a long joke?" Sure. Joke, joke. Johnny Mill says safe tra safe travels folks. Thank you, John. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. I know you were we saw you in the live stream the other night. We appreciate you. 17. I thought I saw 18. Yeah, I saw 18. Here. You're live or you're really live or are we dropped the signal and we can't get it back. 
just want to say thank you to everybody who made it this far. This is insane. <laughs> uh, Tim Stout said, and that may be all, folks. So far, so good. Deb, can you throw something in the chat? Because I don't see any chat coming up on the screen here. I'm not sure we're connected yet. All right, now I see chat. Do you? Yeah. I think we're good. That was kind of a sketchy area back in there. Uh, where we kind of run out of, uh, it's kind of run into some steep hillsides and blocks the signal out. Yeah. I'm trying to think of where we're going to come up in I our mean. place. Where are we going to go? We're going to go past uh, Dryville? I guess we could go past Dryville. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. We might cut out up there too. Yeah, we'll cut out somewhere back up there. It's, we're, we're not going to have any signal. Um, yeah, we won't have any signal either direction we go, so. Okay, who who likes traffic circles and who hates them? Yep, we're going into one now. Going into a traffic circle now, it's no big deal. I mean, I don't mind them, as long as people know how to act in them. I don't mind them at all. Just gotta know how to get through them. Yeah, the whole time I'm driving up to this one, I see nobody until I get here to six cars. Okay. Hold on to that, there we go. Oh, Deb dropped the S-bomb. Oh, everybody heard that one. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Who, no, heard, they who heard Deb drop the S-bomb? S. S-bomb, not F. No, um, no F-bomb. We just dropped an S-bomb. Who I'm, heard that one? I'm supposed to be reading this one from uh, Mary. Did what, I, a joke? Did a kangaroo, kangaroo joke. Okay. Can a, can a kangaroo jump higher than the Empire State Building? No. <laughs> yes, the Empire State Building can't jump. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, where am I at? Just in case we do lose, say, lose you, it would be, it, it was pleasure spending the day with you. Have a great night, and I know you're almost home, so I know you're safe. Well, we're getting there. I don't call it safe until we get into the driveway. Yeah. And then hopefully my legs aren't asleep when I get out of the truck. <laughs> I get out of the truck and fall on my face. What no, do, it should be fine. It should be fine getting home. What do dentists call their x-rays? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, do you still have me on? Toothpicks. Oh, God. <laughs> Dad jokes. Bad dad jokes. <laughs> well, they can see you. I'm kind of yeah, over here in the darkness. You're, yeah, you're in the dark. Because this. Too bright. Ah, it's not too bad now. Hey, look at that smiling face. I know. Ah, turn the light off. I might want to turn that off. I think we can drive straight up through here. Ooh, old truck. Cool. Oh, sure. Keep me in the dark over here. I'm like a mushroom. Everybody know that joke? They treat me like a mushroom. They keep me in the dark and feed me. You know what they feed mushrooms. Shive said 18 minutes, you'll be home. Yeah, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I just don't know when we're going to... When we're going to lose the signal, guys. Like I said, if we lose the signal, we'll put... Uh, and when we get home and we get in the house, I'll put something up on our community page that we made it home safe. So if you're not sure, check there. Maybe we'll do a quick we'll do a quick stream from the house. Maybe we'll do a quick uh, shorts video. How about that? Do a, <laughs> do a quick shorts video. Oh, uh, Deb's chuckling again. What's she chuckling at? Tim's, Tim Stout's remark here. What is it? Give her a kiss, Chuck, so she smiles. <laughs> well, if we get an opportunity here, will it make you smile? 
Huh? Huh? You're not answering. That's not for giving me a good vote of confidence here. <laughs> I just want to make it home safe. And we'll make it home safe. Here's our chance. Stop light. Oh, I know. Backwards that. hat. Let's go. Hurry up before the light changes. <laughs> Get over here. There you go. <laughs> there. I think she's smiling, guys. <laughs> Why were the dark ages dark? Because they had a lot of nights. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have to hold that. You See that it? green tint? That means we got the green light. Alright, just I don't in think case. You see that. Just in case. Yeah, the green tint was on our face. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I don't know, guys. Don't ask me. <laughs> <sighs> did I, I make the right turn? Me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> this better be the right turn. It's a map. Maybe the map says we're good. Says Fleetwood Avenue. Well, we never see this town at dark. No. So. We do not. Basically, during the day. I think we're good. That's the only light coming up 662. I think we're fine here. Yeah, I'm just not used to seeing this place in the dark. Oh, guys. You know, we get this weird turn coming out of town here. Which way are we going? This way. I mean, when we get there, I don't know. We're taking Dryville. Or are taking the other one. I don't know. Now we just gotta figure out what road we're taking home. It's no big deal. It's about the same. Uh, Dryville will probably be faster. I'm gonna take. Um, Get the, I even forget the name of the road. It doesn't matter. I know where it is. Uh-huh. We could go back this. Where's that, where's that turn? I know it's right up here somewhere. Right up here. This means we are committing to Dryville. Where the heck is the turn? Oh, it's up here. Okay. We'll go on. Are we yeah. committing to Dryville? I don't care. Now I'm going to keep going. Change my mind. Change my mind. We can always we can always turn up the drive in later. Just so it brings us closer to the house. That's all. I have chased after that chip. <laughs> now she's chased the potato chip. Did you even get any comments about the smooch? Are you even reading anything? Did the smooch even come through? You're not even reading the comments. You're just too busy eating your chips. Stop said, stop said all. And then, um, Mary's doing jokes. What's, what's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a unicycle and a well dressed man on a, on a bicycle? Two wheels. One wheel. I don't know. A tire. A tire? Yeah. A tire is, you know, is dressed, or a tire is a tire on your bike. <laughs> it's a play on words. Okay. Um. Fifteen minutes out, you should know how to get home now. We do. We do. We could try. I mean, we don't need the map anymore. No. I know that. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out which way we're going to hold the signal longer. Because are we, like, close to eight hours? What does that say? Seven. No. Oh. Seven thirty-four. Yes. Now I don't think we got twenty-five minutes, guys. So I don't think we're going to hit eight hours. How many people are in here now? Fifteen. That's like double the number of people that were in here and most of the way home. I'm going my way. Are you done? I guess. In case you haven't noticed, guys, it doesn't matter how many are in the chat. No. It matters it's at least some of you guys are here showing support of the channel. We have lots of people stopping in and out. I don't expect, I mean, for somebody to sit there for that long. Yeah, that's a long time. I mean, that's, uh, that's a real long time. It's not like this, this video is going to go viral or anything. Who's going to want to watch a video this long? 
but somebody's going to be curious to a seven hours or eight hours. What the heck were they doing? Jim said he has, I have over eight hours. You have over, I don't know, ours is seven hours and 30 some minutes. We'll see what the official, the official timekeeper says at YouTube. Jim, so I was going to say that Daniel, okay. What? The taste. Yeah, they're talking. Uh, Mary okay. Crackman, our joke. Hell, after this drive, I feel like I could use a beer. <laughs> like a good hard day's work. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys heard it earlier. Going straight? Yeah, I'm just going okay. straight. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, I drank more beer this weekend than I have in the past three years. Does anybody remember how many said? Yeah, how many beers did I have this weekend, guys? Let's see who remembers here. John, you're not allowed to answer. Neither is Mary. <laughs> How many beers did Chuck drink this weekend? Well, this week. Or this past week. Daniel Atkins is here. Daniel Atkins from the West Coast. How are you doing? Glad to see you here. You're probably in there about, oh, I don't know. You're about 4.30 out there, 4 o'clock out there, rough, roughly, I believe. Ninety-two, ninety-nine bottles. <laughs> Are we still counting 99 bottles of beer? No, you ask him how many bottles, how many beers I had. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> That's way too many, Mary. No, 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 no. And she can't play. She can play, she just doesn't, doesn't get the right answer. Okay. <laughs> I know John can't play because he'll get it. I don't know if anybody was here for that comment or if anybody listened to that comment. I don't see no right answer yet. Is anybody guessing? Yep. What are they guessing? Tim Stout's guessing and so is Tymon. Okay. And nobody's right. <laughs> what numbers are they guessing? Tim Stout said none. Tymon said two. Well, they're close. <laughs> Any more guesses? Now Tim Stout said one. Nope. So you got zero, one, and two. Nope. No time in. Well, what was his number? Six? Oh seven. my goodness. You got a 60, you got a 7, you got a 5, you got an 8. Okay, we'll put it this way. No. We are not drinkers. Yeah, we're not drinkers. Nine. Ten, I'd no. Be hung, I'd still be hung over. <laughs> are you sure they didn't miss, you didn't miss the answer? I did not miss the answer. They're wrong. They're going, they're going too high. We do not drink. Why don't you just give them the answer? No. What? Nothing. Nope, you're still wrong, Tim. Boy, you take great pleasure in telling somebody, somebody they're wrong. <laughs> Jeez. Two? Well, two was guess. It was it was not two. Nope. You sure you didn't miss it? I didn't miss it. Okay. Why did my phone go off? I don't know. I can unhook. I didn't like it. I didn't like it hooked up. It said fully charged, and it went. No, it said fully charged. On it just said fully charged and shut off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I see you guess a four. No, no. A sack. Guess four. Half? No, not a half. Not a half. <laughs> Seventy-seven thumbs up, guys. Thank you very much. I don't know if we just get everybody jumping to give us thumbs up just for the amount of we're on here. <laughs> oh my gosh! I missed the crab joke. I know. I'm uh, looking at a quarter. No, guessing. not a quarter. That's if you look back through the answers, there was only one that was missed in the low end of the of uh, 
of the count. There was only one number that was missed. At least, I time in? At, least, at least according to Deb. Deb did. Deb said in. nobody guessed it. So. Time in's way too high. Yeah, they're going too high now. Too high. Oh, John said I I have no sound, only video. Uh, okay. I don't know why we only have and don't have sound. All the numbers zero through eleven. So somebody says somebody says the an the answer's in there. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Hold on. One person was cl there. Two people were close, but they still didn't get it. Oh, Time Man did get it. I got it. Time Man has it. Oh, so she it was up there. And yeah, it went from two, and then I had seen Mary's, and then I didn't see Time. Time, and you got it. Sorry. It was three. It was three. He has it. One on three different nights. That was it. And I had one and a half. <laughs> because we shared a bear. Oh, so see, that Time means I actually, I actually had two and a half then if we shared it. Or did we share a second beer? I don't know. We shared one. The first one we had, we shared it, didn't we? That's true. You could go two, you could go three, but I would say three for Chuck. Yeah, we'll just call it three. <laughs> I ordered three beer for myself. My wife stole some of it. So, you know. Do we have our sound back? Uh, Sharp said he can hear. Okay, good. What, uh, what did the tie say to the hat? Duh. Tie. Tie me. Tie said to God. What did the tie say to the head? I guess after nine hours live, need a refresher. <laughs> Refresh. Sorry about that, Tie Man. Oh. What? I what I need to do. What I gotta get my purse. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Oh. I need to get my purse. Well, Time Man guessed it. Are we giving him a shirt? Yeah, that's what I'm getting right now. Oh, okay. Time Man, you guessed it. You get a t-shirt. I need to know. That's why I'm getting my paper out. You need your size, though. Or did we already promise you a t-shirt and we forgot? Time Man, you have a t-shirt. If you don't have a t-shirt, uh, let us know. Give yeah. us a size. And, John, can you put our... Can you put our email up in the chat for time and to email okay. information to? Um, yeah, just give me your size time in then. He says you don't know. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, we need your size. He doesn't know size right now? No, he's just saying he, he said he don't have, have a shirt. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Drop your size here in the chat and, uh, then email your address to us so you don't have to put it out there on the screen unless you don't care. Wow, Grandma Jay's here. We're up to 17. <laughs> Grandma Jay, uh, did you notice how long we've been doing this? Yep, she did. You have been on here for nine hours? Nine, what is, it's showing nine hours. Wow, that's weird. All right. I don't think it's, whoa, there goes my phone. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, we should soon lose signal, guys. It just, you get up into these no signal areas. But, let's get this part out of the way. It has been awesome, guys, hanging out for the day. Nine. Wow, I don't know. She said nine. Maybe the timer stopped on this end. I don't know. <laughs> she said that. Oh, is that a seven there or is that a nine? That looks like a seven. That looks like a seven to me. Grandma said, uh... That's what it shows under the video. Maybe time zone changed? Nope. Didn't didn't change time zones. It's, the time zone's always been the same. Time in, I need your time in, I need your size. Maybe he doesn't want to put his size on okay. the screen. If you don't want to put your size on the screen, Mail. Email, email it to us. AR15rocks13 yeah, at gmail.com. John Pierce took care of that. Alright. Sorry, yeah, because only mods can put links in, they, like uh, clickable links in there, so 
Okay, got it. Thank you. What, what's the large. size? Large? Cool. Got large. So far, everything anybody wanted, we have in stock. I think we have a large left. I know we have the 2X. I know we got to get in touch with Bill Moon because we need some more shirts. We need some more shirts and hats and whatnot. Or we might be setting up a store with Bill. Yeah. And we'll list the store on our page, in our videos, on our Facebook page and stuff like that. If you want to get some merch, we have it there. Just click on it and take it. It will take you there. We're setting that up yet. And then we're just going to pull the whole uh, uh, Teespring store with it's on our YouTube page once this, this is all squared away. And the stuff on the Teespring page is all of our older. Um, okay. It's all of our older uh, logos anyway. So. Everybody's saying nine. to do that all the way the rest of the way home. Well, we're back. We're not we're back. back. I hope we we're back. Well, guys, if it doesn't stay on, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for your support of the channel. Thank you to the super chatters. Thank you for the moderators. Although there was no goofy stuff going on that I saw anyway. If there was, thank you for getting rid of those folks. Um, no, I didn't see anything. And just thank you for being along for this entire stream and keeping us company and making us laugh and uh, making us a good time on the way home. Yes, and thank you for the jokes, Mary. It makes a huge difference to keep us awake and keep us alert and, and keep us on the road. Uh, it would just, it would be a heck of a lot harder struggle to uh, keep this going, so thank you guys. We really appreciate it. All right, I've got We're still here as far as I know. I'm getting laughies. Look at the look at the chat. I want to grab all the chat before we get out of here. Oh, if we Mary, do get cut off. Mary crack another joke. What do you call a fake noodle? I don't know. An imp impasta. Yep. <laughs> Got it. All right. Jeff says six. I don't know. We have to check our counter. Yeah, we'll have to check it when we get home. Was that a shy woo? I see no woos. Yeah, time in. Uh, and there's a long one from John there. What's that say? I don't even know if I could do a woo right now. I'm getting kind of hoarse. Yeah, I know. I hear it. <laughs> woo! How that about that? That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. I don't see that long one yet. There it is. Okay. Just, Deb, when you... Okay, just Deb, when she left the S word slip. Yeah. Yeah, she, she dropped the S bomb. <laughs> it was a pleasure spending the day with you. And the only thing that happened in the chat was a, a couple. I had a little, had a little, a couple were chats to go through because it's an appropriate word. <laughs> that might have been mine. Yeah, Deb, Deb dropping the nasty words on us. Mary said a nine-hour chat. Well, YouTube will let us know when we get home how long that was. What is Junior here doing? Junior left at ski resort. I think Junior had a little too much brewskis. Probably yeah. right up here at the top of this hill. Yeah, we'll probably Maybe a little ways down the road. I know we get to this one road down here, and that's it. We don't get a cell signal to chat with anybody. I have been on. Walter's been on for over eight hours great job guys i would be in divorce court after a drive like you two did <laughs> i really hate typos i had to allow a couple of the jokes to go through because youtube didn't okay oh yeah okay have a great night put it down in the comments section be glad to help you out as always Thanks, everybody, for stopping out. We'll see you later next time. And take care. And we're staying on until the signal drops. Yep. We're going to lose this soon. Probably right about in here. This is where all of them drop out. This is where our cell phone signals drop out. Make this right-hand turn. Seven hours. Bundles, unless somebody puts them out front. All the bundles are there. And one section got bought, I guess. You might want to open the back window if you want to. I usually do. Might want to if you want to. Okay. Uh, 
for, like I said, watch for cats now. 30 sections of wood missing. I know there should be one, right? Yep, one. Okay. Why did they pick that one? I don't know. know. Maybe they like the size of the pieces more. I will move my truck. Okay. And then we'll back up into the carport further. Uh, we're live. <laughs> oh my god, we're live? We reconnected? Are you kidding me? Hello. Is there anybody in the chat? Yeah, four. Oh my anybody god. Anybody here? <laughs> Just got in our driveway. There they are. Oh, yeah, we just backed into the driveway, guys. Ah, uh, it's official. We are home. We are home. Yay. I don't even want to unload the truck. Yay. I'm going to go in the house. Go in. Uh, I'm going to go see my cats. She's going to go see her kitty cats. Let's get in the house. Uh, it's total darkness here, guys. We live in the country. You can't even see me. Let me get let me get to the house and get some lights on. I'm getting the house keys out. There we go. Anybody see anything? There we go. Hi, kitty cats. What's up, Timber Cat? Anybody else here? Yeah, buddy. What's going on? Ah, oh, that's uh. Show you what we got. You guys never see the inside of the house too much. These guys greet you when you come home. Hey guys, what's going on, huh? What's going on? Yeah, what's up? There's number three and four. Here comes Oreo. Come here, buddy. There you go. There you go. There's Oreo, Starla, Timber, and Notch. Wedge is gonna be hiding a while because uh, he's really afraid of strangers and that's all. Strangers have been in the house <sighs> there's Deb. How's my house looking? Your house looks fine. <laughs> Hi, kitties! Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, look at him. Yeah, they ran right up. So they Hi. weren't like the last time. This mommy and daddy. Alright guys. Look at him. Let's get let's get Debbie in here. <sighs> so let's flip the camera around. See, I gotta make cabinet doors. Yep. The cabinet doors in our little kitchen. <laughs> All right. Yes. Now we can officially say we are home. Thank goodness. And thank everybody for sticking with us all this time. We're still we're still showing seven minutes and twenty eight seven hours and twenty eight minutes, which that hasn't moved. So I think the timer broke. <laughs> we broke the YouTube timer on our phone. So we are here, and thank you to all you guys. It stopped in to say hi. Thank you to everybody who uh, stuck with us the whole time. Unbelievable, guys. Yes, thank thank you. you. I mean, we were there because we had to be. We were in the car. But um, long drive. Man, that was a that was a long one. Right about 12 hours. The stove clock just clicked over to 7:30, and that's what we were yeah. guesstimating. We'd get home about 7:30. So 12 hours. Both man, ways. ooh, stretch I them know, legs out. Legs. But hey, don't go anywhere yet. We got to <laughs> sign off. We got to do the sign off. So. Um, to all the moderators, thank you for taking care of business. To the Super Chatters, which I think was Brad. Wasn't it or was it Chad? No, who, who oh, dropped oh, the Super Brad. Chat? Brad, Brad. Brad dropped the Super Chat. Yep. Thank you, Brad. And John. If you come back on and watch this at any time. Yeah, John Pierce. <laughs> Anybody who's watching, if you want to chat some more, we're going to be on uh, Back 40's Friday Night Live stream. You can come over and say hi there again. And you guys have a wonderful night. And thank you all thank for being you. here. If you have any questions about what we did here, the craziness on this drive, um, please put it down in the comment section. I'd be glad to help you out. So thanks, everybody, for stopping out. And we'll see you out here next time. Hi, author. Anthony, author Penner, you just got yeah. here? Oh, dude, you missed it, man. But you were part of it. Even though you got here at the last minute, you were part of the record live stream. So thank you. Thank you. Good night, guys. Have a great one. We'll see you over back 40, all right? Take care.